Wow. Hello, everybody. So we're going to have, we're going to quickly have a, a moratorium. Hi, Jim. We're going to have a moratorium on discussing PsyCon here real soon. So we're going to, I'm going to put what? a hard line on it. And then if you want to stay later and talk about it, that's fine. Because there's a lot of people who didn't get to go and I know they feel bad because they wish they could have gone. And you, you see my background? Am I doing a category? <laughs> <laughs> It's just to be left over. But I feel like I just saw you guys because I watched your video last night of the game. I, I watched the whole thing. I watched the whole thing. I think I skipped through some of the stuff. Well, I was doing before. housework while I was listening to most of it then occasionally. But well, I'm sitting yeah. in hotel. So, so Ben had the same problem I had. It recorded differently than your sessions record. No, right? his, it, his, it, was, it was showing. It was it, at some point. But a lot of times it was a speaker view. So I don't understand what controls that. Some of, some of the time there was gallery and none of the, and it recorded his session. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is true. So that was actually not exactly like mine. It was like a third way. Don't understand. Yeah, it. that was a little odd. It was really strange. Um, I don't know, but I liked it better because I didn't have to edit it or anything like mm -hmm. that. So who knows? As somebody who was not at SciCon, I loved seeing everybody's pictures. You ain't seen nothing yet, Kat. I'm, I haven't put my pictures up yet. I am fussing with them. They're going to look amazing because what I'm doing is I'm taking, people would just take the picture from their phone and just put it up. I'm, I'm removing objects in the background and I'm cropping. You're editing them. Nice. I am doing so a lot. Fancy. I'm, You're I've doing been doing this processing on phone. No. Yeah, I, yes. I, I, I always do that. I am doing it. I am. I mean, at I least crop straighten. That. Crop straighten and sometimes night, lighting. People are starting to gather for the big, you know, for the meet and greet. That's where I'm at. And I've been working on it for hours. And I don't, I'm not a big fusser, but, you know, I was out of town for a while. But still, I'm or, I'm taking it, out like those exit signs. You won't, a lot of the stuff you won't even notice. Or if there's glare on a man's head or, or wow, glare at glasses, I, I remove all that stuff. Did, did you I, see Carl's uh, set in the vault? It's like huge. So. Oh. Taking out the days. Yeah, and I take out things that are duplicates, and I choose. Take, if I have like four or five that look similar. Those are out. Yeah, I've done that too. I I do that all. I do that kind of stuff. I'm working on a photo right now with everybody at the. Um. Uh, let me see how many pictures I took. I took. Oh, yeah, you need to see nothing yet. This is this is minor, and I'm taking all the Halloween pictures. 197 gonna, pictures after deleting kind of duplicates. I'm going to take them and I'm going to put a groovy background because you know how we were trying to pose in that background? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's silly. I could just crop everybody out and put them on a background. <laughs> you do, what you you so That's why true. do we need the background? Unless you're just going to put up a picture. But yeah, yeah so I'm taking all this stuff out. It's just silly to have it all lined with chairs and exit signs. and. But that's but you're, out, you're messing with reality. Eh, whatever. Taking out <laughs> well, exit signs so no people exit don't know how to get away, huh? There was no exit signs in the conference. You could do, my brother used to take when he first started getting, you know, when software was reasonably easy enough to do this with, he would take a picture of, I think I, I, the whole family, but once it was me and my wife and had us in front of the Eiffel Tower, in front of the Leaning Tower of Pisa, in front of like every monument in the world, just pictures and pictures and pictures and pictures, all the same pose, of course. It was very weird. Like, why'd you <laughs> like, do that? God, he, was, he was taking one pose and then putting, yes. putting it in front of all different. Yes. Pictures. And he had an album with like 50 of those. So it was very weird. Oh, that's hilarious. So the, the, the least sensible photographic thing I've ever seen is every cruise I've ever gone on, as you're boarding the ship, they have you stop in front of this tarp background of a ship and take a picture of you right before you board the actual freaking ship that's right there that they can take a picture of you in front of. <laughs> that, that's right. Well, that's how they make money. <laughs> but, all right. But why but don't the best one I, you're putting in front of the real fucking ship? The best one they ever did when I was on going on a ship was the grand staircase of the Titanic was behind it. Uh, <laughs> I didn't think it was a great idea to remind people of that, but I took a picture there anyway. We went to the Winchester Mystery House, a bunch of skeptics of ours a few years ago. I was just looking at it. And they make you all stand in front of this big, yeah, a, a screen. But they did give us a couple rifles to hold. So <laughs> they weren't real rifles, you know, fake rifles. So Winchester, at least that had a prop in the picture. If we'd shown up with real rifles, I don't think we would have gotten into the, the thing. <coughs> yeah, so Adrian's I'm presentation lights. was awesome. Yeah. The what? Adrian's oh, presentation was really. 
so i'm removing light switches right now um oh my god why because it's distracting to that the is so weird no you is... oh it's not weird at all it's i think it's totally natural i think i don't see any reason it's natural just yeah, to I'll, take out I'll everything show, that really was there it's, me... it's, it's unnatural to have a room without light switches so uh, we, we actually do have see them we do have photos in front of that uh, the leaning tower. So would you straighten the tower because it's unnatural for it to be leaning? Oh, no, that's, part, that's part of it. No, it doesn't look right. It just doesn't look photo. right. Let's see if you can tell the difference. Let me see. Carl, did you see my comment on the photo that you did of Bill Nye wants you to stand up for science? Yes. The picture so, needs to be correct. The, the, so the do you think I'm correct? Old yeah. thing. <laughs> that is so freaking hysterical. What? <laughs> what? In the picture of me and Heather with him, they they with Bill Nye, he was holding her phone. He, <laughs> he took about. I Why did he take he her phone? Be, he clicked he, because he wanted it to look a certain way, and the, and he he was clicking the pictures. He took like twenty shots, <laughs> and um and I still think it, it looked funny, but just the same. I, that's not that's how he is. So, he, so the, yeah, the, to... the picture of, of Carl, Carl took a picture of Bill Nye. It really is a good meme. Bill Nye wants you to stand up for science. And he's pointing straight at you like Uncle Sam. Well, he was pointing at me because I was sitting next to Carl wearing the Planetary Society shirt. And he said, there, somebody's got a Planetary Society shirt. <laughs> so Carl took the picture. <laughs> so, here, so here's I couldn't one. believe it. See, perfectly good photo, right? Perfectly good. But then. Yeah. With those tall. Like before, see? See what, what? sitting back there and this go back, go back, go back, go back, go back. Like, yeah, like, is this better or is this better? Like that. Ah, I see. Yeah. Okay. Well, that makes you sense. Don't notice, you don't notice That's a lot of things. work. That makes sense. You don't really notice them until here's another one. Um, here's the before. No. Oh, there's there's me and Kathy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, no, this is Carl? the before. Yeah, there's a guy walking yeah. in the background. So, so you don't that's notice good. what I do because it's just oh, that's good. Yeah. Can you put me where that guy used to be? Kenny, yeah. <laughs> I met Kenny. You know, they could put, or... put just Bill Nye in every picture, yeah, yeah. watching them all. Yeah, they're stalking everybody from the background. Here's here's doing. this one. Okay, See, it looks all right, and then oh, I just took this little thing out of here. I didn't see. Do it again. Go back. Oh yeah. Okay. Why? What oh, is I love this one. Look at Why? this one. That one all the, all these this photos one? are looking like uh, Wiseman. Look Wiseman test. See, look, isn't that beautiful? Yeah. Here's the You're going to take the people out of the background? Yeah, okay. And I yeah, took but, the name off yeah, but here. The end result of all these photos you take, Susan, is everybody looks like they're in the apocalypse and everybody else is <laughs> gone and dead. <laughs> but no, look, see how it has Oasis space here? Yes, I see. And that. then these people wandering mm -hmm. around and, mm -hmm. and I. And then they're just gone. Mm -hmm. so you're, There's some people so you're making it look like it's during COVID. Mm -hmm. That's a little blurry people? in the middle there. It's Probably still during COVID. Look better in his picture. Here versus here, the car is gone. No, why? See, the car is gone. Uh, you're My a little car. obsessive. That's it's a little blurry blurry. there, though. It's yeah. blurry. So I remember I seeing a uh, uh, a video. Uh, Somebody was going through the parts of London where the, the narrator of the War of the Worlds went through. <laughs> and he did it during COVID. So he got all this. So he duplicated the uh, experience of London being empty. <laughs> oh, yeah. I think I remember some of that happening. They were able, people were able to take some really nice photographs with, you know, people yeah. not in the way. Yeah. But, uh, but just that uh, uh, in the War of the Worlds, of course, uh, London uh, uh, London had basically been uh, deserted because of fear of the Martians. And uh, and then, uh, so uh, 2020, uh, <laughs> you get London deserted because of fear of COVID. <laughs> well, in Squid Game, I think it was Squid Game, they had, uh, it was Seoul or yeah. Tokyo, I forget which country that was said, and it was like deserted. That was bizarre. Oh, no, here's a picture I thought I fixed. Oh, oh, another it. kitty. Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Uh, Carolyn. My cat call. That is your cat call? Uh, Here, kitty, 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 kitty. Oh, <laughs> you must attract a lot of cats. 
Okay. So far, I've seen uh, three other cats on this Zoom. So well, mine was here a few minutes ago, sitting right here. Yep. But now he says, yeah. no, whatever. Ne I'm neither of mine is here. in the room. <laughs> it would e be easy to get cat bingo in this group. <laughs> well, Kyle, where's all your birds? Bingo. My gosh, you got enough birds. How's your finger, yeah. Kyle? Yeah, how's he your finger? Healing. It's coming. It's coming along. This dude is crazy. He's putting his fingers in bird cages. Oh. <laughs> I'm surprised you still have all your fingers now. It happened on the outside of the cage, but still. Oh, I thought it was in. No, was the bird yet? was out. Uh, yeah, it, faster than I expected. Just got me. Zap. Yep. So you've got a so, so you've got a carnivorous bird there, huh? <laughs> well, now aren't, we do. Aren't, aren't aren't they all? Is that bird still there? Yeah, that's uh, still there. That was funny. I think you asked me that too. You're like, oh, is it gone now? <laughs> no, we're going to look after it till the people come back. What do the people think with the, when they hear that you're, or is that just normal? You know, everybody's like, okay, well, it's only a matter of time until the bird gets you. <laughs> no, it's or not. Are they going to feel guilty? I, we're not going to tell them. You know, it's one of those things. Oh, but well, we're happy to walk now. Hide your, hide your finger? Uh, I mean, I, when they come to pick up the bird, I wouldn't assume that they would assume this is from their bird, right? I'm just you can not say gonna mention I was rowdy yeah, unless the they kitchen. know it bites everybody. <laughs> well, yeah, that could be. Yeah, when they leave, they'll say, "I'm really surprised our bird didn't eat your finger." I'm surprised you still have them all. <laughs> they go, yeah, right. It'd be like, hey. <laughs> you did good. It's so like you get when to you drop your so car. You, so you get to play Frodo. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a good one. Yeah. It's like when they drop you drop your car off to get something done to it. They take a picture of it, all the different sides, and make sure that it looks the same whenever you leave. So I do that when I drop, drop off, off the, the bird. Car. You have to go like this and count your fingers, and then who knows when you leave? Pretty close to that, yeah. Here we go, getting close. Here they come. Oh, there's people here. I don't know who they are. Let's see who this guy's name is. God, thankfully they have these stupid names. I had so many people. I had to adjust their freaking name tags. They have their name tags down here by their groin. I'm like, well, okay. and you, you reach down there and groin? adjust it for them. Is that what you're saying? Do we want? Do, do you want us to adjust your groin? What, what's the point here? So, you so show do, me what to do. I didn't. I wouldn't have figured it out ever. Yours is fine. Yours the is problem was I'm always wearing and a t-shirt. It was a big improvement. I was like, always oh, wearing a t-shirt with something on it. And I didn't want to block it, so that becomes a problem. Because yeah, this... you don't want your name. You want your name tag here. You don't want your name yeah. tag down there. Yeah. They should set this dealy in the better default place. Like I had to discover mine and move it. Oh. They could also make and your so name like this big. And everything. Where? Make your name really, really big. Yeah. Susan, they should say you, your did... name is a, like a little LED comes up every time somebody's near you, within your vicinity. It like, my name is Susan. You know me from yeah. this place. <laughs> Here's my, a little a little yeah. thing that goes by. Brrr, so you didn't have any cards that advertise the trivia game. I was quite quite surprised. I thought you would do Somebody that. Somebody else is saying we should do that, but I don't know. We'll <laughs> see. I mean, do we really want to get to fifty or sixty people? I might be. Well, you don't have to hand them out to everyone. You have them ready. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't saying get five hundred and eighty and hand them all out. You know. Can you imagine if we had like 50? I mean, last week they had what 20 people, 15 people, and you guys were all so excited you got out early. <laughs> to just keep it to the cool kids, Susan. Oh my gosh. Cool I don't know. I never know when I'm gonna meet another cool kid. So I like having people show up, but you know, 30, 40. I object to that because I'm I'm sure I'm sure away. Brandy's definition of cool has something to do with punk rock. <laughs> oh, I consider you cool, Rob, even though you like country. Ooh. Even though <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Despite what other people say, Rob. Despite. <laughs> um, so does Rob like both kinds of music? I like, country, a, lot, I like a lot of kinds of music. Punk is one I've never caught on with. I don't there like hip-hop. There was country last night. Don't particularly I mean, like uh, opera. I say last night, but last week somebody had a country question, and I and whoever's room I was listening to, they're like. Well, I don't know any of this. Susan, I just want to say your voice sounds different. It's like coming across clearer. Are you, are, did you move the microphone closer to you? It sounds good. Adrian is here, isn't she? <laughs> Adrian. Adrian. I know can't, Adrian. I know my Adrian. Anything over if Adrian Susan. has said something, I know her. 
She said, I haven't said a I, thing. I'm not saying anything. She texted <laughs> te- people and said, why don't you say something about Susan's voice? Huh? I, I know she did. Anything. It does sound know. a lot better. Did you install a software update or something? Yeah, it must have been it. No, can't you hear my voice? It is like super raspy. Listen. Yeah, that I do hear. Well, we but, hear no, that but the raspiness is clear. Clarity. The raspiness is Very clear. clear. Funny. Yeah. I know you guys. I have 186 <laughs> games with you. So I know what you're <laughs> that Adrian's involved in this little your voice all of a sudden sounds so much better. Says so that look at Adrian. She can't. She can't. She can't I'll, I'll bet if you your say the name does of, sound really good. I'll yeah, bet if you say the name sound. of the most northeast state in the continental 48, it won't even sound funny anymore. Oh yeah, that's true. <laughs> Hi, Vincent. And Brandy, Hi. you did a great job with that. Oh, thank Hi, you. Jamie. <laughs> she sure did. I know you guys. Do, I just do, wanted to ask Adrian if she's ready for the 22nd. What's the 22nd? What's on the 22nd? Don't you remember my surgery? Oh, God, oh, yes. Yeah, okay. No, it's in my calendar, what? but my brain is not working. It won't be working probably for another couple more days. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, so I need mean, Adrian, who's going to be in charge um, of the um, thinking by job? Yeah, I'm getting notices that, uh, Susan, you sussed me out pretty quickly. <laughs> I am. I know you. I, I'm not kidding you guys. I am a mom first. And I know you all well. We're on year four. And I just spent a week with some of you guys. <laughs> I had okay. a rather raspy throat for much of the week, too. And then I got that email about the CFI team getting sick. So oh, got- really? Yeah. I got that. I didn't open it until this morning, and then I was like, "Oh crap!" But I didn't get it. I didn't get the email either. Oh, uh, Wendy's got all of her things. I, I did test I myself. Yeah, yeah, I tested negative yeah. too. Because oh, oh. I had to go to the hospital for. I mean, go to the hospital. I had a doctor's appointment. Take Mark to up the UCSF, and I took. And you know, it's hard to tell when you come back from these cons. Yeah. Before we had COVID, <laughs> that was just how you felt when you came mm-hmm. over these things. <laughs> They call yeah. it the concrete. So, Wendy, Con-crud. you 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 didn't change your your plans for your, uh, uh for Halloween, right? You went out. Mm-hmm. Oh, I ended up going over to my daughter's house. I I picked up sushi, and um and she had little kids in her neighborhood, and they and they came to the door, and that was really cute. Okay. And we decided, and her my daughter's daughter in law would have been the one to kind of supervise so we could go drive over to Toluca Lake and see all the lit up houses. And she was studying. She was she was getting a project ready for school. And so I said, well let's stay home for Halloween and then we'll go we'll go out for Christmas. It's just that the I live in a neighborhood where there are a lot of people who work in the studios and they put on such elaborate decorations at home. It's just amazing. Rob, I'm going to step away. I just need to um, co-host for the moment. Okay. <laughs> but we had we just stayed home at my daughter's house and. Oh, okay, but it wasn't because of your fear of having COVID gotten uh, affected, right? Oh, so I talked to my daughter about it, and I tested negative, so I don't know. Okay, good, good. Yeah, yeah so my, who the only thing came I got down was. With COVID? Uh, they didn't tell the name unless anyone happens to know barry kept that quiet for some reason he just said somebody on staff oh so the only thing i had was i think there was a plural in there i could be wrong they didn't catch that why is it some people got the email and some didn't that's really weird you know canada you know (laughs) it takes a while to get to canada yeah (laughs) (laughs) so i checked my spam too and it wasn't there weird yeah i know weird um, the only the only thing, thing I got I got in that vein was the chapter's lift lips I painful I couldn't even eat mm. without moisturizing them and I've never had that happen in my life before and really? ironically Susan had huh. said before the conference make sure she you did. bring chapstick she knows she it's did. never this is the first time it's ever affected me now huh. it's on my packing list that was awful <laughs> yeah. I, I think I think they're better now so how many days later is that two three, three days later yeah well I live in Calgary so it's basically <laughs> yeah. Vegas North, just cold. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, you can't go anywhere without chapstick. Damn. Or... I don't ever use so, that stuff. Weird. So when did the email come in about? I'm COVID? trying to find it now. Uh, okay. Barry Carr, Tuesday. Tuesday, yeah, Tuesday, 1140 AM. 
Tuesday would have been the 31st. And, what, and what's the plural? Yep. I'm checking out. Um, hold on. What's the, 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 the Oh, someone of the CFI staff. Okay, singular, sorry. I didn't open it until this morning because I just thought it was like a recap or something. So right. I and then I uh, and then I said bad words. Yeah, it was just the subject a note on CSI con. <laughs> yeah, I mean I just wrote I figured, it back. Well, I it's not back. a surprise. Five hundred freaking plus people. I mean some Fair enough. Say, yeah. The stats are likely. You don't know uh, like it was people the... travel there on airplanes or whatever and then you're walking through the casino. So it was like uh, yeah. it was in the movie that I was like the piggies being was, ghost like and disappearing. This is what, not what a good situation. What movie? Oh. Yeah, the Roll. movie was oh, UFO, Brian UFO, UFO. UFO. Yeah. Oh, UFO yeah. <laughs> Brian Dunning's no air circulation whatsoever. Yeah, in that I kept movie. my mask on in there. I said I before. kept my mask on too, but I kept telling John, put your mask on. He did not if, yeah. he wouldn't put his mask back. I don't think he could hear me and I couldn't talk loud enough to I mean, I'd have the whole room listening by the time I'd spoken loud enough to get him to hear it. That would be rude. So, did did, did everyone see the uh, the review in Psychology Today of that movie? That was really yeah, good. yeah, yeah. That was amazing. That was I was impressed, and it yeah. must just be ecstatic. It, it, well, it, and that it, line it, about is this Dun Dunning's uh, UFO movie, or is this something? Yes. Yeah. No, yeah. it's his UFO movie. And Psychology Today did a review, and a two-part review. And it in part two, two part? it was it, two part? There's two parts. Go if you go to the GSOW thing. I've listed. There's both parts to it. Oh, you've got both in there. The yeah, part. I put it in there. Coming out. No, that's what I thought too. But Dunning texted me because I'm part of the Skeptoid crew now. <laughs> <laughs> Do you she post it in the cabal? Podcast. Is that what you're saying, Adrian? Yeah, I yeah. posted it in the cabal. Uh, it, uh, because I said there's a part two on the Facebook page, he didn't text me. He just he just commented. He responded to my comment. I just made it sound better than it was. And uh, he said, yeah, it's already out here. Here's the link. So I shared it in the cabal. So it's on Facebook. It's also on uh, in the cabal. And I just thought it was great when it said that uh dunning would make a better person on the task force than <laughs> all the other people I, I thought oh boy his head's really gonna explode uh, now. I should be, I that's going definitely mick be. west should be on the freaking task force well yeah. yes both and both of them. So, so okay so all right i'm about to break you guys up in your little groups so here's what's going to happen today because I know how awful it feels to not be able to go to the con where everybody's talking about. So what I'm going to do is we're going to have a moratorium on PsyCon talk. Keep the jokes to oh. the inside stuff to minimum because it, just feels, it feels awful to, to not to see all the pictures go up and you know, all your friends are having a great time and you can't go it feels icky. So I'm going to, I'm going to, but if I'm filling up to it, and if you guys want to stay later, we can chit chat after. That would be fine. Um, the movie that we we saw, Brian Dunning's film, the UFO movie, they want you to go. That's okay because that's that's available, so everybody can watch that if they wanted to. You don't have to, you know. Even even Jamie in Taiwan and wherever he's at today, Thailand, wherever he's at. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I mean, everybody can see that movie. It might be hard to get a hold of a copy of it, but it's out there, and it was really was great. That was my third time seeing it. It was. Can you super... stream it from uh, Dunning's website? Yeah. No. no. Oh. Yeah. But I had a party I, at my house that you, you were just, uh... invited to, Robin, Miss Robin. <laughs> I know. I've seen decided it. Now. She didn't want to show up. I had I had Karen and Deborah and Cindy and I. And Mark, we sat and watched it because I didn't know if we'd be able to get into the to um, uh, the movie. At, at PsyCon. Mm -hmm. There was limited seating and I ended up sitting on the floor in the back, but um, because I wanted other people to have the chairs. But anyway, so Deborah, I mean, Cindy didn't go to PsyCon, so she she couldn't watch it. But yeah, it's out there. So, I mean, it's 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 used. You can watch it. So here's what we're going to do is I'm put you guys in your room and um you know go about our thing where's ben is he here hi ron Celia's here oh she's she's on she's 
ring around the house. It was wonderful seeing you guys' video last night. I watched your video last night and Ben's in a hurricane. I saw you. Ben, ben might join later, but he's not available now. Yeah, okay. I'm well, I'm here. I'm just running around. Okay, yeah. So it was really great watching you guys. It felt like I was back with, you know, of course, being with Psycon, I'm with my friends and people I haven't even met. And, you know, it was so much fun. Oh, my gosh. But watching your guys' video, I watched it while I was in a hotel room last night up at UCSF. And it felt great because I was watching my friends, you know, even another group of friends. And it was really neat to watch. And um, did you talk to people as you were watching? No, that's uh -uh. what I, I did. Laugh. Watch. I start talking. <laughs> there was a couple of times I everybody. laughed. Um, <laughs> there, was, there was a couple. I was going to write it down. I said, for, no. And I was going to write in the comments under the video. I'm like, well, I'm the one watching it. So it's my video. So it's silly to write comments. But there was several good laughs. There were several categories. I was like, there ain't no way I know these things. Yeah. I don't know. I, so, so I just kind of fast forward through some of the questions, hoping for some good ones. Ben had some really good. There was a couple of times that he did not my voice, but he did the things I say. Oh, that's and I'm good. trying to remember what he did. He said, um, yeah. I don't know. There were some things, some phrases that I use that he, he was using and i thought oh that's that's cute i like it <laughs> it's funny oh my god i'm sorry i'm reading the art the second part of the article and he made the same stupid mistake by calling a gimbal instead of gimbal again <laughs> rob <laughs> we're having a conversation sorry. here i know you can go back <laughs> and watch the video of us having the conversation I but will. be here now you know uh... <laughs> but it was fun to watch you guys um the the thing I got out of the video was how badly you guys like getting out early. <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't all that early, I thought. It was still like a very long video. So I'm a little surprised. Well, they that. they were like, wow, we're at it. We're hey, done. Man. This is fast. Well, and anytime we're done before midtime central time, we consider it early. <laughs> I don't know what you guys did because you did the same amount of rounds. How did you guys get out faster? What is it? I mean, I know that you after, small you know, we're three. smart. <laughs> there, there might have been less Susan talking. Oh well, you know, but that's what you're here for. That's what, right. Lee? Uh, Lee? Yes. What did you say? You said you put up three. I pictures. said very small teams. Most teams were only like three people. Oh yeah, that's true. <clears throat> you guys weren't arguing with each other so much. <laughs> also, very low scores because very small teams. Well, that was interesting. That's because all the that smart happened. people were in Vegas. So. <laughs> ah, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. That isn't Kevin. Oh, he okay, spelled Mick West well, wrong, too. They were hard. Hi, Kevin. Who would have thought pizza toppings would be so hard? Yeah, good the new oh, Kevin. I, I knew Kevin that, we get two? that was going to be impossible. Hi, Karen. <laughs> we're going to get to have two Kevins? That's really cool. Do we have to put them on opposite teams? <laughs> Oh, it's no. tricky when they're on the same. Well, it scared the me Kevin there for a second. I guess we need a category about Kevin, right? Remember the last time we had somebody sign on with somebody's name and it wasn't the person we expected it to be? Mm -hmm. Is this is Kevin with a K? It is. Kevin with a D. All right. Nice to meet you, Kevin with a D. <clears throat> How did you find us? Uh, Gail. I am, well, I was at PsyCon too. So. Oh, that's right. We had oh. pizza. We didn't have pizza. We sat at the table together, right? We did. Yeah. We're, we're, and yeah, okay. That's great. I just didn't recognize you from, you know what it mm. is? We see each other at PsyCon and we say to ourselves, it's funny. You don't, you all look so different. <laughs> well, and yeah, I, yeah, I look short. Look I look regular. Yeah. Yeah. We're all the same height. <laughs> we're all the Thank same you. height. Thank you for saying regular instead of short. Adrian. Kevin, is Nikki coming too? <laughs> I, it was amazing. I'm sitting next to Adrian, and she's the same height. But as soon yeah. as she stands up, she looks towers over me. It's very weird. All right, stop it with the tall. all in the all in the legs. Moratorium, moratorium alert. Yep. <laughs> okay, so let me put you guys. Let me get to these groups together. Um, I think we're Roselia. We're starting with you, right? Yeah. Are we? Okay. Yeah, you're starting out. All right. All right. Lucky you. Um, so it's uh, Celia, Rob, Gail, Robin, and Deborah. So Deborah's around. I know she's here because I've I've talked to her today already. So let's get these groups made. And um Karen's Karen's got a phone and a um a thing, I was told. So let me make sure she's Pilar is in the same room as Karen. 
so that it doesn't look like an extra person. And um, um, okay, so let, let me just make sure I've got, so we went sell you in the first room and then we want Robert in the second room. Correct. Deborah is here. Oh, Deborah's here. Okay. Cool. So I'm still reading the article. So how did he spell oh, Mick West wrong? And and it's a hyperlink to the Wikipedia article, which has Mick West spelled correctly, right at the title. I don't understand it. What did they spell wrong? M I C West. What? That's microphone. So it's a. Does nobody proof check anything that? Gets Wait, did you say anymore? that they spell gimbal wrong? Yes. Well, it's the wrong word. I don't know. We just made a word up. Instead of gimbal, which means to rotate, it's some weird word, which means nothing. So he did a mic drop. Clearly, he heard it, Ooh. and that's how he thought it was, and he didn't look it up. It's weird for journalists to do this kind of stuff, I tell you. You would think they'd be on this. Okay, and, and Deborah's mm -hmm. going to go on the last team. Okay, so. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. <laughs> that works out. Vincent sometimes stays later. Wendy sometimes, sometimes stays later. I better change you guys. Jim usually okay. Here, here's how tall Rob is. <laughs> <laughs> That's not. You got me hey, next to the Rob, you never jolly look green giant. Thing. I warned him. That guy's seven him. feet tall. I went to everybody who was on the Sunday papers thing, and I said, "I'm photographing you. I'm in a video from the side. So either stand at the podium, but lean this way." Or stand on this side of the podium. Yes, because that's the, the only thing that podium, was on my mind when I'm, I'm a subject Left of Q&A on stage, head. which is what angle Susan is going to film me at. Well, do you want a good video? Susan. Yes, Karen? Susan, would you like us to um, explain things to Kevin while you sort out the teams? You know what? Gail's probably told him, but I would love that. Who wants to be telling Kevin? What are we telling Kevin? He's new. Kevin? Kevin? I'm a newbie oh. too. This is chaos. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> there you and go. And don't Google. That's all you need. Well, so a new Kevin. Got yes. it. I was like, why do we need to explain nope. things no to Googling. Kevin? He's been here no, from the no very bing. beginning. No binging. <laughs> so, so, so there is a. So the this is social trivia. It's a we play trivia, but the social is first Fun. for a reason because we're kind of chatty. Um. I just need to fix this room floor. Because <laughs> I don't want it to be Robin Welsh all by herself in here with everybody leaves. <laughs> that would make it a little awkward, right? I can't I can't win if I'm the only person on my team. Well, I get to be on the team and everybody else leaves, so it'd be me and you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The first category is wine. The second category <laughs> is lawyering. The third category is more wine. <laughs> okay, I'll take my own candy team. Candy Crush. Candy Crush. <laughs> what are the Venus levels? Of and the final is Candy Crush. Yeah, there she's on it. She, okay, you know, she's so on it. How much money do you spend on that thing? So I have, have spent zero dollars on Candy Crush. crush. Really? I have never yeah. spent any money on a on a game. I've got a no. few. I've been I would. Playing. I wouldn't do it if it cost money. Well, when I've been playing on like a plane, you know, I play them. Yeah. They are really aggressive about trying to get money out of you. They are. It's ridiculous. They make it hard unless you buy your way out of a level, but I'm not. I am saying I'm, I'm not, not buying it. I'll do the level 15 times if I have to, and sometimes I do. But, you know, the whole idea is just do it over and over. Okay, now that's a little more fair. I don't have. Okay, if somebody leaves. That's so, a deal. so I I just googled uh, David Cal Johnson, who is the author of that article in Psychology Today, because he looks very familiar, and the name sort of rang a bell. And I was interviewed uh, by Jenna Belk on her show Atheist Stasis, and I remember him because he was interviewed numerous times as a psychologist about all psychology subjects. That's where I seen this guy. Okay, I saw him. Okay, so here we go. Um, Kevin, you're are you comfortable using breakout rooms? Yeah, no, absolutely. I'm a teacher, so I've been. <laughs> oh, so, so to make you uh, feel at home, everybody, uh, to make yeah, yourself like, I, make Kevin feel. I haven't had to do this since last year. Do but... it. Do it. <laughs> we all have to turn off our screens and our mute, so he feel like. A teacher. <laughs> right. Oh, or, or show me your ceiling. That's, that's what I saw. <laughs> or go totally black. Show me your ceiling. Well, yeah. Yeah. 
The kids, the kids only see this. The kids will turn yeah. the camera up to the ceiling. Yeah, so that their camera's on, but they're not in the frame. I had to. I mean, one of my kids I'm impressed with the avoidance tactic that he claimed that he turned into a ceiling fan. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he couldn't do the work. So oh, that's he's funny. Uh, okay. So he's so a fan of ceilings. <laughs> hey, now I've told this story before, but don't forget, I know somebody who is obsessed with ceiling fans so far oh yeah so much so that every wikipedia page he has a chance to get into he adds that there's a ceiling fan involved whatever oh, page it is god he's he's autistic and uh oh here comes ben and he <gasps> um, he's he's a bit obsessed with ceiling fans and i had a zoom call with a married girl <laughs> camera up to the ceiling fan Okay, so I'm going to put Deborah right there, and Ben is joining, so I'm going to put him. I was actually interviewing someone over Zoom, and they had it pointed up. It wasn't pointed up. It was just that the large room, and you could see the ceiling fan going behind their head, and there was a strobe effect because of it. I had to tell them to turn it off. Oh, yeah. Is Ben here? Okay, well, that's fine. Hello. Hello. Can you, hear you did a fabulous job. I'm about to put people in the breakout room. Hello, not so well, thank you. Know. I, I watched the whole video yesterday. Me I'm too. very impressed. You did a terrific job. Thank you. I was hoping that I, I think I remembered partway through round one to change my um change to gallery view. So oh, I don't that's know why it changed. Yeah. We were trying I, to think Rob and I were talking about that. Yeah, we said how come I changed part it. of the way it's gallery and part of the way it's speaker. I said, uh -huh. gosh, what settings is he because using? I it defaults for me to speaker view because I have three monitors. So I don't, you know, I always see the gallery essentially. But then I go, oh wait, uh Susan told me last time that uh the 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 view was only on one person so then i remembered part way through so that that was my bad well no i i'm glad because you recorded it to your computer right and then i know, did that's why it went to where we could see you in the breakout rooms as well as gallery view and that was that was superior I oh was it oh okay i loved going into the breakout rooms and listening to you it was cool. really fun i i oh, missed awesome. that I really missed that. And it was neat because I got to spend like, it felt like when I was watching the video, I got to spend time with you guys, even though there's only three of you, but I got to spend time with you. And it was really fun because I spent a lot of time with Ben because it was just awesome. the whole time because I'm following him around. So, it was, it was so is that, are you not able to record to your computer <laughs> so that you can record the breakout rooms too? No, I always do. Oh, okay. When I give it to Rob, Rob records to, to the, the cloud. cloud. Yeah, I thought that would be it. easier for her to get it. I didn't think there would right. be a difference in the way it and would yeah, record. And what it does and although it I'm the looking cloud. at the gallery view, it didn't record it that way. Yeah, it goes to the uh, the breakout rooms are gone, but all it yeah. records is a black. Yeah, black. The, the next the next time I do it, I'll just do it to my computer and yeah, and then just yeah. send me I, the link. I just throw it on Google Drive, and then I think I just the first time I did it, I shared out that individual. Now I just like created the Susan's trivia folder, so that way anytime I host, I can just dump the oh, files cool. in there. And and keep in mind, I will be gone for about three games. Oh, Australia, New Zealand, Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. I will not be here. Sorry, you guys, but you better have a Thanksgiving one because I will feel bad. I'll be on a train in in New Zealand. Actually, mm. I will be in New Zealand on a train, but it'll still be Wednesday for you guys. <laughs> except for jamie okay so i'm gonna put you guys it won't in be thanksgiving there nope no thanksgiving so i'm skipping thanksgiving this year oh holy shit we already oh. did thanksgiving in canada so uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm gonna have to time canada. someday okay. i want to go and up there and have thanksgiving twice that that's a great idea <laughs> but i don't i don't feel like cooking or anything like that. okay so uh let me get the rest of you guys on this team hold on just a second I started my Zoom and I go, oh, I hope it doesn't try and sign in with Susan's because that's how it was configured last time and like bump you off here. Oh, <laughs> your that trivia, would be odd. It was okay. It worked out. I think I signed out before. Oh, and the video is good so I can delete it off my computer. Yeah, good I've Lord, got him up. That take up, up a lot the, of space. It's up and I watched it last night. So yeah, it's good. You did a fabulous job. Thank you so much, Ben. You're quite hey, welcome. I'm go, glad it Now you out. can relax. Go to your room. I go will. Play. Go play nice. Adrian, 
Where are you? Go away. Oh, I hear a kitty. Where's the kitty? Hi, kitty. Hi, Imogen. They're coming back. Here, let's see the image here. <clears throat> I have two kitties here. I have kitty cats. Look at the you can see her ear. Whoa. Oh, he's making biscuits or she. And the other cat's jealous because I petted the other one. Oh, my God, we can't have. Oh, oh, she's looking her little head. Look oh. at Carl's kitty cat. Carl's kitty so cute. Who's this Karen A. audio person? That's Karen. That's Karen. Karen. That's her. That's where that's we her. get to see her face on one thing. She's got computer And hear issues. her from another device if you had watched Very the video clever. from last week you would understand mr palmer but uh, no you're too busy yeah. reading other articles that you're instead of watching us <laughs> it's her i was multitasking twin. for that too i was listening mostly more than watching look i got my beehive shirt on in this gorgeous it's a really nice shirt i love that yeah. symbol it's so it cool is, he designed it himself shane from the beehive Amazing. Skeptic, so utah oh, skeptics wow. very That's nice very, cool. yeah. very nice so, Peggy, yeah. you have a Day of the Dead altar behind you, right? I do. Uh, oh, that's yeah, awesome. Yeah, she sure does. That's it's not I, mine. I stole it from a friend's Facebook post. Don't tell oh. her. Oh, I made a did a little one, little but altar. That's her, real, that's her real background. I mean, she's really got that there. We're going to see her dog come up <laughs> and tear it all to pieces in a minute. George will I have, like, I have a little one. Oh, I can show. All right. Oh, so, we're back. A little uh, one. See? Thank you guys for all being here. It was a lot of fun being out of town and it's really? a lot of fun being home. Trust me. Yeah. I'm really uh, looking forward to a nice game. I, I was bummed that I didn't get to see everybody in person, yeah. but I did have fun uh, running the game. So Yeah, and, and yeah. you did a fantastic job, Ben. And as I told everybody that before you were getting oh, hi, Ann. Before you were here, she's got a little paw on my arm like she like she's trying to interrupt to say something herself. <laughs> Cute. Did you want to say something? No, okay. Um, you can see her ear. Is that um, is that Adrian you're talking to? No, this is Imogen. Other one. Ariadne's over on the other side. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of like Adrian. So as I was telling everybody, <clears throat> so oh, Caspian isn't going to show up. Um, that where's pa where's Paul? Oh, she's on a cruise. Paula's going on a cruise. That's right. Oh, cool. um, nice. Uh, that we're putting a moratorium on on talk about PsyCon as much as possible because I know how bad it feels to to see like half of the group went to this. It'd be one thing if one or two of us went, but no, half of us were at this this big convention and it, it feels like we're throwing it in your face. So we're gonna not gonna be talking about PsyCon too much, but after, if you guys want to stay late and I'm still up for it, you know, if my voice is holding out on me, I'm still working on the pictures. Uh, we can talk about it. Wendy's not gonna make it. Look at her yawn. My gosh, girl. Said, I, I feel you, Wendy. I'm feeling Karen's that right. way too. Yes, Karen. This, we defer to you, of course, as our host, but for someone who wanted to go and couldn't go, I don't feel bad. I feel like I'm included and I'm uh, participating and enjoying it vicariously. But I agree. I but I okay. stand but I, I stand behind. I agree. Thank you, Carol. And you and we're not babies, we're mature adults. I know, but it, it's like seeing your friends go and, and I just feel bad, you know, because well, I would I, love to have had more of you there. Really. Play, we got to play an awesome game of trivia and you didn't get to play, so ha ha. I know, but I did watch the video last night. All right, let's get started with this because I know how badly you guys would like to make these a little shorter. So we're going to go with the first group, which is Celia, mm -hmm. Carolyn, Kevin D., Lee and Ron and Kevin D is in Michigan, right? Kevin, if I remember correctly. Yep, absolutely. You, you can stay off of mute. We don't care. You don't. Have to okay, care. yeah. No, no. Uh, we put everybody on mute at one point. 
usually when the questions are read, depending on who the person is. And the rule is, you guys all know the rule, right? You can't, uh, not to unmute yourself unless whatever you were saying is funny. Okay, then you can interrupt. Or, but, or you wish to accidentally spoil an answer to. Yeah, a we don't want you to. We don't want you to ask questions because it always makes the what's the word for it. Uh, it, it you might reveal an answer to somebody by asking a question. Oh no, Susan, don't. I'm looking at the spreadsheet. It's wrong. Somebody who made it wrong. Don't don't. Uh, <laughs> you, you see, you see the one zero is highlighted. That should yeah. not be. I mean, you didn't I'll create it them. correctly. Okay, so the group. How dare you? What is oh. team number one's name? What is your winning name tonight? Everybody Mission has. Impossible. Make Don Jr. look sexy. It's just being sour sauce. <laughs> <laughs> I love categories that are current. Uh, have current. Yeah, current it's health. really good. Because I love being able to look back at these, you know, because we're on year four. You know, look back at these and go, what the heck? There's one in the fridge. I'll get it. Okay. Is it on the fridge, Kevin? Good. That doesn't look good. Kevin? Mocker. We're going to have to call him Mocker. Rob, Jamie, Jane, Janine, and Peggy. Beavis and Butthead commit perjury. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at their faces today going, oh man, I don't I don't want to do an ad hominem, but man, those are, I mean, with all the surgery that Ivanka has had, you would think the boys would have had some too, or maybe that is what the surgery. Yeah, it could be. I'm, I'm scary. I'm, I mean, that's scary. They were all 65. <laughs> well they 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 it's really dude okay <laughs> um gail brandy cat mocker and vincent buffy may not be a saint marie <laughs> oh yes oh <gasps> that's so good of course i'm canadian only the so canadians get it, get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah sorry i need the explanation yeah, i don't get it yeah, yeah, saint in maine right buffy saint buffy. marie is a folk singer, mm -hmm. beloved. Who's had like Canadian a sixty-year career, yeah, and she's known as like an she's indigenous great. folk singer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Only oh. the CBC did a, an investigative report, and it turns out she may not have ever been born in Canada, and no, she may not she's be American, indigenous, oh. and her whole Ouch. backstory may just be a big old lie. Well, I think I did see this headline, but I had yeah. no idea. Italian and Italian and English heritage. Is yeah. that right, Kat? Yeah. She, her her story was always she was born on a reserve in Saskatchewan and then adopted to white parents in is it Minnesota? Somewhere like that, yeah. That sounds right. And it turns out that no, those white parents are her bio parents. Oh, ouch. She's a <laughs> yeah. she was saying those are my not not my parents. Isn't yeah. she also a Republican in the house? No. <laughs> no, no, I wouldn't be shocked if she was. You remember Rachel Dozal? Yeah, she was. I the one who was um, yeah. Oh yeah! Wow, we're getting into it. Okay. And no, who was no. who was the woman who uh, accepted the Academy Award on behalf of Marlon Brando, and she was allegedly Native American, but it turns oh, out yeah. she's actually a Mexican girl from Salinas. Marie Cruz <laughs> from, from Santa Rita. Yes, yes, Santa Rita. yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, scandal is everywhere. Okay, yeah. next team, Robin, Wendy, Carl, and Jim. Is Am I missing somebody on that team? No, just the four of us. You? Okay. I'll say it. The trivia team, they don't want you to see. Oh, oh, oh nice. that's good. <laughs> Very, good. Very nice. Deborah, Adrian, Ben, Karen, and Kyle. Eddie? Trump's son's back off so far, they might fall off the edge of the flat earth. <laughs> Imogen, please don't sit on my hand. Okay. All right. I, she's right here. Look. <laughs> she, she wants to be nice. I put a little stool so that they, because they're getting arthritic. You know, they're 15 or so. Hamilton's the only one that can get up here because I'm on a high desk. I'm mm -hmm. not at a low desk. And so they put a little stool here so they could jump on it and then jump on the cabinet right here. And Imogen figured out how to do that today. All right. So we've got. Mission Impossible, make Don Jr. look sexy versus Beavis and Butthead commit perjury versus Buffy may not be a Saint Marie, right? Versus the trivia team they don't want you to see versus Trump's sons back off so far they may fall off the edge of the flat earth. What do you guys think, kiddies? Which is the winning team? 
<laughs> Mark's had a magic class and then he's doing a cooking class, so I can't even ask him. So we're ready to start. We are game 187, season four. We are cooking. I tell you what, this is, we're doing great. Here we go. So we're going to lead off today with Celia, followed by Rob. Oh, wait, wait. <clears throat> What happened, Rob? Did you do something? I, I'm I'm fixing it. Don't look okay, at it. Okay, I was right gonna now. say the screen went. Boom, boom, boom. Um, followed by. Wait, it's everything's disappearing. I'm fixing it. Okay, followed by Gail. Look at my notes. Next, Robin, and then final final bonus is Deborah. And don't <coughs> forget, we don't have anybody set for next week, so we need to get those people in soon. So all those people who disappear at the at uh, the second round. I want to make sure that you guys have a chance to volunteer for the next next, which will be November 9th. And we have nothing for November 16th. So just keep that in your mind. All right, here we go. Let's go, Celia. I'm going to give you your powers right here. You have superpowers now. Rob is going to be acting as our whatever it is, the troll baiter or whatever he does. Mutator. Mutator. What? I am? Well, I gave you the powers earlier. Yeah, usually I don't do that to somebody who's got a category, but I can do it. So that means that um, I can jump in and out of the break rooms and stuff. Yep. I forget how you do that. That's why you get to do this. I We were talking about this at that conference. We're not going to name. And I was, <laughs> we were talking about, well, we were talking about the pandemic and how there were so many things that were actually beneficial. Wait, and I said well. that, you know, I had this trivia game and I taught all these people how to use Zoom. Well, somebody else had to teach me first, but it makes it so much easier for everybody to be able to communicate with people because you're familiar with this now. Oh, I see it now. Breakout rooms. Okay. I just oh. click on that and then choose one. It'll say, in, right. Team you want to be in. Yep. I don't know. They'll figure it out. Or yeah. I can flip okay. you like they did a Kevin Marker last week. All right. All right. And um, I'm going to um the category the questions is. on a on a on a word doc i'm going to attempt to copy and paste it now okay what's your category it is the toughest job you'll ever love um it's questions about the peace corps oh that oh, was okay. their logo for many years more recently they had a a newer ad campaign that was had the logo of Life is calling. How far will you go? <laughs> but anyway, the toughest job you'll ever love. Let me try to cup and paste now. Hopefully that'll work. Okay. So the toughest job you ever love. Question one. What year did Peace Corps start? So it was both initiated by an act of Congress and the first volunteers landed in their um, in the first Peace Corps country within the same calendar year. I'm amazed that happened that quickly. Uh, All right, Celia, so what, I, I am I am muting everybody, so unmute yourself in three, two, one. Okay. Um, so what year was that? Uh, number two. What was the first country to receive? Are you people? going to put the questions into the chat? You don't see it? No, Oops. I don't see it. And Oops, could let me you try put again. Question in the chat. Oh, there we go. Could you okay. put it in the chat before you read it so that we? Yeah. Okay. Sorry about that. It was in my chat. I <laughs> just didn't send it to the rest of you, but now it's there. Okay. So the first question: What year did Peace Corps start? Okay. That it was. Uh, um, Initiated as an act of Congress and the first volunteers went overseas in the same calendar year. Two, what was the first country to receive those first Peace Corps volunteers? Three, who was the first Peace Corps director? Four, how many U.S. citizens have served as Peace Corps volunteers, not staff Peace Corps volunteers, plus or minus 10,000? Five, how many nations have hosted Peace Corps volunteers, plus or minus 10. Six, what unprecedented event happened in 2020? And then the remaining question is are um, concerning um, acronyms that are used just in the, the Peace Corps, what they mean for pe in the Peace Corps world. Peace Corps uses so many acronyms, it's practically mm -hmm. a foreign language <laughs> that just Peace Corps people speak. 
looks like Scientology right there. <laughs> yeah. So I, so I what, have a question, what, question on, on number six. Uh, could you yes. make that more specific? There's a lot of unprecedented events that happened in 2020. No, this is something that never happened to the Peace Corps before. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, it's just there's a ton of things that have happened in the history of the Peace Corps, and this is um, the only time that that specific um specific thing happened specific action happened so the acronyms um what according to the peace corps world not anybody else does do the following stand for rpcv apcd et and vista okay that's it And now, um, do I send them to the rooms or someone else? Go does ahead. No, go ahead. I want you to get comfortable learning how to use Zoom. So go for it. Um, how do I send them to my the rooms? You say go to your rooms. <laughs> <laughs> Let me remember. How, uh, oh, go to breakout rooms in the bottom. Gotcha, right gotcha, corner. gotcha. Okay, breakout rooms, open all rooms, right? Yep. They will make the decision to close all rooms too. Oh, gotcha. Okay. I put people in the rooms that are that got jumped Okay, out. should have gotten that invite to go to your rooms, right? I'm prison five. Oh. Okay. I, I don't see that. That's because Jim, I got because you left and now I gotta reassign you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Great. When you leave it, it, it kicks you out. So you're in four. Kevin. Three. Three. Mocker, you're in three. Magic. Like magic. That is pretty cool. Hey, so you know how to jump from room to room, right, Saya? I hope so. I can just click on the room, right? So where it says, it says break join. Out join. Yeah. Got it. Okay. I'm going to your room. Okay. He, oh, that's I guess that's about the right time. Yeah. Okay. Hello, team. Hello. I I'm assuming that if we know the year 1962 then that should help us with a lot of the other questions right oh sergeant shriver well, i remember him <laughs> and i know well seven eight nine ten uh ten would be volunteers in service to america very good lee were you Thanks. in the peace corps no but i yeah, i was in college and i was really getting bummed out and i wanted to join the peace corps and they told me that they wouldn't take me until I got my degree. Huh. So then what happened? Then I got married and moved on. Oh, to yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. So other things happened. So can I go into all Rob mode and say that ABC are not uh, acronyms, they're initialisms? <laughs> <laughs> He's going to watch this. You better watch out. <laughs> Hang on a second. I'm going to throw a cat away. What? Look at it. I've got this one watching me. He's intently watching me. And the other one is walking. She wants to sit on my hand. She sees my hand, so she wants to sit on it. So what would be the first country? I would think it's South America somewhere, right? I think it was somewhere in Africa, but I don't remember, like Ghana or something like that. Really? About, oh. yeah. I would have thought it had been someplace close by, like Mexico or something. I don't think so. I think it was. Uh, yeah, that wouldn't have drawn people to it. That set up somewhere yes. exotic. I, I tried to, I tried to I learn a little bit about the Peace Corps, but. Uh, so, yeah, spend the least amount of time in this room because it's recording when I'm here. You're going to. Okay. You'll be able to go back and look at it on the video. That was the only picture I've heard so far, so I put it down. Okay. That sounds good. That's about all I remember. Do you, have, do you have memorized how many uh, citizens have served? It's been a bunch. I, <laughs> yeah. I well, it down. since there's plus and minus 10,000, you want to just like guess? Uh, 80? Well, 100,000? Well, I don't know. Well, yeah. that's what, 38? That's what, 61 years? Do you have a guess as to the average per year? I mean, is it 5,000, 8,000? Yeah, Remember, some big... people volunteer more than one time. So it's this oh. is people, human beings. So if they've been in it for you know 10 years, 
That's okay. one person still. Right, right. Can I say hundred thousand? It's going to at least be a hundred thousand with a plus or minus a ten. Yeah, that's what I'm figuring. It's going to be a high number. Well, we can come back to that. Yeah. Right. Number five is probably like eighty. Well, what is a hundred and ninety-five countries? Last count. And then no. plus or minus ten. I doubt North Korea has. Yeah, just so we can eliminate a few countries like Russia, China, China, Korea, South North Korea, the U.S., Canada. I don't think we have peace corps in Canada. <laughs> Gosh, I wish I had done something like this too. Back when I was young, but I was never fit. Yeah. How many countries are in Africa? Like 50 something, isn't there? It's something like that. I think we had that question once before. Yeah. So Sergeant Shriver was JFK's brother in law. Is that right? Uh yeah, I believe so. I know I know he was related to JFK. I don't remember. Yeah, I think he was I think it was, he was married yeah, to was a brother -in -law. his sister. Yeah, his sister was um not Rose, but yeah, I think it's his sister. And Sergeant Shriver is the father of Arnold Schwarzenegger's wife. Ex-wife. Now <laughs> ex-wife, yeah. Yeah, wasn't he also a vice presidential candidate for a short period of time? And isn't his real name Sergeant? Yeah, that's his real name. That is so I'm, cool. I don't know if I spelled it right, but that's his name. I think it's spelled like Sergeant. Yeah. Well, that that that's the rank. I, I wasn't sure if he spelled it exactly isn't the same it way. S A R G. Or it doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't. Yeah. Okay. What happened? What unprecedented event happened in 2020? I mean, is it do you think it's tied to COVID? It was closed. We were, you know, it's first time they didn't have volunteers. In. Yeah, I was going to say no volunteers. That's a good point. Yeah. Well, well, what else? But that seems so obvious. Well, we don't overthink it. So. We do it so well. Yeah. <laughs> That's no, what I was no, saying. Nobody, no nobody went because I think they did pull them all in, didn't they? They pulled them back. Yeah, they probably recalled everyone. So either recalled everyone or no volunteers. I would say no volunteers. Or Even though that would have been well, if they, they, were, if they were already in a foreign country. Right. But they have to stay there anyway. Bring COVID in. Yeah. No volunteers. Uh, all volunteers recalled? No. I'd say no volunteers placed or sent. Or sent out. Yeah. 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 Are you saying they stayed in place while, wherever they were? Yeah, because you couldn't come home anyways. Would you could come home? Well, eventually, yeah. No, I mean, if you were like, if you were in Australia or New Zealand or wherever, and you got COVID, I mean, and even though the borders are closed, they allowed you to come home in 2020. Well, it it kind of depends citizen. where. So, yeah. Um. Let me put Deborah in her room. She keeps having internet issues. She uh, says, I keep having internet issues. And I said, so what else is new? Mm. I think so, we got it, right? Oh, how many nations? Wait a minute. Already there's a makeup. Uh, number back. four. Did we guess a number? 102. We got a number? So we, we got, got a minute and a half. So, yeah, just guess, start guessing. 110, 120,000, something like that. Just pick a number. Okay, 120 sounds good. That's and good. then how many nations? Okay. I'm I'm saying at least 80. Yeah, I was thinking around 80. Okay. And anyone want to guess it? I mean, I think you could... Repeat something, volunteers? I don't know. We I was looking at uh, P the PC being Peace Corps. Okay, that makes sense. How about, no, I know the Peace Corps was looking for older people. How about retired Peace Corps volunteers? Or oh, something? that's right. I like that. 
Um, a. Probably doctors. So number B is something P score doctors. What would it be the um, A? A would stand for Apple. No. Um, American. American. Excel. Excel. Um, Associated or? Associated Peace Corps doctors. Anonymous. P. I'll go with American unless American. somebody. Just so we have a word down there. Mm -hmm. uh, PT. Phone home. Yes. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> <laughs> Um, uh, could it be like emergency how about or? technicians, emergency technicians? There you go. I mean, it's just a guess. I don't know. Yeah, oh, totally. Well, we got every we got an answer for everything now. <laughs> there you go. Can't get a point for something you don't answer. So, no. so Kevin, yep. Yep. I'm only in the room this round. Next time you get back, um, so yeah, <laughs> so I okay. jump from room to room. Sounds good. All right, well. All right, that was really interesting, Celia. I think I think everybody probably agrees we all wish we had done something like this. <laughs> Back in the day when I was younger, because I can't Oh, you're that. never too old. It's, that's yeah, never but I'm not fit. There's no way I could do it. I'm not healthy. Fit. I mean, I'm healthy, but I'm not fit. Yeah. And I won't eat the food. I, I'm not a foodie. You survived <laughs> Las Vegas. Yeah, but I wouldn't be able to eat. Yeah, really, much scarier place. Let me tell you. Well, gee, I didn't I do. Agree. I uh, well, gee, I did. I didn't do anything like that in a Ford country, but I did join the Ontario Junior Forest Rangers when I was seven. Cool. Aww. <laughs> okay, yeah. tell you what you got for us. I did yeah. feel a little bad for the Canadians with this category, but. But we've got um, Canadians mixed in with the Americans, and it's just, you know, it's just luck of the draw. Yeah. And they did fine, I'm sure. Right, Canadians? I think I it was sometimes still, the Canadians get to come up with the questions, and they can... There yeah, you go. There you go. Turn, around, Canadian turn around is fair play. Yeah. And I do think that this... this um, it, It's hard for me to know, because, of course, all of this is super easy to me, because it's all embedded in me <laughs> for so many years. But um, I feel like it's... A, easier than the other one category I did on the, the Caribbean. <laughs> well, All right, so I'll try to put the answers into the chat again and try to remember to send it to you this time. So answers, the Peace Corps started in 1961. Oh! oh signed into Congress goodness. and the first wrong. volunteers left later that year. I'm just amazed it happened that fast. and. You know, Kennedy had barely gotten into office. It was just kind of amazing. It was just sort of a, a big thing. He was just determined to get done. So it got Will done. Will you give us any plus or minus on that? We had 62. Yeah. We no, sorry. Away. Because no. there's only so few years that it was even possible if you knew that it was a Kennedy during Kennedy's Yeah, that's history. true. I just felt like, what what was that, three years? So good job. Not on, Not on that one. Not on that one. The First volunteers in 1961 went to Ghana, oh. West Africa. The first Peace Corps volunteer, first Peace Corps director was Sergeant Shriver. Oh, yeah, we got oh it. that's we got right. I, I got to shake his hand you. at a Peace Corps conference in 2002, and he's kind of like an honorary uncle to us. <laughs> he's he was the um, nep the, the brother in law of Kennedy, right? He's uh let's see, he's yeah. Eunice Shriver's father, and I thought it was he was married John to Eunice. Kennedy. Ken it was John Ken that's Eunice right, father in law of John, of John Kennedy, yes. That's right. Um, and he, you know, he did a lot of amazing things. He 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 campaigned a lot against poverty, particularly. Um he he was he was um he was a good man. Anyway, I know this one was hard, <laughs> but there have been. It looks like you reversed seven and eight. Whoops. Oh, sorry about that. I'll try to read them in order anyway. Number one was 1961. Number two is Ghana. Three, Sergeant Shriver. Number four, the number of, of U.S. citizens who have served in the Peace Corps is 240,000. Oh. 
Wow. So plus or minus plus, 100,000 on that one. Is it plus or minus 400,000? <laughs> no. <laughs> We're going for a plus or minus 100%. We're right on. <laughs> um, and then the number of uh, nations that have that have hosted Peace Corps volunteers is 142, which is oh, pretty yeah. amazing. When you think about how many nations, how many are there in the world anyway? I mean, that's well yeah. over half. Um, and number six, the unprecedented incident uh, um, that happened in, to be specific, but I didn't be specific, but anyway, March 15th, 2020, every single currently serving Peace Corps volunteer was evacuated oh. and sent back home. Um, Peace Corps volunteers have been evacuated during times of disasters, uh, um, after 9-11, several countries were evacuated, but this was unprecedented is that every single serving volunteer wow. was um, sent back to the U.S. That was an amazing feat. And they literally sent them all in like one, like three days or something that they all, you know, they got an order, they packed, they they got home. Well, right. Um, I mean, I we get it that it was the pandemic. Mm -hmm, but, it was. Yeah, but why, what was the reasoning? Well, does it all get sick? You know, liability it's, it's probably. Hard. Yeah, I mean, only because yeah. then they, if they were sick, they would have spread it all over the world. Well, well yeah. I think yeah. like, there was there was a lot of concern about well, were they going to get sick on the way home? Were they going to bring it home? You know, where they were going to do because there, there like, was a, a lot there was of a large amount of panic. Yeah. I remember my my daughter was in college mm -hmm. in France and she was hopping on a plane. And she was afraid that Charles de Gaulle Airport was going to be closed. And so we ended up paying for two plane tickets because she said, I can get on this earlier flight, but I'm, I'm worried I won't make it on the flight that we already paid for. My niece was visiting a boyfriend in Russia. And when Trump made the announcement that flights from Europe would be canceled, like, is Russia Europe? We're unclear on that. Oh God! <laughs> yeah. Well, Arlen and, and his so, wife had to stay in Spain for several months. Yeah, yeah. So it was it was a big deal. And I... Yeah. You know, and it was very, very, very hard on the volunteers. But I think it was personally, I think it was the right call. And and um, and everyone got home safely. You know, no one no one died of COVID in the in the Peace Corps. You know, I mean, no, you know, so. Well, they're, uh, they're responsible the for these volunteers. So exactly. You know, exactly. You and I imagine it's like, get them home now while you can, because if you wait too long, all the borders mm -hmm. can be shut down. They can yeah. be stranded there forever. That was mm -hmm. exactly part of it, too. So there were volunteers in China that were evacuated first. But on May 15, the order went out that for all volunteers to come home. And it was, you know, that was just amazing feat to get, you know, all of them back at, you know, at once like that. Well, excellent category. Let's do our Yeah. Stories. Okay. So I haven't finished yet. Just, um, oh, okay. So the oh, acronym. Oh, I, I just read them. So that's why. <laughs> the AP, APCD is Associate Peace Corps Director, uh, which is a director of, of a particular country or program. Um, RPCV seven. is a Return yeah. Peace Corps Volunteer. Oh, just so, myself. Okay, reserve wouldn't be close enough. No, no, returned is 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 is, is the the term that is used. That's the that's the official term used. Return Peace Corps volunteer, and so as one who has hosted several RPCV parties, I used to joke about, please RPCVs, please RSVP. <laughs> <laughs> um. So and there's a big RPCV community, and that's what we call ourselves um et is early termination so a standard peace corps service is 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 two years um although there is there are sh are shorter term uh peace corps uh programs now but in any case if for whatever reason you go home before you know before for the end of the service it's called et and uh -huh. um V-I-S-T-A or VISTA is Volunteers in Service to America or the Domestic Peace Corps, which um, has evolved into the current AmeriCorps. VISTA. Hey, Susan could do that because then she'd have normal there food. You go, there you go. Mm -hmm. the, um, <laughs> so the VISTA doesn't, doesn't really exist anymore. <laughs> it's, it's evolved into AmeriCorps. 
So there you have it. Okay, very good. All right, let's start with, oh, she saw my hands. Trump sons back off so far, they may fall off the edge of the flat earth. Huh. How many? Four. Okay, four. The wow. Trump team, they don't want you to see. Four. <laughs> four. Okay. It's hard to do this with a cat on my hand. Um, but we almost had five, but I think we said returning Peace Corps volunteer. Buffy yeah, may I, not be a saint. I corrected it back to some another word. I'm going to give you my, our oh. score, but I'm going to tell you that it's only because we were very close on many of them, but we only got exactly right one. Oh, Ooh. which was that one? The one that we got right was the, was the thing that happened. Ah, uh, but we had nice. like sixty-two, and we had the wrong. We had sergeant's wife i mean we got very very close um, and you knew what vista was we just didn't know what it stood for and we had some of the words right but we didn't have yeah right. yeah beavis and butthead commit perjury <laughs> we got three okay mission impossible make don jr look sexy your own team what'd you do to it uh lee got two the rest of us got zero <laughs> <laughs> So average of uh -oh. 2.8. Wowza. <laughs> this was hard. That was hard. It was hard. Even though it was interesting, it was hard. The, the saving grace was that you did not say, oh, you'll all know all of these. <laughs> <laughs> That's the jinx. Yes. We got Sar Sergeant Shriver right on, and we were one year off, and we were so close on a lot of them. Okay, good job. Robert, you're up. Okay, so this came to me as I was watching the last trivia game, and uh, I took this from Kevin's idea of people he has met or photographed. I think that was the name. Uh, yeah. Mine is people I have interviewed. Rob's interviews. Oh, easy. Oh. Easy. Okay. Super easy. And 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 they're not necessarily all from uh, Psycon, so we don't have to go there. Hence, I don't have the Psycon banner behind me. I have Skeptical Inquirer which might be most of them, although not necessarily all. Okay, number one. I interviewed this person twice for Skeptical Inquirer, the first time in an article titled Celebrating 500, which was the first skeptical media article I was ever paid for. The original co-host of their podcast was Stefan Sochka. I might have butchered that pronunciation, who also wrote the opening music and lyrics for the show. People are not muted. Should they be muted? I'm gonna quiet. Be, everybody going to be good? Okay, I'll leave you. Number two. I interviewed this person three times for Skeptical Inquirer. When asked if they think Gwyneth Paltrow understands the harm she has done by promoting psychics on her Netflix show, The Goop Lab, they judiciously replied, I wouldn't presume to know whether or not Gwyneth Paltrow understands the gravity of promoting self-proclaimed psychics, but I fear that Paltrow's The Goop Lab episode, Are You Into It?, will increase the likelihood of more vulnerable people being defrauded. You hear that, Gwyneth? All right, number three. The interview I did with this person titled Exploring Possible Worlds, appeared in the July-August 2020 edition of Skeptical Inquirer as the cover story. They are an Emmy and Peabody Award-winning documentary producer and director specializing in the communication of science. They were the creative director of NASA's Voyager Interstellar Message Project. Mm -hmm. Number four. I interviewed this analytical skeptic in March 2023 for Skeptical Inquirer. One of the topics we discussed was a fairly new conspiracy theory they had investigated and wrote critically about and been attacked for on Wikipedia for contradicting. We also touched upon the new internet phenomenon ChatGPT as this was right in their wheelhouse. Number five, coming up is a long one because I just love reading this. I've read this several times in different places. I interviewed this activist who has dys dyslexia twice. Once was for a skeptical inquiry and once was for a local skeptic group. They gave a speech at the 2016 Reason Rally in Washington, D.C., where they said, 
my name is, redacted name, and I am a god. At least I played one on TV. And I'm here to tell you as a god that I was created by humans. And the words I spoke were written by men and women. My creators took great care in exalting me to the position I hold today. And just like all the gods before me, Zeus, Baal, Yahweh, my god creators wanted you to believe that I am the omnipotent one, the Alpha and the Omega. Truth be told, I don't exist any more than the thousands of other gods that humans have created, worshipped, and died for since the beginning of time. But if you insist on believing in me, you do so at your own risk. I will lead you down the path of ignorance, intolerance, and bigotry, all because you believe. Truer words were never said. Did you hear that? Number six. I interviewed this former fundamentalist preacher and self-described Jesus freak. I'll say former. Yes, Jesus freak. Now an atheist activist twice. Once for CFI and once for RFR. That's recovering from religion. They bravely make the most of their declining physical condition to ALS by directing their activism towards promoting the right to die with dignity. They support organizations such as the Final Exit Network and are associated with the two phrases, dying out loud and carpe the fucking dm <laughs> i just demonetized you number eight seven number seven i interviewed this icon featured speaker for skeptical inquire in december 2019 in an article titled challenging creationism at the ark encounter their first book was my name is stardust which contains a forward by richard dawkins number eight My Skeptical Inquirer article published in March 2019 was with this entertainer and author. According to Wikipedia, from the ages of 14 to 18, they were, quote, involved in music in various Dada and performance art bands in and around South Los Angeles, including Zazu Pitts and the Enema Dog Review (laughs) featuring a walk in the closet, Rat Squad, and the Techno Cats, which later splintered into the Brainiacs, the Suburbs, and Suburban Lawns. I kid you not. During a punk concert at LA's Brave Dog Club, they were hit in the head with a half full beer bottle, at which point they decided to pursue a solo career. (laughs) Number nine. I interviewed this reasonable, extremely patient, good thinking skeptic for Skeptical Inquirer in October 2019. They are perhaps best known for leading the battle against public funding of homeopathy in the UK. And lastly, number 10. I interviewed this foreman, a term they coined, in February 2023 for CFI. We actually did two separate interviews back to back. One normal interview and then one with them playing the character they created and have played since 2006. And that's all she wrote. Any questions? Okay. How did you get to be so famous? If, if you have and dyslexia. Am I allowed to be in the same uh, chat room as you? <laughs> go to your room. If you have dyslexia, it do yeah. things backwards. If you have dyslexia twice, doesn't that straighten it out? Uh, go to your room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, good one. Oh, boy. Okay. Don't go to me. Okay, I think I know them all. <laughs> Those in mind know them all. Yay. Is it okay if I share my screen? It helps me, but it may not help everybody. So no, no it's very helpful. Thank you, Peggy. Let everybody else get, and then if you don't know it all, I'll tell you. We are lucky, lucky, Susan. I know. This well, is why great. People it's want so me on their cheating. Team. Yeah, and we I want you, baby. Because I haven't watched all of the interviews that I want to because I haven't gotten to them but i i have i think almost no idea of any of these but those of you who have paid more attention to skeptical inquire and went to the conference i'm sure will be able to fill us in yeah i think so susan does anybody have a guess on number one stefan soika or sojka um, I don't know. 
somebody had just had 500th uh um podcast um the 500th pod <clears throat> podcast there's very few no people in our community that have had that would that be richard mm -hmm. one of them plays trivia with us richard Sager. okay richard All righty then. Um, I just don't recognize the name. Why don't he's I trying to be? He's trying. To, well, Richard uh, Stefan Stroika is the first person is the person who hosted it with him and wrote the theme song. Oh, mm. uh, so that's not he was uh, he was on the show at the very beginning. Richard brings him in. But he's not now, time. is he? No, no, no. Because I don't recognize the name. Okay, he only mentions it once in a great while. But yeah, no, I I don't know. I don't know Stroika. <laughs> Asked. Anybody besides Susan know number two? I don't. It's Bob no. Nygar, N Y G A A R D. G A A R D. Bob. Bob right. Nygar did talked about Gwyneth Alva. Mm -hmm. Well, he talked about the psychic on the Gwyneth Paltrow show. All righty then. Oh, promoting the psychics. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I did watch it, that inter a an interview of his. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see, three. Why? She at least misses me. I have one cat that misses me. Tell her you're about to go away again. She'll like that. She's, she's on my hand. I can't, I can't, t I have one hand free. The other hand is she's like grabbed onto it. And she's laying on Aww. it. Very cute. The interview I did exploring possible. This is somebody that is very famous. So is this. Um... It's a female. It's a famous oh, it's female. A female. In the communication of science. Yeah, I don't know. She's married to a very, very, very famous man who's dead. I don't know who people are married to. What's, oh, what's his wife's name? Oh, yeah. Awesome. Uh, and and uh, mm -hmm. um, what's her name now? Right, Dran, Dran, Dran. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. who was who was she married to? Carl Sagan. Carl Sagan. Oh, D R. How do I spell her name? Yeah. Y A N D R Y A N, I, d d something like that. Okay. We'll be fine. Okay. We're going to brag about you, Susan. Except that other people are going to know these two. <laughs> well, anybody in GSW, we would be screwed. Because we talk about this stuff in GSOW a lot. None of you guys are in GSOW. So yeah. anybody who's on the team will know these. This is really vague. Number four is really vague. There's a reason why it's very vague. I suspect that there is. Like but... number one is Richard Saunders. It is very vague. Why? This isn't you, is it, Susan? I don't know anything about chat GGBT. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that doesn't make... That is that make... Kyle? Mm -hmm. Oh, Kyle? It's Kyle. that's Kyle. Kyle Polish. I thought about Kyle and I thought, I don't remember hearing that he got interviewed, but then now I do remember I did hear he was getting interviewed. A little distant. All right. Okay. Let me make these bigger because I'm old fashioned and I do it like that. That's fine. It drives Rob crazy, but that's okay. Okay. Activist who that's, has. That's actually our goal. Who has dyslexia? Oh, he has twice dyslexia. I get it. Now I know that what that joke was about. <laughs> I didn't get it then. This is a very famous person with dyslexia, evidently. It's mm -hmm. God. It's um it's God. Yes, it is. Hey. Hi. Did you go play um? Did you go oh did oh Cindy's here? Did you go over to uh get your um it's cooking it's god but what's cooking. it did you go to the cooking that, class it's that 
Guy and not the guy that was on not Doctor God. Who's the guy that does the? He's really funny. Is the right? Data guy the guy that plays Data? No, it's you know Susan. Tell mm -hmm. me who I'm saying. You know who I mean. He's Q, I, huh? Q in Star Trek. Oh, and Q in Star Trek. Oh yeah, yeah, Q. Yeah, yeah. So that guy's name is. I don't know Q. Brent Spiner? I mean, no. No? I'm trying know, to remember his name. It's I, um I know Q, but that wasn't who I was thinking of. He was in he was in Breaking Bad, I think. He's been in a lot of stuff. His name is uh I'll come back with it. Oops, what, what did I just do? That was wrong. Go back. Who was he in Breaking Bad? I can tell you. Stop it, stop it, stop it. <sighs> his name is, um, he uses three names. Stop it, it's his name. I don't like you like uh, that. I've heard the dying out loud, but. I, I don't know the name. Um, I don't. The guy oh, I know who the, I know who this is, but I can't I can't remember his name. Which one? Seven? Oh, I we're doing number six. I, I'm trying to just fix my screen, and I've given up. So, okay, I interviewed this former fundamentalist preacher. And honestly, I don't know who it is because I don't know who's got ALS. He's got ALS. Yeah, I I can't remember his name. And Matt Dillahunty. I like it. I'm putting it in would, for now. No, I I can't think of who it is. It's not Dillahunty. No, because he would have never interviewed him for CFI. Um, I don't know who's got ALS, so I don't know. I don't know who that is. Okay, seven is is Bailey, the little girl. What's her full name? Bailey Harris. Harris? Mm -hmm. Bailey Harris. I wouldn't have remembered her last name. How cute. That she was good. If I had that much poise at that age to be on stage, yeah, she oh got my awesome God. Parents. She was her, parents, her parents are helping her. Kitty, you got to yeah. get off my... Still, my parents could have helped me and I wouldn't have gotten that. Let's see. The interview article published was with this entertainer and author. Entertainer and author, according to Wikipedia. They were involved in music in various data and... Prof this isn't Mark, is it? Hi, Mark. And there he is. Summoned to read something that may be him. Hit, hit in the head with a half full bot beer bottle at which point they decided to pursue a solo career perhaps uh, this one i don't know at all <clears throat> susan you're muted are we meant to be hearing what you and mark are saying we want to hear what you and mark are saying hi mark now he they can hear you hi everybody Hi, Mark. Hi. I was Hi. asking about his cooking class. What question are you guys on? Eight. What are you cooking, Mark? Uh, tonight I cooked a uh, turkey uh, taco mix with black beans and corn. Oh. And uh, what else did we have? And then we had some uh, uh, fresca, ice fresca, uh, what do you call it? Uh, melon uh, made with honeydew melon. Oops. And ice. Mm. It's delicious. Look at this cat. Nice. Look at it. Yeah, it's all vegetarian, all all fresh foods from uh, Castorville around the area. And I came in with a huge bag of vegetables. I'm going to make vegetable soup. Mm. Nice. And we need some soup right now to warm us up. Yep. Okay. So, what question is that? I'm sorry. I was talking about nine, uh, Brett Hermes. Only I, she was. She was not homeopathy so much as just naturopathic medicine. So 
I don't know who did homeopathy in the UK. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Hermes. Who knows that one? Hello? It's Michael yeah. Marshall. Uh, I, I didn't Michael Marshall. Michael Marshall. Michael Marshall. That's nine, right? Yes. Okay. So going back to, we don't have an answer for- What about 10? We don't have an answer for five. We don't have an answer for six. We don't have an answer for eight. What do we I'll have right for 10? Five is Q and his name is- Okay, do you got eight? No. Eight is Mark. That's what I thought it was. And I said, is that yeah, that's what she said? I know, you but I didn't want to say here. it. Why did you guys discuss it? And 10 is Brian Keith Dalton. He plays uh, uh, Mr. Deity. Oh, that's who I thought. Um, Mr. Deity was the one I was trying to think of for. Um, Mark, do you do you remember who played the the guy who uh, played uh, Q on on uh, Star Trek? He was really famous, and he's um, Rob interviewed him, and his name is. I have no idea. I don't care. <laughs> Mark says Hamilton. Oh, I gotta put Jane. I might be able to help you. I need I need some help thinking of his name. Oh, Robin's got to go into her room. Can you can you make this cat go? Sh sh I can't get anything no, done. There's, a, there's another cat out in the yard. I don't know whose it is. But... This cat won't go off my hand, and I can't type. His name is okay. His name is um. Brent Spiner. Or something. It's like three names, you guys. Come on, you. We we have yeah, to. Well, Mark just said Brent Spiner, and that's who I thought played Q. No, it's not. It's it's Q from Star Trek. That's who I think played Q. The next from generation. No, no, I know this guy. His name is, um, he's been at conferences. His name is, um, why does it smell like weed? <laughs> Zoom. Janine, is we John? Who, okay. Who, who in trivia is smoking weed? Didn't you go to uh, Vegas? Because I don't some? think it's John. <laughs> John got some while you you were off. Any, right anybody now. else have any answers? We can give a call back at we any need point. Six, six. We I need don't five know. and six. Um. Well, I know that he's interviewed Thomas Westbrook, but if if he has ALS, that's news to me. Is Thomas Westbrook? I don't, Westbrook think, the I don't think that's who it is. But how about uh, who's the guy who um him and the woman uh. Lori Gaynor, Lori, his name is, he plays is the he piano. The, is he the real tall guy that comes? I don't know. No, that I think guy. that's Thomas him. Westbrook. You're thinking of the tall oh, guy. Oh, that's Thomas Westbrook. Yeah, so I, six, I don't know him. I wonder if it's that. I'm putting Brett Spiner until you come up with his name. It's not, it's not Brett Spiner. Yeah, but we don't have an answer. Okay, let me think. Let me think. Let me turn off the. Let me turn this off so I can actually think. Hold on. So what? Six is the what other one? Name is. Yeah, six is the other one we don't have. We've got all of them but that. John. I think I think his name is John something something. What's his name. I've heard that. And he's from from Star Trek? Yes, he's a Star Trek. He plays Q. Star I'm... Trek. Okay, let me ask John. Yeah, his name is Oh shoot. Dang. And do you, and do you have any idea of what part he played on Breaking Bad? On Star Trek. John something something. It could be John something something. Okay. It's I can't remember his name. They have like 50 seconds. So. Did they already start the top? Oh, yeah. His name is um, Dang. I mean, we've talked about him so many times. I can't think of why is blah, 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 blah. I'm putting John Doe in for the, for the preacher guy. I don't know what to put. 
Oh, the preacher guy is uh could be the um gainer gainer the guy who plays the piano who started okay, wait. gainer lori lori i'm trying to think if his wife's name is lori something oh shoot this is i, I maybe they'll think. accept the last name and maybe they'll accept q what do you guys want me to put for five well, we well five is definitely not Brett Steiner. It's Q and his name. And is I, I agree. John, John, somebody. You're going to, you're wow. going to get fixed. What? So is yeah. Celia, <laughs> Celia, didn't didn't get, Celia didn't I, get fixed. I didn't get to go into my room. <laughs> oh no. For the whole time. Did oh you, no. You didn't tell me? You were in the wrong room? I was in the wrong room. I texted you, Susan. Hold on. The rules are not clear on this. How does her contribution and score work now? Oh, and Robin's <laughs> stuck in the wrong room, too. Uh, no, Robin, no, I, I just, her my room. internet cut out and I just got thrown off yeah, the internet. Well, I did get you eventually. Celia, are there any you believe you know that you would like to message your team about? <laughs> Maybe they sabotage the other team on purpose, though. But if she's already been to the other, yeah. Well, I couldn't see my not... phone because there was a cat on me. Cat, <laughs> you need to go. I like the excuse. So can we? What can we do, Susan, so I can get into my proper room? Oh, I could put time. you in your room, but I didn't realize that you were in the wrong room. Sorry. Room to start with. Yeah. So I can put you um, back in your room. If you were the... in the room, did you help them out? Because go ahead and help them out. Nah. <laughs> no, once I realize a mistake, I just tried to get back. And that's okay, yeah, I can fix that. I just have to put you in the room. Mm -hmm. Here. Now, I, I will go through the answers. And that 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 that. I made? Okay, we're ready for the answers? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we're yeah. ready. Okay, okay. Well, there were... Uh... Can you put them in the chat? Uh, I will do that afterwards. Yeah. First, I'm going to share my screen. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Emma, the... Come over here, sweetie. You're making this really hard for mommy. Come on. There were supposed to be two people here who were in the answers, and uh, they're not here. So there's only one who was in the answers, and I'm sure they knew uh, who they were. Pretty sure. Are we looking at Google? <laughs> yeah. Because, because these are, are the you... answers. Number one is Richard <laughs> no. Saunders. Oh, no. We messed up. <laughs> Number two is Bob Nygaard. Oh, oh I should have known oh, that. Oh, yeah. Oh, Kevin. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. Psychic busting private See, audio. I, I, I was thinking that whoever it was was the was the uh, was the guy who wrote his Gwyneth Paltrow wrong about everything. Yeah. yeah. Uh, mm, but no. uh, I couldn't I couldn't remember that name either. Number yeah. three is Ann Dryan. Mm -hmm. people thinking yeah. it might be Carl Sagan that would have been nice but uh, I, I would have needed a medium for that a real time machine, <laughs> right time uh, machine. Or, or a time machine all right number four is none other than our very own Kyle Pollock ah, it was Kyle. Yay. Pollock was see I, I got Pollock. one right but Pollock. 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 Any, any... Kyle did you recognize that please tell me you recognize that right away sure did okay <laughs> I let it, it, it was it hilarious was how it happened yeah it <laughs> And we had Kyle and changed it. No. We did. What did you change? change I said Kyle and they, they talked me out of it. That's what my last employer said. Boys tell me first answer. What? Boys oh, tell me first answer. I'm number, sorry, team. That number five me. is John Delancey, Q of Star Trek. Yes. A god. AKA the one. Star Trek dude. That's what I put down. Oh, I guess Ricky Gervais. <laughs> yeah. Do, can we get credit for Q? We're taking it. We're taking it. Yeah, if you get Q, that's good. Number oh. no, yeah. Yeah. See, see, see my fancy name. Q and A with John have, Delancey. That yes, was Q yes. and we have John blank blank. Okay. <laughs> Uh, the next one is none other than Dave Warnock. Oh, I didn't know who that was. Oh, Dave Warnock. Damn. Yeah, and I heard yeah, Vincent saying, oh, we, that, had, Vincent. we had him on. And we we did, yeah. We did, but I couldn't remember his name. Mm. Uh, yeah. I, um, I, next one is Bailey Harris, 13 years oh, old. Oh, I remember. Now, that was the girl who was in the psychic sting thing, right? Yes, right. correct. That's correct. She's also yeah. an, act an actress. 
my family. I don't know where they are. They're dead. Yeah, no. that was Operation <laughs> Operation Pizza Roll. You guys, no uh, Operation Onion Ring. Everybody. Next one is none oh, other than Mark oh, Edwards. Oh, wow. no, that's right. Damn it. That's a great Susan, picture. Who's got that picture? Susan, did you get that right? Photo by Tom. That was right out of his Wikipedia page. You just copied and pasted. Him. Susan, did you get that right? Yes. Okay. You just copy and pasted. Susan got it wrong. That'd be funny. <laughs> uh, Mark, Mark was here. Ooh. Nine he he is Michael wrong. Marshall of the UK. Yep. I got that right. Good thinking society, hence my little clue. And also be rational pile. That was it. Damn it. And finally, number 10 is Mr. Deity himself, Brian Keith Dalton. I will accept either Brian Keith Dalton or Mr. Deity. Ooh, that's good. And if Do you we got send both? you all our wrong answers as suggestions? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Please put them in the chat. <laughs> Kyle, I was, I was actually thinking of something similar, like you need <clears throat> teams of others. I am so sorry to my team. I was, I was sure that it was Adrian. What? Oh, well, <laughs> which one? Wait, which one did you think was Adrian? No, he's he never was... interviewed Kyle me. Kyle to Adrian. Yeah. Oh no, he's never interviewed me. Unfortunately, that was that I got was Kyle awful. right. I actually Hi, did interview you, but it was for the skeptic zone. I could have included that. Oh, there you go. Yeah, but not Skeptical Inquirer. Uh, these weren't all Skeptical Inquirer, so I said oh, it could weren't. be from anything. Uh, no. Do, do we get a point if we put Carl instead of Kyle? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, you do. <laughs> all right, you put the last name. Because yeah. they're interchangeable. There's no difference. <laughs> I got him confused. It's like on. Never. I did not get him confused. It's like on. Okay. Buffy may not be a Saint Marie. Well, I I need to see the answers in the thing. I missed the first the first one. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I forgot to paste them in. I do have Richard them in. Saunders. I will paste them in. You got four. Richard Saunders is there. That's what I thought. Okay. And that gives right. four. Here are the answers in the chat. Oh no, so, we got uh, we got four. Gail. What was number three? My message is too long. Oh, bastards. All right. What's number okay. three? All right. Here we go. What the five? I actually have links for each of my articles. If anyone's interested who didn't watch the interviews, and no, we didn't get three. there we go. So we have four. There we okay. Mission Impossible. Make Don Jr. look sexy. At least we're consistent. Two again. Oh. Wow. All right. Beavis and Butthead commit perjury. Because I wasn't there. <laughs> we, had a, we had a ringer, so we got nine. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, the only we didn't know one we didn't know is that Dave Warwick person because I, uh, I, I I don't know who he is. He's wonderful. He made me cry when he talked to our thing. I'm actually but, reading his uh, his audio his book. He, he his book he is amazing. It. So you know it's his voice and it's, yeah. it's really touching. You're listening it's, to his audio book. Childish things. It's called. Yeah, it's very good. And I guess I, I was very emotional because my uncle had just had made or, you know, medically assisted suicide because of ALS two months oh. before he talked wow. here. So, yeah, it was very, um, yeah, it was amazing. It's, was it's really interesting. It, it tells the story of how he got into the religion to begin mm -hmm. with, was pulled into it, became a pastor. And I, I'm not done with it yet, but then it's going to tell how he got out, what happened with ALS diagnosis and his activism. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so far, it's really interesting. Where does he live? Uh, I don't know. He's in somewhere American. in the he's in the Bible Belt somewhere. Oh. Yeah. All right, the trivia team they don't want you to see six. Uh, Trump's sure. sons back off. So far, they might fall off the edge of the flat earth. Seven. We had seven. No. Well, we had six, but Carl's correcting <laughs> in the previous yes. All right, so I mean, you can leave us at seven. I'm okay with that too, but <laughs> okay, that is so incorrect. Right, correct. Nice spread. Yeah, yeah nice spread. thank you. Five points. Oh. So, so Susan, did did you uh, did you help the team a lot? Yes, Just a little bit. Yes, she was great. Right. I could not remember John Delancey's name. I knew his name was John. I was described. We knew I knew it was so Q. well. Yeah, Just we, knew it was John. John. Yeah. we knew it was John. Da, 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 da. I I knew it was three <laughs> names. Dun dun dun. John so, dun dun. So so now I know who reads my articles and watches the videos and who doesn't. Didn't and, I and, say that and, team? 
Didn't and I I've, say that he was going to think that we don't read this stuff? Mm -hmm. And I've got a whole bunch <laughs> of other ones, by the way, which I may do in the future. Just a warning. Yeah. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Part two is coming, and I know who else he uh, he interviewed <laughs> some of them. There's okay. some flaw with your reasoning, though, Rob, because a couple yeah. times I have done Wikipedia pages that you have edited and helped me with. <laughs> and then true. I ask the question and you that don't get true. a single one right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So at this Touché. point, I guess I know if I if I try to make up a, bu a bunch of questions, I shouldn't worry about making them too hard because it won't be <laughs> worse than the, the last yeah, two. I'd be surprised at even how, how hard, how we don't get them. Peggy did know it was Mark Edward. All right. Jim, I I'm feeling I a little thought. better about Peggy, the when I got to the Mark category. Edward question. She goes, "Is that Mark Edward?" And I put myself on mute, <laughs> and I and then I started talking to Mark, and I showed him the question. And then I came back. I said, "What question are you guys on?" <laughs> Just playing it off. Okay, good job, good job, good job. All right, so we need to take a photo. I loved your guys' oh. singing last week. It was depressing when you sang to Celia and to Ron. That was sadder than heck but that's good we don't have anybody having a birthday this week right and did you see lee um say hi okay, but that the little pictures that was perfect thank you lee oh. that was sweet i well, saw gee, this brother, oh, I saw brother a screenshot birthday, with it said um susan on it hello susan yeah i think i said hello <laughs> susan i saw the screenshot but then when i watched the video i saw him pop it into the frame right as right as they took the picture that was very cute okay you guys ready Everybody looking their best. Oh One, yeah. Two, three. Alrighty then. And we have another Kevin's first time in our picture. I hope it is not your last. Uh -oh. That'll be fun to have new people. Okay, so 2023. Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh, okay. Good night. Hey, I'm Toad. Good night, good night you guys. Indeed. Okay, Happy not world. everybody's Friday. leaving, you guys. Don't all leave me now. Yep, I'm leaving too. Good night. Yeah, I'm going by. <laughs> we'll see if I we'll see if I last. last. I think I got three hours of sleep thanks to work last night. Ooh. Okay, so I'm putting the picture up. Yeah. So we're taking a four minute break. Not four? A, no. Not a four minute thirty second break. No. No four minutes. Five isn't Please. even enough. It needs to be like eight minutes. You're arguing. Go take, go take a break. Right. And I I'm am breaking still right now. I'm recording. So Kevin, okay. this is fondly known as intermission. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Where so, people yeah. will take their loo breaks or they'll go get a drink refill or whatever, whatever. So makes sense. You yeah. always says five minutes and it means it's 20. <laughs> okay. And, and you say, can, I, yes, Gail is right. And people will sit and visit well, oh. if you're not going to. <laughs> Yeah, I, I want to cool. hear Kevin. Are you staying? Because I want to hear. I want to hear about what your thoughts were for Psycon. Yeah, I, the I whole gonna, Psycon. Yeah, I was going to try to to stay for one more session. Um, okay, good. Yeah, no, it was great. I, yeah, oh. we, we've been to a, a a number of Psycons. I it was so frustrating because I'm terrible with names. So like, I could remember Bailey Harris talking about you know my name is Stardust and all that, but I couldn't remember her name. I have the I have the bloody book I gave to my kids, but I couldn't remember it. So. <laughs> So yeah, but no, it's uh, yeah, no, it was great. It's it's always good, and um, so yeah, no, my wife and I we really enjoyed it. We had a lot. Of fun Did you there. stay the whole conference? Uh, we had to catch the red eye back on Sunday morning, so we left about one a.m. Sunday morning mm. <laughs> to to get back to Michigan because we lose the three hours. So right, um, yeah, and we had you know life to get back to, unfortunately. <laughs> so. But we're I talked to you on Saturday. Saturday, I think. Yeah. What yeah. were your favorite talks? What, what what sticks out with you now? Um, well, obviously, you know, Bill Nye's always a highlight. You know, that yeah. I thought that whole exchange was was really fascinating. Um, I know my my wife loved uh off it. Um, she was yeah, really hoping to, to talk to him a little bit more. Just His wife is a uh op wait, wait. Ophthalmologist uh, os, os, gives birth. She doesn't give oh, birth to babies. Obstetrician. <laughs> Obstetrician. Yeah, OBGYN. Yep, yep, yep. Exactly. Obstetrician. So. Ophthalmologist with your eyes. She, be going she gives Kevin birth Kevin? to babies. Yeah. That's so why Kevin, I said obstetrician. I was expecting her to be here tonight. Is she not going to? She's 
she's really under the weather yeah she she's uh she picked something up yesterday and mm. then today was a really rough one for her so so hopefully think, not covid no she tested herself the, early this morning because she's mm. like uh, but um but no she uh she, yeah she was negative there but she went to bed about seven o'clock our time. Wow. Um, so that would be about four o'clock. She's under the weather, all right? <laughs> so yeah, so she just wanted to get, you know, as much sleep as she could tonight because, you know, we have all. So the... where I live, there's a nasty stomach bug going around that I had about 10 days ago that was just horrible. Yeah, this just kind of really wiped her out. She she still tried to go to work today, you know, she double masked and all that, but uh, she was, you know, just trying to power through. But by the time she got home, she was... I, yeah. I tell you, I've been exhausted for days. Me too. Yeah. I am still out, you know, and yeah. I don't even have a time change like Adrian does. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So no, it was uh but no, I, I thought it was it was really, really good. I I uh yeah, no like you said, it's always fun. And it's it's great to see people and, and everything. So. It is a lot of fun. It really yeah. is. Hi Cindy. You came just... a little late. Everything all right? I have a meetup meeting tonight. First one with this group, so I decided to go. What what kind of meeting is it? It was um, was a meetup that does um that eats out. It's um been around for a while, but the organizer said he hasn't done that much lately. Oh, is it? What's his face? The meteorologist? Yeah, Warren. Yeah, I know him. Yeah, I can he, he does a dining thing. He also yeah, does he a does movie a night. Yeah, so he went to Tarpies tonight. Ooh. Oh yeah, he he likes that fine dining. He likes to eat out late too. He's a late person. Well, this one started at five thirty because Tarpies oh, well, closes at nine o'clock. So yeah, I guess I know him and some of the other people. Some of the people from Monterey County Skeptics have gone in the past. I went to go see uh, several movies with them, and when I go to see the movies, I have no clue what the movie's going to be. Zero. Uh. <laughs> I saw Get Out. And with, uh, theaters yeah we went to the theater they said let's go see get out and i intentionally didn't look it up to see what it was and uh -huh. i went and the first couple minutes of get out if you guys haven't seen it i thought what the hell oh my god let me out of here because i'm not a and, and then susan made me watch get out with her oh yeah we did didn't we hey yeah. you said something on or somebody here on trivia last week said something about one of the uh jordan peele's movies and they said you must watch it it was the second one or us, third one? us. no i or, no, the third one no nope. no nope. no nope. nope. yeah who's somebody nope. somebody on this somebody here said if you haven't seen nope you have to see nope i nope. haven't heard of it it's pretty good who was it who saw it i can't Carl? remember who saw it but it was Ron? an answer to the trivia yeah. that i knew was it you can't oh. <laughs> no, I haven't seen Nope, but I knew from the other two movies that it was uh, Peel was the answer. Yeah. Yeah, it's streaming. It's on one of the streaming channels. I think it's Netflix or Hulu. Or Hulu, Netflix, or nope. Amazon. Nope. It's on one of the streaming channels. I tell you, Us pissed me off. That one, I had too many problems with Us because it filmed at the Santa Cruz Beach and Boardwalk and nobody ever gets a parking space that close. That just was so cool. <laughs> oh, I mean, they pulled on. right up. They pulled uh, right up to the thing. And you're like, it's a oh, movie. God. It was so awesome. That was the most unrealistic part of the movie. Huh? It ruined it. It completely ruined the part <laughs> of the movie. Don't, watch, don't want to play Misty for me. Well, no. at least at least they didn't drive the wrong way on the Bay Bridge like they did in The Graduate. Oh, no. oh, that, <laughs> that movie was full of so many mistakes. Oh, there same were thing with them. That were supposed to be UC Berkeley that were Stanford, for God's sakes. Oh, good. Their great <laughs> rival. They they he drove oh. the wrong way oh. on the Brave Bridge. Vertigo. Vertigo, the, where they go the wrong way on Highway 101 with yeah, the yeah, that trees. too. Yeah. Right, and the graduate too, they went to Berkeley Zoo, which doesn't exist. Um <laughs> and then he's trying in a real rush to drive from LA to Berkeley and he goes up the coast. Like when you're in such a rush, sure. And stops in Point Lobos when he's in a rush to, go to Berkeley from LA. <laughs> Come on. It's prettier. And where do you live, Celia? <laughs> in Pacific Grove. Live? Oh, okay. That's yeah. why she knows all these things. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Well, actually, <laughs> I live near Susan. Yeah, actually 
grew up in in um in in Berkeley and and there was always that jokes about that movie The Graduate. I saw it actually um many years ago uh at a filming at UC Berkeley and every time there was that scene at Stanford they would hiss and boo. <laughs> Why didn't they just change it to Berkeley? It was like, they, for whatever reason, they did a couple scenes in Stanford. Who knows why, you know? I mean, there were some scenes in Berkeley too. There was a scene where we were sitting in a coffee shop in Telegraph Avenue that still exists, um, you know, but, and then the zoo, I assume was the San Francisco zoo, but they said it was the Berkeley zoo and anyway but if you're gonna the movies for you if you're gonna bash a movie because it's because well, it's was dark just, at the boardwalk well okay us the whole it was it was great but when you get to the ending which i'm not going to say right now it was so unbelievable that that it was stupid because there were so many i can't say there was yeah. so many the well, it's just you know how they show you how it's done, or they show you the yeah. ending. So, so you're looking when you at it going, that, that is not that. That's not what happened. I was, I watched. No, that is. There was no way. It was so stupid. So when when you describe a horror movie as being fine until the end, when it's so stupid, you've just described every single M Night Shyamalan movie ever. Well, <laughs> and Peele. Stephen King, and 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 um, Get Out was amazing. Yeah, I've seen Get Funny Out like enough. four times now. Maisie I watched it last night for the first way. time. Oh, you really? You just saw it? Really? Yeah, How yeah. did you like it, Kyle? It was really good. I loved it. Yeah, It was amazing. It. What a really good story and how it falls, how it goes along and the suspense. <gasps> and interesting well, characters, well-developed characters. Get Out. Get oh. Out. Get Out. Who has Get not seen out. Get Out? I have not seen it. I have not <gasps> seen it. Oh, my God. Oh, you oh, have to. I you should all see it. Yeah, it's lineup, superb, I and I don't see a lot of stuff. Is it in the theater? It's been out no, for like no, four it's, years oh, now. It's, five it's years. old. Yeah, oh, well, not old, old, but it's. It was his no, first. Not new. First twenty seventeen, apparently. And then huh. us is after that, and that's the one we're talking about that was filmed at Santa Cruz Beach and Boardwalk, and it's. Good. Does anybody does anybody not know who Key and Peel are? Who? <laughs> He was he an answer Peele. to to a good question. I thought his name was Jordan Peel or Jason Jordan Peel. Peele. Jordan Peel. Jordan Peel. Jordan Peel. Jordan Peel. Get out! But he was previously in a comedy duo with <coughs> Keegan Michael Key. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, some of oh, oh yeah, oh, their com Key. their comedy skits That's are right. the best. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm going to put my favorite. Key and Peele like the, sketch. The, the, the substitute the teacher the... is the best. Yeah, that's good. Oh, oh, God, yes. oh my oh, God. God. And, yes. <laughs> the, 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 the zombie uh, skit like was, was pretty great, boarding. too. The airplane yeah, boarding one. Yeah, pretty nice. <laughs> <laughs> um, the, okay. So this other one, this the new one, what do we call it again? Bones? No. Nope. 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 And, nope. and so Ron seen it. I saw it. saw it. I saw it. Cindy saw it, and you guys all think it's is it as good as the other two? It's the other two. pretty good. It was pretty good. It was all you know. It was. Well, you're yeah. only giving it. Oh, it's pretty good. Because when I say get out, I'm saying that was superb. So yeah, I didn't like the second one lot, that much. Nope, it's kind of okay. Then I don't know. That one that the one we saw was like part of it was made in Santa Cruz. I didn't care for that one that As much. For us, anybody yeah. who doesn't know Key and Peel, I just put a really good link in, and yes. from there you should watch everything else they've ever done. Break. So let's to make it relatively good because we can sit here and talk. That and was a long five minutes, minutes. Yeah. or four yeah. minutes. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't talk know, about sorry, cycle, guys. Though. Okay, so we don't have a lot of announcements. Um, sure, I haven't gotten. I haven't gotten to guess anything yet. Oh, we'll put you I was I'll put you in the second okay. round. I was locked out. I got rid real, of my cat. It, real quick, did okay. people hear the news? What? About Ken Mattingly. Who's that? Yeah, who is that? An Apollo 16 astronaut died today. Oh, how old was he? 87. Oh. He was also the astronaut at Apollo 13 that worked with yes. John Aaron to do the power on sequence. Oh. Yes. Try SCE to Ox, right? Okay. All right. I don't know. I don't have the same kind of feeling whenever people who die near 90 
just mm. like it's like oh okay that's sad but it's not because that's pretty awesome he made it 87 exactly it's like and wow, he almost got ready? stranded uh along with the apollo 13 crew but uh he had the German measles, apparently. Yeah, I remember him in the movie Apollo 13. That's right. He he had to stay on ground. Yep. 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 For as much as he smoked in that movie, didn't he? Was he was played by Gary Sinise. Drink? He did yeah. really good. Mm. For 87. Okay, so I know that Kyle has something, because Kyle always has something. What's your announcement this week, Kyle? Yeah, this week, the latest episode of Data Skeptics called Graph Text. We've been talking all about these large language models. And this week I talked to somebody who tries to apply those to a different domain they weren't built for to see how that works. So that's this week on Data Skeptic. Very good. Cool. And Susan, you have something. You're coming to my class. I'm going to be at her class on Monday. Did you get the link yet? I got the link to Ollie. So I will be giving a talk on... on um... <coughs> Psychics, and then don't forget that Kat's got a really awesome article in the newest Skeptical Inquirer. It's really so good. good. Except I do like the the interview she did with Adrian on the Skeptic Zone better because she had much more included in that, and it was li listening to them talk. They're a it good much, compliment. They're it was a much compliment. more emotional mm -hmm. because you could hear hear the emotion in their voices on the Skeptic Zone, and uh, the article is well written. It's great, but you know print. In this case, it was, it was, I, I really like the skeptic zone better. Sorry. Aww. Sorry. Thank you. Even though it's still a really excellent article. So everybody should check that out. Um, I don't have anything really coming up for a while. I don't think Rob does it either. Now the Psycon's over. We're kind of like, okay, now I don't have anything until Australia, New Zealand. What are you leaving? Uh, the week, The Saturday before Thanksgiving at like 10 at night. My cat wants. Oh, that's think. about when I went. And the, I for my Thanksgiving, I'm spinning on a train. Oh, right between through, where and where? Uh, Auckland and Wellington. Oh, I did that train. I like did it, you? but 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 to get to the train, like the train left from Auckland really early. You have to get a taxi because there's nothing that takes you there. And then oh, he... I'm staying with the I'm staying with the the Cheers. the people who run the New Zealand skeptics. I'm staying at their house. And Cheers. Yeah. Oh, with Shear? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm staying him yeah. with him and his wife. Yeah. So I don't I don't care. And this year it's in Dunedin. Yeah. And then so I'm taking a road trip. There's three other skeptics that are gonna pick me up in a car in Wellington and we're gonna go drive through the night until we get to oh. well you've got to go across the water first i gotta go like 20 hours i'll be on the so who knows what i'll be like when i get to the conference okay so let's get back so, i did have something uh, uh, yeah uh. what? <laughs> what was that that was me going oh, oh. adrian <laughs> adrian had something, something? Too. well i wanted to say just two things number one cat did you want to tell everybody about the response to the article and her story we got connected by a health person in Canada. Go ahead, Kat. Ooh. Oh, well, look at you putting me on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> um, are That's you talking about the one that contacted me through TikTok or the one that contacted you? Both. I mean, we've okay. had, th there's been a number of there's people. There's been at least three, out. hasn't there? At least, yeah. 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 So the, the first one was somebody um, who reached out to me after my first Skeptic Zone uh, segment. Yeah, because I'm that popular. <laughs> uh <laughs> you guys sounded great. <laughs> thanks it's this thing susan might have heard of it it's called a new microphone <laughs> i've heard of it um and he actually is is in my city in edmonton and he's like oh my gosh i can't believe an edmontonian was on skeptic zone after he heard my second segment which was the more recent one he actually thinks his mother died from taking herbal remedy so Ooh. yeah so he reached out about that. And then we had um, two that reached out through Adrian. Mm -hmm. I, what was the... the? He was a Health Canada food inspector. Right. And, and he said that he had a number of applications that he has to approve. And this is for food fairs and conferences and, you know, mind, body, body, wallet stuff. And they were applying to be able to sell Kratom. Kratom. And that was one of the ones we discussed. And Kat said in the 
in the episode that it was illegal in Canada and it's 99% true. So it's illegal to sell it, advertise it or import it, but you're allowed to own it. (laughs) (laughs) And so you can come to Oregon and get it at every little convenience store. Yeah. So you're not allowed. There are seven states that have it outlawed though. Mm -hmm. And in Florida, you can't buy it unless you're over 21. And I mean, that's Florida. Yeah. And and oh. so this fellow didn't know that and and it's it's tricky to find like we were going cat and I were going come on he works for Health Canada he should know this but he says he has a hard time keeping up with all the regulations so yeah. he thought maybe we we because we talked about it we had it handy and cat just fired it off to me right like fast <laughs> and so I sent it off to him and and uh, so now he can actually say sorry we cannot approve this in Canada so it's actually making a difference so these health fairs. He's not going to be able to, these people are not going to be able to sell it because he knows about it now that it's illegal. So, well, Kat, so we'll have to have a follow up. And there was the an American that, that reached mm-hmm. out too, whose co worker is taking yes. herbs. And he's like, Daniel Reed. Can I go for more information? So, yeah, we're, yeah. Words getting out and people are understanding that I know what I'm talking so about. So, in a few months, you should write another article, if not for SI, but like for the online version and for Skeptic Zone with all the feedback and stuff that's yeah, so keep it so keep it all cat keep track keep records yeah it start you can even right. start writing up like a, a little word document just as these things come in because that's yeah. probably what's going to happen is you're going to get a is, is it illegal to grow it i don't think so you can because possess you're it possess so i don't it. think you yeah. can't send them my it is and, well and, and how- like in america it's different because seven states have outlawed it but the rest it's totally legal and but I mean, if you're is- just growing it, is it, I mean, is that illegal? I mean, it doesn't look like it would grow in Canada probably at all. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, and what I was saying to Kat, well, why would they even do this? And she says they often use that as a, a workaround for universities to be able to study it. Yeah. So it's a that's, plant. It's, can somebody say what it is? It's a, it's a plant. Kratom. It's related to coffee, apparently. Yeah. So I why thought it was like recreational. almost. Yeah. It can yeah, be. It, it acts it like an be. opioid and it can be quite addictive and yeah. it can put people into comas if they take too much of it. So when so is it be, it's just, a, it's just a little thing like that. It, <laughs> so, but I mean, but you know that, can you spell the name? never worked. K-A-R-A-T-O-M. K-A-R- K-A-R-A-T-O-M. I'll put it in the chat. Okay. Yeah. And so the other thing was I uh, just with the Skeptic Zone podcast this week, I will be doing the newsletter and Tim Mendham's very funny and he makes fun of my word that I used last time, which was fair and neat. So check that out. And of course Richard Saunders is doing lots with interviewing people at Psycon. Yeah. And and Mr. Richard Saunders did ask if I could maybe do another segment with Adrian sometime soon. So Yeah, I think so. Your voices were great together. <laughs> Okay. There might be a dice relief egg hidden in there somewhere. Oh, Emmett, this is Emmett. Exactly. Go over here, Imogen. Except Kat and I laugh too much. It takes, you know, <laughs> instead of doing 15 minutes, it's like three hours. But anyway, like, it's Kat, all do good. Your own segment. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's next. That, uh, yeah. Talk rent it. Okay. So well, the Canadians will take over. All yeah. right. Okay. Because Kevin, Kevin's only going to make it to three. So he's going to see Gail's now. So that's why he's going to stay. All right, Gail. Ready for me? Yep. And oh, by the way, everybody, I've got one volunteer for next week. And that's Carl. So I need. I'll to do the bonus. Okay. Adrian's got bonus. Am I able to do one yet, Susan? Because really, it's been like four yeah, and a Kat, half. Yeah, Kat, you can do it. You want to do it? Yeah, I'll do one. Okay. Okay, got okay. it. Go for it. Ready? All right. Yeah. Um, I'm calling this a semi-mystery category. I'm telling you that all of these come from an, a multiple Emmy award-winning TV program. Uh, but I'm gonna. The first question is, what is the title of the program that's the source for these questions? Which you're not going to be able to answer until you look at the questions, right? They're all from this year. And unsolved mysteries <laughs> you're not supposed to tell oops time to mute <laughs> okay so that was question one and there'll be we're, we're having strange categories tonight i'm not going to say you're going to do well i think you might do better than you did in the other ones because this i think i looked at these later and i thought they're harder than i thought they were okay so meeting everybody three two one 
Okay. That was the first question is to name the program that these are from. Okay. Um, it is a series. On the eve of Halloween week, the main segment was on the abuses of this $140 billion industry, where most of the product comes from Ivory Coast and Ghana. These are very poor countries where very little of the profit goes to the producers. While child labor is dangerous and the USA passed, passed a law in 2005 for this open secret, the deadline for enforcement keeps getting pushed back. What is the product? Question three. They are in more than 65 countries, and while they claim to be making positive enduring change, they advise companies to increase executive pay while cutting jobs, represent oil and gas companies, and started canceling the tobacco industry in 1956 and only stopped in 2021. They worked with Purdue Pharma in, to turbocharge sales of opioids while working for the FDA. What is this management consulting firm that also helped create the barcode? Question four. Two agencies that are responsible for food safety in the U.S. are the FDA and the USDA. While they have similar budgets, the FDA has a much larger job. This has resulted in the dangerous lack of oversight, particularly for what category of food that is particularly susceptible to E. coli and has cost lives, probably because cow dung has been infected, because infected cow dung has been uh, has infected running water that is used for immigration, immigration. <laughs> you know what I meant? Name this type of food for irrigation. Obviously, it's a typo. I missed that. It's the, the word should be irrigation. I think you've got it. I've got what? Looks you like it says irrigation, that, Gail. I don't know what you're talking about. It's the it's just the Oh, I'm sorry, I just didn't R's. read it properly. Good. Those two R's together with Yeah, the... I, I read the two R's together as a different letter. Yeah, it looks almost like an M. Okay, number five. Homeschooling affects about two million American children at present. While it may be very good for some children, it's largely unregulated and there is some serious potential problems. In most states, there's no oversight. And in most states, in most states, there's no oversight, no evaluation by anyone of the academic program and of students' progress. Publishers produce homeschool material. For example, one Christian company has books that depict early humans playing with dinosaurs. The HSLDA seeks to aid these families. What does HSLDA stand for? And this is how you know that we don't consult each other on what we're going to write. This is the day for figuring out what anagrams are. Okay. Question six. On this episode, the host talked about a category of drugs that has potential to be very effective therapy, particularly for PTSD based unlimited research but it's difficult to do the needed research because it received very bad press when it was often used as a recreational drug in the 1950s and 60s. It has a history with indigenous people and has been used in a few research studies recently with positive results. But since it's a schedule one drug, it is difficult to research with it. What is this category of drug or one of the two major examples of it? Question seven. 
what politician was introduced by Carrie Lake at a political rally as having BDE? As a member of Congress in 2012, he always wore earbuds to keep people away. He is constantly complaining that the media is taking him out of context. While he claims to advocate for freedom, he said that he would be happy with an all abortion, all abortions banned after six weeks. He is fond of saying how much he opposed to be woke and declaring that transsexuals may not win in a women's sport. I don't know how he had the power to do that, but he did. Question eight. This vacation scam that is a huge lucrative business in the U.S. The TV episode showed a training session for salespeople where the trainer claimed that their product saved lives. These sales presentations can last for hours. Salespeople are taught to TAST, to tap, to tell them that they are frigging things, to tell them any frigging thing, to close the sale. One study found that 80% of the purchasers later regretted their decision, and once they purchased it, it's extremely difficult to end. What are they selling? Okay. Question nine. This product was promoted by Mark Zuckerberg's sister, Randy. One in five Americans have bought it, but now it is generally recognized as a very expensive scam. For example, in one version created by Kuan, that's a man's name, uh, the New York Times said it was crazy and that the algorithm does not work. Kuan has now been charged with fraud. In another version, the Celsius Network said banks are not your friends. This company has since collapsed. What is this relatively new product that has been compared to the Tulip in Holland? Number 10, Ted Cruz complained in a speech that this is being taught in schools and is bigoted and racist. It's likely to be a major part of the Republican campaigns this year. Tucker Carlson on Fox said that he has strong opinions about this and how bad it is, but he actually doesn't know exactly what it is. What is this? Any questions? Doesn't surprise me at all. I, don't I, turned off, I turned off Kevin's uh, video. I know that it was music. <laughs> I missed it. Kyle, Kyle uh, showed. It's I'm like, where is he? Where is he? Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, now let me put let me put Celia in her right room. You're supposed to be in one, correct? Correct, and it still says four there. Okay, now I got it. Thank you. I'm in the wrong room too. Where and Leonard is thing? coming, Susan. Linda Trammell, I just got a note. Yeah, okay, but Rob, you can move wherever you want. You have no, the power. I, I don't understand it. I actually did that before I put myself in room two, and now it bounced me out, and I'm back in five. So uh, and, and let me just not... say that I have never dozed off before. In... <laughs> not even once. Neither have I. You see that Linda's in the waiting room? Yeah, I see him. Uh, I got it. I just admitted him. Okay, I just got to figure out where I'm going to put Thank you. him. He's going to go in room, I want to put him in one, but that's got the lowest score, but there's a group that has two people. Room four. Um, in room four. Susan, our team's about to be gutted because two, we're leaving. Yeah, By I the know. time that's I get to my category, it's going to I'm be. I'm putting Leonard the there. Room. Even though he's got a good score. Hey, get down. Cats learned how to get up here. So okay, where, everybody where should be in the right rooms now. Where are we? You're not. Oh, hi. You're in room four. Was using child labor. Pete Coffee was using child labor in one of these African countries. 
And then also the African country that they get the ingredients for the electric car batteries is also using child labor or slave labor, almost like slave labor because they hardly pay them anything. Hello, team. Work. Hello, team. Okay, I know what the title of the pro answer so the do I. one is. Last week tonight with John Oliver. John Oliver, yeah. Oh, okay. At first I thought it was 60 minutes. And then it, I, but I have not been caught up on my John Oliver's. Yeah, same here. So I'm not going to be a big help. I'm totally caught. Well, I didn't see this week's John Oliver. It's on the PBR stuff. Okay, well, then you should know all these. I should. And you know what? I know a lot of them. And yet my brain is mush because I've, you know, basically had two hours and 47 minutes according to my Fitbit of sleep. Well, stop that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what Everybody is. Everybody. Can everybody see the screen, yeah. by the way? So what's everybody number two? Sees? Yeah. Well, this is the one that I haven't seen yet. Well, I was just saying that NPR did a program talked about peak coffee in Africa is using child labor. And then the there's a country now. I don't remember the name of the countries in Africa. And there's a country in Africa that's a major source of the ingredients for the electric car batteries. For like lithium, basically slave labor. So could this be peak coffee or just coffee? Maybe just coffee. I don't know, but that's a very. I would. Well, it's a hundred and forty billion dollar industry. So I was thinking like gold or lithium or. But coffee would be a hundred and forty billion dollar industry, wouldn't it? I would think so. Is the Ivory Pretty Coast hot. known for its coffee, though? I don't think they were talking about Ivory Coast. I think, but... it is. I think Starbucks has coffee from both those places, but I could be wrong. Well, I mean, I could text my sister because I'm sure she's watched this week. No, it's not <laughs> That would be cheating. Oh, so I was in the room with you. Uh, yeah. Nobody's in the room with me. I live alone. <laughs> and it could be. It could Invite be, people over. And it could be mining stuff, the countries that mind stuff like uh, let's yeah. get coffee because that seems like we'll uh, come back yeah. to the i don't things. think it's gold though i don't think it's gold okay three this i the name is going to come to me it's like they're i can see the whole bloody episode it's like it's not merrick but it's something like that they're at number three on on um the world trade center in new mm -hmm. york it's like a single person name. Merck? It'll come to me. It'll come Merck? From, Merck? from the second she was reading it. I'm just like, I know this. I know this. I know this. This was on John Oliver. And then I'm like, oh, that's the name of the show. <laughs> Is it Mer Merrick or Merrick? It could Merck? be Merrick. Or Merck. Like double R I C K, I think. I but yeah, I'm I'm going to keep letting my brain marinate on that because it should come to me. Okay. I couldn't think of John Delancey for, for anything on that other category. It's driving me nuts. Okay. The two agencies are responsible for food safety in the U S yeah. This was all about like leafy greens, like lettuce. Oh, right. Where's the pretty book? It yeah. Was... It's lettuce. Yeah. Cause we're in the lettuce capital here. Um, lettuce spray. Sorry? I said let, let us, us pray. pray. Let us pray. Oh, that's too many children. I don't know what HSLDA it's stands for. Homeschooling for. Legal Defense Agency, I think. Ooh, that's good. Okay, very good. It was like two weeks ago, though. So if anyone else has something better, let's go with that. Kitty, she's learned how to get up here on my desk. And now this is going to be a problem. I love her tail. She's, oh, don't stand my keyboard. Don't don't go up there either. Oh, oh, like go, don't don't She's, go into the keyboard and give us more no, points. Get, get <laughs> off of that. Oh, Imogen, you cannot be up here if you're going to be doing that. It's something. It's something like She's that. I climb over the computer screens. She sees a pillow over there to sit on. I love you, sweetie pie, but no number six psychedelics or psilocybin, yeah. LSD, hallucinogens. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's like it does hallucinogens yeah i had mushrooms lsd hallucinogens yeah i would just say hallucinogens. psychedelics 
okay. Yeah. Here you can. Well, because it's I'm moving my, I'm moving name my a category of drug or an example of the drug. So oh, okay, either one. Either yeah, what it's all the same, right? It's, it's, yeah. Um, this, Ron this politician's name is totally freaking escaping me. Ron, I, I don't know. Is it Ron? Maybe, maybe maybe because he is he does rant against woke. Yes, but but this is a member of Congress. Ron DeSantis is never a congressman. Oh, member, yeah, that's right. Ron DeSantis mm -hmm. is still a governor. Okay, so let's just get that. It's not him. Um, I don't know who it is. Um, and what does BDE stand for? I've heard big it. Big Dick but, Energy. Uh, what is it? Big Dick Energy. Oh. <laughs> okay that's not what i thought it was you I asked was <laughs> i'm gonna give you something. that answer <laughs> that, so that it's somebody is... with a lot of bravado right like well what what is one what was the name of that one congressman the guy from number seven is from ohio he was oh, in the news he was oh, interviewed David, right after the january 6th he's that young guy you were asleep, Kevin. I did fall asleep. Yeah, we know. <laughs> Was I snoring? No, I don't think so. But Kyle noticed. You were muted, so we didn't hear you. But I don't think he was you muted. Were snoring. Oh, yeah, he was muted just normally. Okay, number <laughs> eight. Boy, that sounds awful. That that's um um. And there shares. is a, what is it? Timeshares, isn't it? Yeah, that's a vacation, but I think there is a documentary on Netflix in which they actually show these guys, these salesmen, doing illegal things and tell them. Yeah, I think yeah. it's timeshares. Show them actually lying to, to the people. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it was on John Oliver. I saw it all. <laughs> I got to watch more John Oliver. Okay, so number eight is timeshares. Number nine. This sounds really awful, too. What is the role of cryptocurrency? Yeah, a Bitcoin cryptocurrency. Bitcoin. Yeah. Really? See, and I'm your ringer for like this, a... except when it comes to American politician names, I forget them all. <laughs> and it, and it's a ten like a critical race theory. Oh yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. That's yeah, it. ten is critical race theory. Key. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> That was finally just a category year. that I can do. <laughs> it's an American show that I watch. <laughs> okay, so number one, oh, homeschooling. Leader. Number well, number one's the name of the show. We got that one. What's number seven? Yeah, number seven. We're stuck on. Oh, oh the name of the politician. Gosh, well, I wonder if it's any of the politicians that they were considering for Speaker of the House. Maybe well, I don't know who Carrie Lake is. She's she's in Arizona. She was she's a Trumper that used to be she used to be a um like a TV host, very attractive. Would this be Donald Trump? No, 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 he was never a politician. Oh, well, I mean he was, but he was yeah. never a member of Congress. He was never a oh, member, member of Congress. Yeah. Okay. She was she was running for governor of of arizona lost and she still hasn't given up on the idea that she lost now she's running she... for senator <laughs> of arizona she's so really i imagine attractive it... very personable and she um had something very bad happen to her in the middle east when she was a reporter and people have kind of said that that's kind of where she started going off the rails when she had this horrible thing happen to her in, in uh, the middle east ah we got two minutes um, so member of Congress who wears earbuds all the time. Anybody? Anything? No, nothing's coming to mind. Okay, somebody who's no longer in Congress who's definitely into the Trump category. So who could that be? Did didn't Vincent say he's from Ohio? That was Kevin that Kevin. said that. Yeah, oh, Kevin that said that? guy. What'd you say? I, I can't pronounce his name. It's like Vichyshwa or something. Oh, right, Just Vichy Schwar, um, Vincent. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, phonetic. Rams, Ramsawari, Mammy, oh, or something. He's an Indian guy. Vivek, from India. V I V E K is his first name. Oh, he's not a congressman. 
No, I don't know. He's the guy. It's either him or the, there's another guy in the news who was, who's an Ohio guy who was very against the world culture. Well, that's all, all of the Republicans pretty much. But it was yeah. in the news like recently. Well, it's not Vijayaswamy because he's he's running for president. He's never held office in anything. Okay, it's not him then. Yeah, it can't so be him. Any congressman from a decade ago. We have 40 seconds. Mike DeWine. What did you say, Kevin? Mike DeWine. But I'm not sure if he's still... All right, put Mike DeWine. Well, Mike DeWine. He was, a, he was a congressman. Or was he governor? There was somebody in the news and it's driving me nuts. Um, Do we have an answer for everything now? Yes. I, think so. I, I really hope Merrick is the right answer. It's as soon as she says it, I'm going to go, oh, and it's either going to be. Well, good job, right. Kat. You, 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 you scored well. Help. Good <laughs> help. All right, team. So we changed our answer okay. to the last thing you were discussing, right? All right, Jamie? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. We actually had somebody that actually watched the show. Ah. <laughs> hey, Vince. Uh, yeah. Hi, Larry. Hi, Leonard. Leonard's here. In this hey, case, Leonard. you have, have hey there, to come there to Leonard. Okay. Slide. That's a very, very good thing. Okay, I'm going to share my screen. So the show was Ted Lasso, the right? Slide show on this one. <laughs> 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 oh, I'm on mute all this time. Yeah, last week tonight. Okay, ready for answers? Yep. So behind uh -huh. in the show. Thankfully, okay. Kat knew them all. Can you all see my screen? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Okay, question one. I think you all got that one. Last week tonight with John Oliver. I These are all it. the featured story from the last from the last year. It's a great idea, Gail. It is. I always thought it was 60 minutes until you got to homeschooling. So <laughs> are these uh, photos of John Oliver like before or after he's yep. been doing You're this? Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, at the beginning and the end of his run. It looks right. just like when a man, you know, becomes president and he suddenly yeah. ages so quickly. Look at that. Exactly. <laughs> Before and after he took that job. That's amazing. <laughs> like I said, I had a lot of fun putting together this PowerPoint. I like the wow. fact that he's wearing glasses and holding glasses. In the yeah. left. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> question two is chocolate. chocolate. Oh. 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 Just buy frayed fruit tree chocolate, folks. And it's better, tastes better. Mm. Oh my gosh. I, I would that rather was... it was coffee. Oh, and no. chocolate happens to be the current episode if you hadn't watched the program yep. from last yeah. week. So. That's Just the most recent get the one. Good quality fair trade chocolate. It's, mm. it's so good. Oh, that makes sense. Question three. It's McKinsey. Ah, oh, no. almost. oh, McKinsey. Mm. Close. And Co. The name of the company is McKinsey and, McKinsey and Company. I knew the address of the company, but do you think I could get the name right? <laughs> the address. Okay. I think if you can send the mail, you should get an eight correct like, point. Oh, but here they are. Number three, World Trade Center. Yeah, but did oh, I get the name the right? It is no World Trade no bonus points for me. <laughs> Question four. It's fresh veggies. I saw someone had lettuce. That's right. The point is that the the feedlots where the cows are, they go feed right into the water stream, which they then use downstream for. I thought it was very, um or particularly organic produce because they tended to use the the, the manures. Manure, yeah. So that wasn't, right. They didn't say that in the program. They said right. the problem with the fresh veggies is that if you cook the food, you get rid of a lot of right. possible yeah. abilities. But these things are served raw. Okay. Can you so, let lettuce? Most of the uh, big dangerous food things. Have lettuce come is from fine. That. And it is the lettuce organic. Is fine. Good. You hear about this? Primarily the organic. So we, we, we hear about this in the States all the time, but we don't hear about that in Thailand at all. Huh. So the foods. We don't food have the FDA much, being overstaffed. Over we here in Monterey I mean, County, watch the we program, a lot of people. About so babies dying from formula problems. Jamie, 
Jamie. Anyone to go for a long time. Well, is, Thailand, is Thailand is Thailand as anti? Um, well, they, they want it to be organic. Is Thailand as quote um, organic as the U.S. is? Yeah, I, I think about half and half. Yeah, yeah, but food safety is a very important thing here, and you just simply don't hear about food safety in the states. I was always concerned about eating fresh vegetables. Here, we eat it all the time. There's no concern, which is unusual. We thought the opposite, but no. Mm -hmm. The instances of food poisoning here is much less when it comes to produce, which is odd. Yeah, I don't know why. Well, I'm in Maury cattle. County, and we've killed several people with broccoli and <laughs> lettuce. And it yeah. wasn't organic, by the way. Mm -mm, it wasn't. It was I'm just... sorry, no. Organic is not less safe. No. Yeah, yeah, actually, it is. Well, no. Let's not have that argument right now. Yeah. No, it's Monterey County, Salinas Valley, it, there's like very little organic in Salinas Valley. The the big ag has that land tied up. Big, big ag has so organic. Big ag is, is also organic. So yeah. let's go on. No, mm. no, okay, not in this go case. on. I think you all got this one. It's yeah. Something uh, like thanks it. to one person. A homeschool legal defense association. Who got this? Somebody got this. I one. said it was an <laughs> agency instead of association. Jane had this one. Yeah, it didn't happen. What, well, yes. you, people had it, so I think usually the rule is if some people had it exactly, we should make it exactly. Yeah, right. I have no problem with with agency because, but um, it is not a, a government agency. It's it's a it's a service organization. Okay, that that, that, that poops out cavemen. We're done. <laughs> the dinosaurs poop out cavemen. <laughs> okay, six. It's called psychedelic assisted therapy, so psychedelic was all right. LSD or psilocybin oh, or mushrooms are all fine. Got them all. So, so are the Mormons fun. getting into this now? Yeah. Uh, Latter Day Saints. Uh, LDS. Yeah. LDS. Uh, LDS. Uh, <laughs> so mushrooms are okay. Uh, 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 mushroom, yeah, mushrooms are okay. Let us reverse their they call them <laughs> mushrooms. Can we have we had I I I was that the mushrooms. <laughs> Gail yeah, we had ayahuasca and, and peyote. Yeah. I can't understand. Everybody's talking at once. I'll put it in the chat. We know LDS is all about delusional thinking. LSD, LDS. They're not the hell you whales. Oh, my God. It was him. It was. It was him. It was. All right. He's on the Congress. When was he on the Congress? Gail. Yeah, we root him out because. He's, he's a, a member of Congress. He's a congressman. He's a governor. He's a he's governor. Now governor. He's a member of Congress. He was back in 2012. Formerly. In 2012, he was a congressman, and he kept him away using the earbud. Oh, I didn't know oh, that. Oh, I didn't know it. See how we are, Kevin? Yeah. Uh, peyote and ayahuasca are psychedelics, so that should be an acceptable answer. Yes. Yeah, but Gail has to say that. <laughs> no, it's an acceptable answer. I said Thank that you. The, the answer said or. Because we only allowed one answer, right? Uh -huh. And now I think everybody got timeshares. Yeah, yeah. Pierce got it. I don't have a timeshare. No. <laughs> <laughs> everybody got the name, right? Nobody That's... here. Fortunately, get to you. The time share. I have two timeshares, and I'm in the twenty percent because we use it all the freaking time. And when I don't, I make money on it. So. Well, what? I think that that's the secret because many people. Have yeah, I, the, the other members, the other members of my family, and the before, other and members of the family, they don't tell them what the cost is. Lost the on it for thing. sure. You have to manage them right. Yeah. Yep. Uh, in the episode, he describes one person who reserved a spot and they said it was only a month away it was too late so the next time he tried six months ahead of time and they said it was too early they weren't ready yet so then he tried three months away and they they said that it was all full so he could never use the timeshare that he's had for like three years so no. 80 percent like it but 20 percent probably well, don't like he it needed to be in charge of the sharing yeah. part of it say 80 percent don't like it 80 percent don't so 20 percent do right yeah and nine, of course, is cryptocurrency. I think most of you got oh. that one. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Can you say Bitcoin? Yes, Bitcoin would work. Okay. All right. I thought NFTs? it was a Sorry. Okay. And number 10 fine, is critical race theory. Very good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which those who oppose it do not know what it is. Yeah, it's better. They don't yeah. like TV screens. Right? That's what it said in the question. He's opposed to it, but he doesn't know what it is. 
Very <laughs> good. crazy. Where did you get that photo with all that multiracial people? Oh, I had yeah. so much fun looking up the photos because I couldn't copy from the videos. You can't uh -huh. make a still photo from videos. So I had to find pictures to go with all of these by searching. It was fun. It's that could be that could be totally photoshopped a bunch of black kids with no CRTs. <laughs> well, they don't it know what really it is. Funny. They're just it told to very funny. sign. They don't know any different. All right. Yeah, Good job, Gail. Crazy. Good job. Good job, Gail. Let's see what these scores oh, are. Our team is going to redeem themselves. Maybe. <laughs> have, have we woke <laughs> up yet? Yeah, he's he was awake. He had a he had an answer. All right, mission impossible. Make Don Jr. look sexy. And we ruined our score. We got nine. <coughs> Ooh. Oh, well, stop that count. Stop that count. <laughs> Buffy may not be a Saint Marie. We got six. Six. Mm. All right. Trump's sons back off so far. They might fall off the edge of the flat earth. Seven. Ooh. Good scores. I counted but eight. No. I, I well, got eight did, as well. Did we, did we give give ourselves oh. the um the produce one? Oh, that's yeah. So it would be seven. You're right. Wait, what that's did the you one I was unsure of. What did you? Yeah, we had produce? we had lettuce and organic produce, but um, I thought she I, said it was okay to say lettuce because that's what we had. Is that? Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. have lettuce. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Then we can have eight. Okay, eight. All right. Uh, the trivia team, they don't want you to see. <laughs> 10. <laughs> oh, damn. Wow. Oh. Damn. The litter at the last minute there. Um, Beavis and Butthead commit perjury. I think it's seven. I got seven. I got seven. So we must Ooh, have got I seven. score eight. I got put for a long time. You folks know more than I think you do. Gosh, mm -hmm. look at how low that first category mm -hmm. was. <laughs> <laughs> Oops! Who, who did that round? <laughs> yeah, it's really hard. <laughs> Good you job. You challenged us. Oh, yeah, hard is not over oh there. So Hi, Carolyn. Hi, Carolyn. Good night, Carolyn. Good night, Carolyn. Amelia, what com country were you in? So I was uh, first in Costa Rica in the early nineties, yeah. and um, and then I did it again in Grenada in two thousand fifteen. Okay. That's, that's where I met my my husband. All right, Anita. Yeah, Robin, you're up. I'm gonna okay. take off, guys. Thank you so much for. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Bye. Here. Yeah. Just Bye. lost half our team. Bring your wife. <laughs> Come back. Sounds like he had a good time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I think so. Okay. So, uh, this is the seasonal group of questions halloween-ish um question number one what candy originated in 1888 at the wonderly candy company in philadelphia it was first called chicken feed the boxes were illustrated huh? in the chat get it in the chat i uh, okay i I've, I've got three questions to put in the chat and i'm going to read three questions and i'm going to push send okay can no, i do that do the, no do the other way around hit sound send and then push read them so i'm going to hit three and you're going to see before i read them yeah go yeah ahead. that's fine. fine that's fine we read a lot we'll read them all right because i want to copy uh, the boxes were illustrated with a colorful rooster logo and the tagline something worth crowing for number two what is the only movie adapted from a Stephen King book to win an Oscar? Number three. On Halloween 2023, that was Tuesday, the New York Times Connections Puzzle, which I know many of us do, had a category about horror movie directors. Four names were listed. Each name is also an English word aside from being the director's name. Name any one of the four. So, in other words, if you don't play, if you don't know the answer off the top of your head, because you don't play the New York Times Connections puzzle every day like I do, think of a horror movie director whose name is not, if the if the person's name is Baker, that's a word, right? 
if the if the director's name is Thompson, that's not a word. That's just a proper name. So we need a horror movie director whose name is also a regular English word. And there were four choices in the puzzle on Tuesday, and all you have to do is find one of those. Horror, horror movie director with a name that is also an English word. Got it. All right. Next. Get my next three. Uh, let's do four, five, six. Actually, those are now. Nah. Okay, I'll do four this time. Next one. The Rocky Horror Show was a stage musical before it was a movie. In what city did the original show play? Number five, what do the Ghostbusters call their ghost wrangling backworn machines? Oh. <laughs> what year did Charles Schultz's classic Halloween TV special, It's the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown, first air? Number seven, what is a lycanthrope? And let me go back now to my. Okay. No plus or minus on the year. No. Nope. Um, no. No. On on Charlie Brown, no plus or minus at all. You gotta you gotta hit it right on. There is a plus or minus down in number ten. Who wrote the eighteen eighteen classic book Frankenstein? Which first lady was the first to decorate the White House for Halloween? And number ten, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow by American author Washington Irving was published in what year? Plus or minus ten? I give you give you oh, some lead on it. What are you calling the category again, Robin? Tis the season. <laughs> <laughs> the season of pumpkins. Oh, this is good. I might actually know a couple. Yeah, these might be a little easier than some of Well, the everybody else will know the same couple. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. So I will go a wandering. Oh, by the way, anybody in the near area where I am, Kathy McKenzie says there's going to be a Voices of Monterey Bay event at the Downtown Book and Sound in Old Town tomorrow night from six to eight. And I might go some readings and such, but mostly chit chat because I'm not going to want to go to no readings. Listen, <laughs> psychic readings, that might be kind of cool, but no. What's okay, going on? Open... Mm -hmm. Downtown Book and wow. Sound. An old town yeah they're having a like a hangout with the voices of monterey bay people oh okay Is everybody in the right rooms they need to be in okay i'm going to oh uh, with you and leonard i might as well just sit back <laughs> and do nothing um i got answers for most of them Okay, so the first one is, is it candy corn? Yeah, that's candy corn. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's candy corn. Okay, what is the only movie adapted from a Stephen King book to win an Oscar? Would it be um, Carrie? No, it's a Misery. Like Kathy Bates won for actress. God, that was a, oh, that was scary. Um, on number three, I came up with Peel. Is that one? probably uh i put john carpenter because he's my favorite is it p-e-e-l or p-e-a-l i can't remember how it's spelled but john carpenter director of the fog christine they live escape from new york okay so we got course, my favorite the thing okay so we've got carpenter but i think peel is another one Yes, I'm pretty sure he is. Rocky Horror was a stage music. Was it in London? I think so. Because I think it was British before it came to America. Okay. Yeah. Yes. What is the machines in the back of the Ghostbusters wear? Proton pack. Oh, Ooh. that's right. Okay, Charles Short's movie. <coughs> it's a great pumpkin. Was it the 50s? 
I think it was the 60s. I think it's some somewhere in the mid 60s. Like 66 or sounds yeah, good. Seven? That sounds right. Let's go Which... with 66. Okay, and then that word, it's a werewolf, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> if I know my Harry like Potter. The of London. And Mary, Mary, uh, who wrote the 18, 18? Shelley. Mary, Mary Shelley. Shelley. I don't know who the first lady was to decorate the White House for Halloween. Not a clue. I think it was Mamie Eisenhower. It would be somebody late like that, yeah. Because Halloween wasn't around that much before, right? Well, trick or treating and as a actual, yeah, thing. Mm -hmm. Mamie, huh? Yeah, pretty sure. Legend of Sleepy Hollow. What year was it published? That was eighteen. Wait. <laughs> It's like 1825, somewhere around there. I'm pretty sure it's the 1820s, somewhere. I don't. Oh, you're going early. Yeah. I don't know more specific than Washington Irving. 1820s, 1830s? Oh, well, if we 30s. get a plus or minus 10. I think it was the 20s. So 25? Yeah, let's go with 25. 1825? All right. Wow, we did really good. Now, what do you want to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> We have we have many answers. Some may be correct. We, we can ask Leonard whether he got a, a Facebook message, Susan. Did you get a Facebook message from somebody Are we recording on today? Recording though. Oh, I don't think so. Anything else? I I'm still not feeling great because I am still so tired. And then we had to we had to go in the car ride for to San Francisco. Smith and I yeah, every, came every, back. Everybody good. Yeah, I mean, it was just a that, that normal. Went fine. Yeah, it's just a normal thing. So, yep. yeah. But how I mean, often do you do that? Every six weeks. Okay. So we have to For spend the night long? up there. So I want to be home back with yeah. my cats. And then we had to almost turn around from Psycon and go right back up, you know, and spend the night out down. Right. So, yeah, it, I've been, I've been, you know, I'm lucky I got to just sleep. <laughs> I, After you know, I've tried doing Spending that. all day driving home. Oh, yeah, you did. How long did it take you to get home? Uh, with all the stops and, and you know, meals and pit stops and the like, 10 and a half hours. Well, I guess. But, I mean, the, the car drives itself. Um, so it's, uh, it's actually not all that tiring to drive. Um, it's just getting out of the car. Your legs don't want to work. So do you find it harder to stay awake when the car is doing all the work? Um, I wonder about so that. On, on the way back, I spent the entire time binging my backlog of geologic podcasts. Oh, you didn't so, have enough of George Rob already, huh? Well, I, I hadn't I hadn't listened to any of them for quite a long time, um, and I I love George. He's a national uh, treasure. Treasure. And I miss the um, the sing along because I, yeah. I went to uh, I went to see um, Cirque du Soleil, Michael Jackson one. Oh, how was that? I think Wendy said it was great. Spectacular, really, just spectacular. There was, I mean, like every Cirque du Soleil show, there was more shit happening at once than you could possibly keep track of. And some of the athleticism, just amazing. People doing stuff going, what the hell? I mean, there was one guy who was moonwalking. He did it so well, he made Michael Jackson look like a beginner. Wow. It was, a, I mean, I'm watching this guy going, how the hell is he doing this? Just, just amazing. It was uh, it was fun. It was a little too loud for me, but not uh, <coughs> not too much. Have you gone to? Did you do anything besides? What other outside of Psycon did you do? Nothing. You didn't go to the Sphere. No, nope. don't care. <laughs> I really don't. I did see some pictures Rob put up today 
on his Facebook page and it showed like the elephant and how big it was. And that was amazing looking. Oh, it's a gigantic show. thing. So I, um, I was in Vegas um, in the summertime um, because a friend of the family got married. Um, so we were there and we drove by the sphere. So I saw how unbelievably gigantic it is. So I've, I've been to it. I've seen it. Um, and of course I, you know, saw it lit up um, at night f from nearby the hotel, but eh, I have no interest in going in. I, I don't care about you two. I have no interest in spending a couple hundred bucks to, uh, to see a concert. No, yeah, yeah. So I'm going to write, I, I did just talk to Gio today. I am um, at Carl's suggestion. He said, just reach out to Gio. Cause I'm, cause you know how that prank is that prank I did on, on uh, everybody with the Wikipedia page for Jeannie Scott. Yeah. I, um, I thought I'd write that up as a skeptical inquiry article. Cause it's quite funny. And I think more people should look at her Wikipedia page. So it was successful, and um, but I couldn't remember all the Jeannie Scott isms. What, what do we what do they call those Chuck Norris things? You know, those it's it's kind of out of vague now, Chuck you know, Norris thing. huh? What do they call them? Uh, just Chuck Norris thing. I thought they had a phrase for him, Chuck Norris something. Before I close the rooms, I just wanted to let everybody know that um, the on question number two, um, I would I, it's it's not a best picture award; it's a best actor or actress award. Just in case that makes a difference in your okay, we're on top of that in, in your answer. Yeah, we got it. Okay, I think so. Four, and I've got I, I figured you meant the, the Priva? That, that there was an award, Hi. not that the movie itself definitely. Yeah, Hi. exactly. I I don't think a horror film has ever gotten okay. best picture. <laughs> Okay, so um, what were we saying about, oh yeah, Chuck Norris, I thought there was a, a phrase people said, like, Chuck Norrisisms? <laughs> something like that, so should we call them Judy Scottisms? Uh, anyway, so I'm writing an article about it, so I guess we should come up with something. So Gio, I still don't think, knows that I was punking him. So when I wrote to him today, I didn't make that clear. Oh well. <laughs> So he might still think it's really her Wikipedia page is updated. I had explained it to Jeannie when I sat down and talked to her. I had explained it to her a few times. She didn't quite get that. And I've had several people say, um, ask how Why I did, did you it. vandalize her Wikipedia page? Yeah, like I would do that. <laughs> I yeah, don't know what people know I wouldn't. Yeah, when, I, when, I think of, when I think of Susan Gerbic, the first thing that comes to mind is Wikipedia vandal. Yeah, that, that's right up there. No, I couldn't do an edit that would that would be out of my I couldn't do it. Yeah, because I gotta protect my uh I mean when I when I saw the the post, I went, Oh, this is her sandbox. <laughs> well, it wasn't my sandbox, but that is a good way of doing it. How did you actually you, you that just... is a really good way of doing it? I didn't do it yeah, that way. That would be the easiest way. I guess so, huh? Yeah, that would have been simple, but I only had like two minutes i thought of this doing this like as i was walking down um so what did you do i i just made the changes hit preview right and then just screenshot it and then took right. out i was going to make it even more nifty and make it so that like if i had more time i would have i blown out get rid of all that stuff that says this is just an edit preview blah 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 right make it look more like a page and then, but I, I didn't have the time. So I just made it just a regular screenshot. Right. And I didn't come up with very clever verbiage, but I just, like I said, I had about three minutes to do that. So and then yeah, I well. and showed it to George Robb and he's like, oh, that's really interesting. And then he walked <laughs> right up on stage and said, somebody's vandalizing her Wikipedia page. I, and I hope they keep doing it. And then <laughs> all of a sudden there's all these views. And so it got like, um, normally gets 26 views. I think it got 89 and then 93 the next day. So, okay. I'll take it. Good job, teams. Team, team. Yeah. Team of two teams. Team us. Team us. <coughs> okay.
Oh, I'm so glad that conversation ended in uh, our our room. <laughs> I would like. Please stop. I'm Was getting. Someone my... selling you a timeshare? No, <laughs> they were talking about black and... licorice. It was. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I love black mm -hmm. licorice. Yeah. I love black licorice. Yeah. So good. No. Yeah, and what I was telling them is that when I teach parliamentary procedure, I needed controversial issues that were unimportant. So yes. I created a licorice league <laughs> where they argue about whether red licorice is really licorice. Yeah. <laughs> What's to argue? Not. A freaking cost is not. Candy. And that's the point. No, that's exactly what happened. It's a hot is dog it? a sandwich. Yeah, hot dog a sandwich. That's another good one to give. Well, Only that was, a, taco that was a fun category, Robin. Yeah, yeah. that was good. It was a nice variety for of, Halloween. So that was you're muted, nice, Robin. It was a nice variety of questions. I'm glad. Still I'm glad. Kind of on topic, which was <laughs> which is quite clever because I figured I figured somebody else would. I figured there'd be at least two such categories tonight. But I'm I'm surprised. There are well, clubs, Robin. I thought about. I said somebody else was going to do it. I won't. <laughs> well, we had horror movies last week, so. <laughs> And and one of the answers was the same. Okay, I'm just gonna uh, paste in the answers. Yeah, and then I'll just kind of go over them. Let's see. So we got number one is candy corn. Worst candy in the candy world. Corn. I, hate I have some. Hearing that, Susan? You hearing that, Susan? All I like I also like 1911 and has never been any made since then. <laughs> horrible, horrible <laughs> stuff. Number two, misery. I'm glad I went around and told everybody that it was not a best picture. So I think we a few right. people kind of got it right. Uh, then we had four different possible directors, and I think nice. most people got that one right. What? Uh, from the New York Times. Connections puzzle. It was Ari Aster, John Carpenter, Wes Craven, or James Wan. Any one of those gets you the right answer. Um, the morning. Rocky Horror Show opened in London. Oh, it's just a jump to the horse. Number five, the Good Ghostbusters job, is a proton pack. Well done, Rob. Remember that. Oh, we were off uh, year. the year exactly right. Wow. Charlie Brown. Oh. I was a kid. I watched it the first time it aired. <laughs> we, we switched we from 67 to 65. We were oh. 66 or 67. Can't do plus or minus one year. Yeah, they wouldn't do it. Nope. 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 I, right I made exactly. the rule before we started, so. But I but the, no, the last no, one was plus me, or minus 10. So. Not giving a wow, we minus. did good. Can, can we do plus or minus one president? Yes, <laughs> we could use that too. Damn, uh, I'll I take like plus that. or minus one on the. Uh, it's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, as well. Yeah, yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. So anyway, uh, you guys can read the rest of them. I think. Say it out loud. Oh. Uh, recording, please. Oh. Oh, yes, I am. oh, for the recording. Okay, nineteen sixty-six. Is the Charlie Brown a lycanthrope? Is a werewolf? Oh. Uh, Frankenstein was written by Mary Shelley, the daughter of the person who wrote um, *A Vindication of the Rights of Women*, whose name I can't even remember. Remember right now. Uh, Mamie Eisenhower uh, decorated the White House for Halloween, and Washington Irving. That's nineteen twenty. I'm mean, sorry, eighteen twenty. Wow, earlier than and we that thought. Was plus or minus. I was going to yeah, say that, 18, yeah. 17. That was plus go. or minus 10 years. Plus or minus 10. Okay, we got the plus oh, or minus. Right, right in the middle of what I was thinking. Yeah. Who wrote, who wrote, who was Mary Shelley's mom who wrote A Vindication of the White Mrs. Mary Shelley. Wollstonecraft. <laughs> Mary Wollstonecraft, yeah. Ah. Mother of Mary Shelley. All right. A talented well, family. Because her full name is Mary Wollstonecraft Shelley. Shelley. Yeah, I wrote that down. Extra point. <laughs> okay. Extra point Buffy may not be a Saint Marie. Um, I we had eight, and we would have we would have had a better score if we had we didn't have any that variable on the ones that we missed by one year. But when we had the big variable, we got it exactly. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mission Impossible. Make Don Junior look sexy. 
five. He said he was going to wear makeup. I saw that part. <laughs> like his dad. Okay. The, Trump's sons back off so far. They might fall off the edge of the flat earth. Bevan. Uh, Beavis and Butthead commit perjury. Bevan. And the trivia team, they don't want you to see. Ten. Ten. He wrote it before he said it. <laughs> no, because I was on the team. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I was, oh, okay. I was keeping say. score. You weren't being psychic. You were just... Yeah. So, <laughs> I was keeping score. I just right, thought so of we... another rule, if another potential rule based on what Gail just said. I wonder what would happen sometime if someone had like four or five variables but you could only choose one. You could only use one of them in a round. What? Um, I think that's too complicated for Rob. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> See? Uh, really or maybe don't. it's just too late at night. It, it's 1230. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> it's too late in New Jersey. <laughs> okay, so I have next week, I have Kat, Carl, and Adrian's doing the bonus. I need two more. Well, we have no game next week. I always have one if you need it. No one else steps so up. So do I, Susan. I will always do it if you want. So I you don't won't have to be here, so I'm not volunteering. Okay. <laughs> Just I can't answer them, but I can one. We haven't had one in years in a long time. Who? Karen. Second Tuesdays, uh, second Thursdays, I have a meeting. Okay, I will put down Gail and Rob. But... In other words, Karen's volunteering for the following week. Yeah. <laughs> okay. There you All go. Right. The Thank next you. week. Gail, Rob, Gail, Kat, Rob, Carl, Adrian. Okay, so, and Karen will go the next week. Usually you need to go later, don't you, Karen? No, I or like no, to You go like to go earlier because you want to drink. Glass of wine. You want a glass of wine, yeah. I don't know why that would stop you. I don't, I don't know either. I think it makes, <laughs> it could be more fun if she'd had a glass of wine when she does the round. <laughs> She's already a lot of fun, but yeah. yeah. Let's, let's even find more. out. Even more. <laughs> okay, so. Oh, I know. Last week, there was a question. They said, we should figure out, well, I think it was Vincent who said in the video last week, he said, we should see how much money they spent gambling. How much money did they lose in Vegas last week? And I thought to myself, I didn't spend a penny. <laughs> zero dollars. I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I heard that too. Zero. I thought, oh no, I bet we didn't lose anything. Zero, so zero I'm dollars. Never say anything like that, I, have, so. I have a fun one. Richard Somebody did. had a dollar. He put it into oh. a slot machine. <laughs> Who? And he, Richard dollar? Saunders. Found and he, he got 12 cents back. And we didn't know how it worked. It was just like he pressed a button and it was done. And we're like, okay, what happens? <laughs> did he get a dollar 12? So he made 12 cent profit? No, just 12 cents, right? Yeah, just twelve cents. So like he, a little ticket that said twelve cents. Yeah, a little ticket, and he said he kept it. He he actually put it in to see if he could use it, but then because it said one cent, so he pressed the one cent. But you had to have eighty-eight of those one cents. Do you think it was, really it was an ATM? No, it was a slot <laughs> machine. Crazy. You no, know, I always win when I play that ATM machine. There were four. <laughs> yeah, there were four people standing there, and uh, one of them was Eugenie. And none of us can figure out this machine. We're so inept at gambling. We have I have no absolutely idea. no idea how they work. And I, 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 I see people on them. They're not, I don't see them putting money in. So it, it must somehow work with a card or something. And I no, you, you, you can put, you can put like a $20 bill in and yeah. just play, 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 play till yeah. it's gone. That's I, it. used to, I, I, I used to do a lot of band. gambling. I used to gamble quite a bit because my in-laws lived in Carson City, Nevada. So we used to go up there all the time. And I love I craps. Think, craps. I think craps you get better favorite. odds putting a dollar into a change machine. Yeah. <laughs> I like I liked when you put coins in and then you and pull the, yeah, you pull it was so yeah. and you pull the hand. So I would still do that. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I would get a cup of it. I didn't even understand. You, 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 you don't like nipples. that because it takes you too much time, so you can't bet as much. Yeah, it, there's a lot of reasons they don't want to do that anymore because it's and, dirty. and the funny thing is, it used to spit out coins, which made a ding, 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 ding noise. Yeah. Well, now yeah. they don't do that, but they still make the noise, the fake the noise, noise. So it yeah. sounds yeah. like people are still winning. Right. Uh, All right. Noise. So last up. Oh, wait, wait. It's not Adrian. What am I doing? I gave Adrian the co-powers. Oh, woo. next week. <laughs> it is uh, Deborah. <laughs> Howdy. I had it on the wrong screen. Okay. Oh, dear. All right. Go for okay. it. Okay. 
So this, this bonus category is the places with the darkest night skies. And these are all, I think, in the, in the United States. Um, and this is, I, I'm not going to say this is going to be easy, that people are going to do well. I think it's <laughs> going to be difficult. Um, and so you can just guess the state rather than the name of the place. All of these places are public places. They're like national parks, state parks, things like that. So they, some of them have familiar names. So what I was going to say is, okay, guess the state where these are. And for one, kind of like a bonus point in case you miss one, because you probably will. If you get one of them by the actual name of the um, place that where this is, instead of just the state, that can be a point too. So you can't get more than 10, but say you get six of the states plus with one of them, you guess the actual name of the place itself. That's so, the point. I'm are are we better off guessing or naming the dark sky places themselves? If you know them, eight? if you know them. You know them? We only can get one extra point or all of yeah, them? Yeah, you can only know, you what can only get one extra point. Like, so say you... Say, say, okay, say it was like uh, amusement parks and, and we're all the amusement parks. And so you'd say Florida, California, wherever the other ones are. And, but one of them you named it was in, is like Disneyland in Anaheim. Then that would be the extra like an, an extra point, but you can't get 11 points. So what if, what if there are five? But what if you could name, what if you could name all the parks? So you go Disney, well, Florida. Good for you. And good for you. Could we get 10 <laughs> points? And so you those can still get 10. Too. Yeah, oh, yeah. Well, if we you know all anyway. the names of them, if you know He's all of them, great. I and guess what if there's more than one in a state? There's not. No, it doesn't matter, Jean, because there's you can, not. if you're going to name, like if you said, instead of saying Florida, you said Disney World, you would get the point anyway. So it's yeah. the same point. Yeah. Okay, yeah. wait a minute. What, can, I, can I ask, are you saying that, that if we... If our answers were the names of 10 different states in the United States, that's potentially a 10. Yes. But we could but if also you only go named, further. Say and, if you and, named like, you know, nine of them and you didn't know the last one, but instead of one of the states, you named the actual place, then basically that answer is worth two points. Yeah. But only it. if you, only if you. We got it. it. The, 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 I, where, I, what what is the source of this in? data, Deborah? Yeah, I don't understand the question. The darkest <laughs> places. Least so <laughs> there's a website and called travelandleisure.com that has the darkest places in the U.S. and these are the ten places. Places so with the least. Can I just get an answer pollution. to one question? Did, did right? I hear you say yeah. there's not more than one in a state? Is that right? Yeah, in this, in this, I think they're okay, like good. the 10 okay. darkest ones or something. Okay. So there's only 10 not of them. All in the United States, but right? This, oh, and United these States. are not, these are not then the okay. designated dark sky locations. They could be. They could be. Well, there's more than one in, in many states. Yeah, yeah that's okay. why I well, still don't really yeah. get the question. Because that's why yeah, I'm confused. Your, your team will. Your team will understand. No, I don't I understand. It. If if there's three in a state, I can't just say they're California. I can't she say California, California, not. California. She says okay, but so someone else just said there are. I'm okay, confused. no, no, no. There may be, there may be, but mm. these are the ten darkest ones, and they're according all to this states. website. According to this website, yes. Right. I, uh, so there's only there's ten different ones, and they're all different states. Okay. There's not. There's no repeats. With that. Yeah. Thank you. Uh -huh. All right. Go do your thing in your rooms and okay. see if I can do this. Do your things. Uh, <laughs> this <is> it's, <laughs> if I can find it, let's see. Where is this You're thing? Now in the X-rated um, portion of the show. I got, I got it. Done. <laughs> yes. oh, thank you. Thank you, Rob. Okay. <laughs> oh, there. So Alaska, I would think, right? Yeah, yeah, that makes, seems to make sense. And I was thinking, you know, I, I'm guessing that darkest means there's not a lot of population, so there's not a lot of light pollution. So Wyoming, because not a lot of people. Good one. Montana, not a lot of yeah, people. Yeah, Montana they're especially. North, they're north, right? 
Yep. But that's sort of what I was thinking, but I don't what know. What do you think of Hawaii? I was thinking that as well, but it doesn't, it, yeah, yeah. I, I missed part of the explanation because I had something going on. So, um, just is darkest it like places. The darkest, just darkest places, places with the least like light pollution. From light pollution. Okay, got it. That's kind of what I was getting. So, uh, okay, North so Dakota? do we want Hawaii or do we not want Hawaii? Yeah. Oh, Hawaii is good. Yeah. What about Nevada and North or South Dakota? Ooh, North Nevada's Dakota. pretty good. Except for uh, Las Until Vegas. Old. Las Vegas makes up for the rest of the Right. Well, I, yeah, but there's parts of it that are, I'm trying to think of. They're Why pretty isolated. They're pretty isolated. Yeah. Why don't we put 10 and then when we get to 10, if we get to 10, we can start eliminating. Good what did we say? North. Uh, North Dakota. 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 Oh, and you said another one, Karen. What was it? She said Nevada. Or somebody said Nevada. I I put Nevada. Um, this is just the United States, right? Did she say South Dakota right. as well? Well, we're thinking about it. South Dakota is a little more populated with okay. um but what about, it could what be about Alaska? Alaska? Yeah, we got we Alaska. Like, oh, oh, I did I missed it. That was Sorry. the first one. Sorry, yeah. Yeah, not a problem. So we do Alaska, say, that's, Wyoming, that's Montana, huge. just in case, yeah. What do you think yep, of Maine? Alaska. Oh, it helps if I'm sharing. That's why. Again, I'm half asleep. What about um Colorado? Because they have the Continental Divide in that huge yeah. natural forest area. Yeah, I think Colorado's yeah. good. I was I think... even thinking Washington State or Idaho. Idaho's not highly populated. Idaho. Yeah, yeah, Idaho. I think also we should put South Dakota. Okay. Yeah. I'll put it after North Dakota. Just so they can be together. That's nine. Uh, That's nine. I've got nine. And then what about um Arizona or the uh desert uh, uh Death Valley in California? Wait, what was the I missed the ninth one. What was the one that we said after Idaho? Idaho. Idaho, thank you. And you I know, for California. Right. I wonder if California would be Death Valley. I've never For me, it's just there. big enough. There's got to be something dark here. You would think. Or do, would we... Oh, that's our like, for do, Texas, Do we like too. Washington State better? If we could name one specific, you know, state park, that might get us an extra point, too. Unless we know why take the risk. And unless we can do it and... Oh, God. Well, yeah, you could put, like, you could put California Death Valley. Yeah. And that would be the point. If, if it's if it's California, we get the point. If That's it's right. Death Valley, then we get two points. Yeah. So, so we how just about, do it how like about this? Death Valley or Mount McKinley? <laughs> Death Valley, I like. Explain Mount McKinley. Well, it's just the tallest point in the continental you know, Isn't it tallest place in California? Could be. But wouldn't that mean it's closer to the sun? Well, but darkest, I thought. Uh... Yeah, I don't know if elevation, how much that has to do with it. Well, yeah, I was thinking about light uh, pollution. Uh, yeah, if you're up on the mountain, that's human dark. Made, I was thinking a lack of human-made light pollution rather than the presence of the sun. I agree. Got it. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But what about like Oregon and Washington State? Yeah, I liked Washington State, but I don't I, know what I think we want. The ones we have do are on darker. List. Okay, Adrian, if you were going to take one out, what would take one take one out and replace? Yeah, with one, which would That's it be? What I'm thinking. I don't know a lot about South Dakota, so is it populous? Very How do populous? we? Feel it's got a... Brisbane and um, uh, Fargo. Is wait Fargo North or South? Fargo North Dakota. All right. I think it's Argo, North. Do you want to take out South Dakota and replace it with Washington State? I'm just throwing it out. I really don't know. Well, well, Hawaii. I mean, it's, park, it's Wyoming has. Uh, can we put the state park of Wyoming's? Um, what is that called? Um, uh, Yellowstone? Yellowstone? Yellowstone. 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 Grand Teton would be good too. Oh yeah, the Tetons. Uh, in Wyoming? Yep. 
Because we're not oh, going to lose a point by putting Yellowstone. We can only gain. Yep. But we can only get one extra point, I believe, right? But the and Montana has the uh, Glacier National Park, which would be pretty black. Yeah. You know, I wonder about Utah over the Great Lake. Oh, <laughs> I like Lake. Utah. Yeah. Isn't that huge? Yeah. But I wouldn't take anything out. I don't know what I would take out. <laughs> Oh, I just keep thinking about Hawaii because, like, the islands aren't huge, right? And then I don't know how big the cities are in Hawaii. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to well, think of the main the, uh, like other Waikiki, islands. Waikiki is hugely populated. The whole thing, yeah. but right. on the but big on the, island, there's nothing. Not. There's it's yeah. just empty. I mean, we went there, and there's just nothing there. <laughs> right. Yeah. So then, not not right? very much light pollution on that island. Yeah. So I would, if I was going to say anything, I would say the what is it called, the Volcano National Park in hawaii particularly there's, okay because we can list things for all of these right without yeah. any then. yeah because when we were there on that side of the island as i say there's hardly anybody i mean there's we were in a bed and breakfast but there are no hotels there's no restaurants we were looking for something to eat and we oh, had to wow. scrounge we had to because we got arrived at eight o'clock everything was shut down at eight o'clock and we had to, to go and scrounge something in the kitchen in the bed and breakfast so it was oh. it was really really isolated. It was wonderful, but uh, once we realized we had to pack up for food, go find food, and be scared, really plan. And would Colorado be the um the what what is that the, the there's a Rocky Mountain National Park, Continent Continental Divide. Yeah, okay, there you go. Yeah, and there's Rocky Mountain National Park. We just were there last. What summer, is it, Rocky? Summer. Rocky Mountain National Park. It's it's yeah. unbelievable. It's beautiful as well. High, cold. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, but you know me and my Brian's today. He's not. Yeah, good. yeah. <laughs> you sure it's not Brian National so, Park. Yeah. Either. <laughs> <laughs> I think you may be right. I sound <laughs> confident, but you know I'm not. <laughs> you know what's interesting is this list she got. She didn't. It, 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 she didn't say that it was going to be like the ten darkest places in the United States. She just said it's no. She said 10 darkest States. places, and then she said they're all from the United States. Correct. So, because basically, if she had said the 10 darkest places in the world, we would not be talking about the United States. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, that's we'd, what be, I was we'd be talking yeah. about North Korea. <laughs> yeah. Have you just seen Number it? One is North Korea. To South city Korea. Has the, what yeah. major city has the most darkest skies? Yeah, I mean, was, it's it's uncanny. Yeah, that, you look at the North map Korea's and, and you're like, oh, there's South Korea. Look at all the light. And then there's and North it, Korea. It's just line, dark. Yeah. Right? There's a straight line. Yes. And there's nothing. It's yeah. crazy. Everybody Karen. goes to bed at the same time, I guess. <laughs> Karen, are you going to go over to that old town um, thing tomorrow night? You think you're going to go? Peggy wants help. Oh, she's going. She doesn't get any help. Sorry. What do you mean Peggy wants help? The sign. Well, it says on my screen, Peggy Hill in room two asks for help. Oh, I thought you meant at the book thing tomorrow night. Peggy? <laughs> Yeah. So does are you sending Robin her way or oh I guess I gotta do that. It's Deborah. Yeah. Or Deborah, that's right. We're on Deborah's run. Okay, so we're Deborah. Oh, I was bummed. Deborah said like she was thinking 1817 for the book. And she and she was like, but I was overruled. I'm like, I didn't even hear you say that. We were just guessing in the 18 eighteen hundred or eighteen eighty, whatever. Yeah, like, I didn't I hear it know. either. I didn't hear yeah, it. Yeah, I totally well, I talking about been... the um Last like round. Sleeping Mary Shelley, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I did. I did, and I should have stuck up for you because I thought that too. But I was just going with the flow. I yeah. yeah I, I, I must have missed her say it because we guessed I'm all eighteen. Like, we guessed so all 18, I did We guessed way late, eighteen eighty. And I just went along with what was there. I was like, yeah. yeah I, I apologize. I didn't realize <laughs> that uh, we said eighteen twenty, and then we broke down eighteen twenty-five. Huh. So one one thing that's a challenge when people are guessing is um is to know if they know it or and they're mm -hmm. just saying it confidently right or right Karen, right. <laughs> sometimes Karen's it's really good at asking it's that question in, inversely right. related that the more confident they are on the answer <laughs> the more wrong they are <laughs> once in a while. well 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 we'll just uh, you know you know, you know we, we won't call out any names but there <laughs> that we'll just say there was someone who used to be a regular who is not here 
so much anymore well, and, and then, they were and notorious someone, for wrong answers and then someone who is um you know not not as loud that that it's not just who's yeah. loud right. yeah. yeah in there yeah i yeah. hear you yeah and it's easy when if somebody starts to talk and then another person starts to talk just a bit after you won't hear that person because it kind of cuts them off right so there's that yeah. going on right. too Sometimes the electronics get in the way. Yeah, people yeah. think they're heard and they weren't. Yeah. And they don't realize yep. that because they yeah. hear themselves. Yeah. Yeah, I always try to be, I mean, obviously everybody gets things wrong from time to time. Oh happens, my goodness. I, I always try to be all, all like, time. this is a guess. I do not know this for sure <laughs> yeah. or I am confident in this answer. But it's funny yeah. how often we are right whenever you do a guess. Yeah. Go with your first instinct. Yeah. yeah. Oh my God! There was we've heard this stuff, but you know, a few weeks back, where I remember we why guessed I like this. over half of them and getting them getting them right. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah, it was. They were just we just we were on fire with lucky guesses. I have a I think, question. Yeah, go ahead. Um, so we're not penalized if we guess a national park or something, and it's Correct. not that. Correct. So I, yes, as long as you I get the state, the as long yes. as you get the state. Could mm -hmm. something like uh, Denali for Alaska. And oh, yeah. Yeah, good, good, good idea. Good idea. And the Badlands for one of those. Um, the, Which the, one? Either North or South Dakota. I don't know. For, for both. Put it both. Put it both. Yeah. <laughs> Me as well. Nothing wrong with that. Um, Denali in um, Alaska, the mountain, you know, Mount in Mount. What uh, would be in Idaho? The one that looks like you're on the moon. It has all the rocks. Mm. Oh, Deborah's back. In Oregon. Deborah, I'm closing the, uh, I'm closing the Deborah, rooms. Deborah, what did Peggy okay. want? Uh, they had some quick. They, uh, Rob wanted to ask me something. Of course, Rob. Oh, did. it was uh, Rob. <laughs> he was afraid to say. Do I need to explain okay. any further no, than Peggy, that? No, that, that's it. It's good. We're, you're Peggy good. did it, but actually, Rob. <laughs> now we understand. It. Yes, Deborah. We totally didn't mean to Sorry. overrule you. I completely missed that you had said eighteen seventeen. Yeah, I didn't hear it. Oh, I did it. I, I said totally it very didn't quietly, hear and I yeah. had no confidence in it. It just was a well, guess. And so. and I was like, I was completely <laughs> guessing on the late eighteen hundreds. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> yeah, I was way off. But yeah, it's so, crazy how sometimes well, someone's guess can guess. be right on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, no, it was close anyway. So all right. Yep. So I'm closing the rooms. I don't know. It's a minute and a half, 60. What time did you give seconds. us? Did you give us a 10? It felt like more. I did. Well, it was a little bit longer because I had to go over and talk to those other guys. Right. You're wrong. <laughs> it's all Rob's fault. <laughs> it's Rob's fault. Wrong. They, you know. But and he did bring up a good point. It, it like if you guessed all the the specific answers and but and it was also the right state, but the specific answer part was not right. You'd still get the state. Because mm -hmm. otherwise right. it's too yeah. it's too hard it's too hard to to parse all of that. Yeah, yeah we had that discussion and that's what we decided. So yeah, good we, thing we got it right. Yeah. <laughs> no, I hadn't actually thought of that, and it was good that Rob asked that because oh. I'm okay. Now I have uh, I can say that's how it's going to mm -hmm. be. Oh, for I oh, put craters <clears throat> of the moon park. So what? What is it? Craters. Craters of the moon. Okay, it should almost be not that it really matters that I'm in the right room now because it's true the end of the game. True. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nevada is that those salt flats aren't in Nevada, are they? Hey, I, I'm always surprised at how varied our games can be with uh, the categories <laughs> that are picked, and it's odd because they're there are five people who aren't talking to each other about what categories they are. And we don't usually ever run into any, I think we had one yes. game once where there was two categories that were pretty similar, but they weren't, they weren't the same thing. So I'm really surprised how the mix we get. So good job. Uh, but we've never talked about um, light pollution or, you know, clear right. this is a good one. Okay, Deborah, what you got for us? So I'm going to clarify something because I've mentioned it to a couple of different groups. But if you picked like a specific location in a correct state, but the specific location is not correct, you still get the state. So, um, yeah. Oh, we didn't even so. talk about specific location. 
Well, some people did, some people didn't. But anyway, I'm going to start. We I'm forgot. Gonna and these are <laughs> these are in according to this website uh, www.travelandleisure.com trip ideas space astronomy darkest places in the U.S. and these are in decrease or increasing order of darkness according to them. So let me see. Let me get have to expand this a little bit. So it so starts can... with the most or the least. These, yeah, yeah, it goes from like number 10 to number one, basically. Okay. So let me, I have to make this thing big so my chat will be there. There it is. Okay. Okay. So let's hopefully this. Huh. Okay. So this, this is could you 10. Put, could you put a link? Uh, I'll put a link at the end. Yeah, I'll put Thank a link you. at the end too. Okay. So the 10th darkest place is the Stephen C. Foster State Park International Dark Sky Park in Georgia. Uh, Georgia. Oh, Georgia. Yeah, I just know. Think of Georgia. Georgia? <laughs> I guess you get away Georgia from Georgia was not it's dark. on my mind. That wasn't, yeah. that wasn't was on mine either. Um, the night number nine is Cherry Springs State Park International Dark Sky Park in Pennsylvania. Oh my gosh. Wow. Um, eighth is Great Basin National Park International Dark Sky Park in Nevada. I think a lot of people have a lot of people had Nevada. I think um, number seven is Grand Canyon National Park, International Dark Sky Park, in, and it's in Arizona. Let me get the other ones here. Smaller. Yeah. And then the other ones. Catch them all up. Hopefully this will all copy in. <laughs> kind of annoying on Zoom. You have to have the thing really open to actually have the chat. Okay, so there's that. And then there's the other ones. So there is, okay, so number six is the Catadin Woods and Waters National Monument, International Dark Sky Sanctuary in Maine. Uh, number five is Central Idaho Par Dark Sky Pres Reserve, Interna International Dark Sky Reserve in Idaho. Um, fourth is Death Valley National Park, International Dark Sky oh, Park in geez. California. Third is Glacier National Park, International Dark Sky Park in Montana. Second is Great Sand Dunes National Park and Preserve, International Dark Sky Park in Colorado. Oh. And number one is Big Bend National Park, International Dark Sky Park in Texas. And I put the link in the bottom too. So. Wow. Is this only the lower 48? I was just going to say, what about Alaska? I guess, I yeah, I saw a lot of people picking Alaska and I would think that Alaska would be, but maybe because there wasn't a place there like maybe the really darkest places in alaska you have to have a dog sled or a helicopter or something to get to they aren't a park yet <laughs> and they aren't a park yet i mean places, but they don't count because people don't know about them people don't know about them you know they haven't gone and measured <laughs> it that's i mean the travel and leisure people aren't going to go the, to the this, back, no, back this, of alaska the travel this and list leisure is, people are looking at convenience and you know here's some places, ten places that you could go Places but you go could to go. Anchorage and look at the Northern Lights. Yeah, well, well, Anchorage is not dark because it's lights. Anchorage that's not going to be very dark. Certainly but... not dark. But when they turn no, up, the, but... when they turn, they have to shut the, the Northern, Northern Lights off, is. and then you're good. When they shut the Northern Lights off, it's really dark. Then, if they shut okay. the Northern Lights off, the city is bright. Yeah, Anchorage. <laughs> Anchorage is a real city. I mean, yeah. the, the the darkest yeah. parks are actually the ones in Utah. Um, and there's like four um, designated international dark sky parks in Utah, oh, they, and, yeah. and none of them are on this list. They aren't. Yeah, they're not. <clears throat> well, they are, so, but um, they, they, maybe, they are they are darker than any of these. But maybe they're... that's why I asked what your list was because yeah, yeah. The question is what's you know what list, and this is your yeah. list. Yeah, I saw another list that said that uh, the Death Valley has been the darkest of of all. Yeah, Death Valley Death would be dark. Death Valley is pretty darn good. Death, or Death Valley. Well, pretty I didn't dark. keep track of my team, so if five, somebody else hopefully was doing that because I didn't. So of course we did. Yes. Yeah, good. we got seven. See, there you go. 
Okay. Well, I guess I'll write that down. Thanks to all those uh, correct places in it, the correct states. Exactly. Did all right. <laughs> okay. So, so here we are. Can we score the Seven bonus again? The... Like if we had the place and the state, we got a bonus point up if to you a max of it. 10? <laughs> up, to, up to a max. Well, you no, you only get one extra bonus. So point. we so went we, from we, five to six, Kat. There you go. Okay, so, well, we then, yeah, anyway. so we shouldn't we shouldn't get seven though because we six, should then. get six. Yeah, okay. six is correct. All right, yeah, Mission Impossible. Make Don Jr. look sexy. Five. And Buffy may not be a Saint Marie. Six. Beavis and Butthead permit perjury. Commit perjury. I have that we got four. I got that we have five. 4.5? <laughs> and the trivia team, they don't want you to see. gets zero, right? Yeah, yeah. zero. So we can have a three-way tie. <laughs> Minus one. Leonard, Leonard got eight. Woohoo! Woo <laughs> Leonard got eight. <laughs> All right. See, I, it wasn't as hard as I thought. Good job, Leonard. <laughs> well you guys done. did better than I thought you would. <laughs> you did a lot better than I would have done. Wow, good job. 39 out of 50 possible points. I'm very we pleased. Didn't get last place. Yay. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> that was very good. Good job, team. Go Even with Susan. Can I go back to sleep play. now? You can go yes. to sleep, yes. Kevin. Yes. <laughs> and and morning, move your Kevin. microphone away, Kevin. You're very loud. <laughs> and he's barely I've been away. snoring. <laughs> Don't snore oh. in the microphone. Uh -uh. Good job. Okay. Anybody want to hang out or no? I almost Definitely. fell asleep already, so I'm going to bed. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Are you going to record it so I can watch it later? Well, we're just yeah. going to talk about Psycon briefly. Yeah, I know. I want to see it, but I'm falling asleep. We'll go to sleep. Good night, yeah, but if you don't record it, I'll watch it later. I'll, okay, I'll listen, talk for a little bit. Listen while you sleep. <laughs> It'll be subliminal. Uh, yeah, I, did, about I, I did that on a work conference call. <laughs> the other night, <laughs> did it, you get it the, was. Did it you... went. No, it it started at eight p.m. and went until like six in the morning, and I fell asleep like halfway what? through. Well, I'm, I'm not surprised. surprised. That's a long of conference course. call. Yeah. Well, and it was one of those where my part of the IT work was right at the beginning, and then I'm listening in case I'm needed, in case something comes up, and I'm listening, and I have nothing to do, and I'm listening, and then like, they, have a call? they had How to like wait because I was asleep. Yeah. Was this what? international? Like, were they some other parts of the world? Like, it was daytime where they were? Uh, well, the mm, we have some offshore technicians, but the people doing the work were here in the States. It was just had to be done after hours. Yeah, after hours maintenance. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay. The, yeah. The, the bane of the IT world. Yep. The, the reason why I'm yeah. so anxious to go back to work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm facetious, you guys. <clears throat> Well, you could move to a different. You could like move to move to another country where it'll be daytime. Like Canada. Well, no, I'm thinking more like Australia. Yeah, I I do want to hear stories, so I might just turn my camera off and and lay in bed listening. So we won't know. We'll never know. What stories you guys want to tell? Well, I was curious about the what it was like to have the other um, group there. Remember, that was a new thing, a new factor. Oh, they never showed. No, they, sure they, they, they were there. Well, they were there. Apparently, I didn't see them, but I. They oh, were very I, active with their program. It was good. I have one question: If you didn't gamble, how much did you spend on booze? Not much. <laughs> I didn't drink. I don't know. Probably. Twenty-five dollars or something like that. I, I had a oh, I bought one. Well, so you had one drink. This no, is a really. I got a I got a double <laughs> beer at at tacos and margaritas, and I think I got a, a two double margarita thing another time. I declined no to answer. No drinking. No <laughs> yeah, Robin. And Robin's gonna take the fifth. I had. I don't one. think I actually had one. You took an entire fifth. Think about it. it. <laughs> 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 So Karen's yeah. talking already, about that other group, you guys. Yeah. She's talking about that atheist group. It's with the God illusions. awful movies. God awful movies. Yeah, they. So so, one of the main people had no a, illusion. He was there. They were there because I saw a picture. They said they somebody posted saying they hated the 
the flamingo that the hotel rooms were awful blah 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 and then he had a heart he, like a stroke or a heart attack heart attack he, it looks like yeah yeah, yeah. it's awful he Who did oh shit no, no, all, no illusion no illusion did was that no, illusions yeah i'm Who's very sorry to hear that, that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he's out but he, he was in bad shape yeah he had to go but oh, he made he, it back home i think right he and did yeah he's at he's back home so I what he, he said recovers well yeah so what he said yeah. about the um the hotel was that the toilet paper roll thing fell off the wall the lamps didn't work <laughs> mine on the did too table yeah so. the, the lamps on the side had like the i don't know what what light level that was but it was barely a night light <laughs> that, that was possibly the worst hotel experience i've ever had but four but days, i like i tried to reach Life is okay i tried to reach somebody to come to the room and they kept saying that i'm down no one ever came to yeah. fix anything they took the light out. level oh, should have been the, the bonus point is, for the bonus round yeah the flamingo is going <laughs> yeah. through Kevin, you're a slow ripple Demise. of uh well no of um Renovations, renovations in the hotel yeah. rooms yeah and they're really? just doing it slowly yeah. and the the ones that have been renovated are are not bad the ones that need to be renovated they need to be renovated <laughs> I, I don't know it's if funny. i had a new one or... i think i was renovated because mine wasn't that bad mine yeah, was mine, wasn't yeah mine was okay it was okay yeah. was i mean other than the toilet paper thing and the weird lights next to the bed that it was fine well, um, with no illusion, he said that there was every half hour, there was a rumbling. It was like an earthquake. So he thought he was maybe by the monorail. But somebody said, no, you're not by the monorail. It's the, You're by the elevator shaft. By the elevator shaft. I did hear that once or twice. Yeah. Because the elevator was almost right across the hall from my room. But oh. I it didn't yeah. wake me up or anything. Yeah. That's there was best. one elevator that was See, weird. Said, and it would said. give the wrong said. number I when you said. went up. And it made really scary noises. <laughs> and yeah. and it Here confused John because because it would tell you you were on the seventh floor when you were on the third floor and just, oh, yeah he talked about that too yeah that was yeah. the habitat the really habitat weird. elevators people well, were that going, was a very just ignore first it. trip hotel folks it's old well we're going to be at the horseshoe next year and yeah, that what? when we go went and checked it out Carl and I checked it out it and then we went back over with the food court it looked really nice. Except for the yeah. bathroom, the men's room in the food court looked like it was about 50 years old and never touched since then. And the mm -hmm. other thing you is sure you were in a bathroom. Walkway. Well, they have a whole year to fix it. <laughs> that, that walkway at the horseshoe is just like it was at Bally's. Actually, well, it was Bally's. it's really dark. Yeah. yeah. I really don't like that. I walked yeah. back through there alone without you guys after walking oh. over there, and I wore my tinfoil hat the whole way back. <laughs> Nobody's going to keep that. people away from you. And the most oh, and you're fine. thing Hi, was Kevin. people watching, Hi, looking at you. Like, what kind of looks did you get? Wait, are you talking about you walked back on the street the way we walked over? Or no, did I you... didn't go the way we went. I walked... Okay. I through walked the, the length of the hotel and down to the strip and back to so I walked the long way. Yeah. yeah. So it was with that, they had you guys who didn't go, they have uh, a Grand Prix or something coming in. Oh, F1, yeah. And it, it was horrible. It was just they've got these giant stands they're mm -hmm. building and walkways and everything's just a mess. They've like, like being, built temporary road off. bridges over yeah that really made it awful i hope the, they the uber people that. hated it yeah oh it's and driving yeah. driving was terrifying well i'm glad i didn't drive because that did look oh awful. my god getting getting in and out well i you got gotta be to, aggressive right now i got to the area around the strip when i drove in at about a quarter to five i didn't park in the um flamingo lot until 5 30. I got caught in, you know, just stop and stop traffic mm -hmm. on 15. My navigation system kept telling me to go places that didn't exist anymore. Um, it was just, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Ours, ours did coming. that too. And we wanted to find a grocery store and she accidentally got us off the freeway and I was delighted. And so then we go driving around town and apparently Gail, tell me, uh, is there like kind of a segregated 
section of town. We got to some West Side grocery store, and we were the only white people in there. The I don't West Side is historically black. Yeah, it's it's not oh, okay. it's not an official segregation. It's that you know people tend to live where they used to live, and their families. Right. Yeah, and I was just surprised. The newer neighborhoods that, are not like that. Yeah, so we went to the grocery store there. You know, it was fine. I have two neighbors in my on my block. One is Asian and one is one is black. Mm -hmm. So, well, this grocery store, we were the only white people there. Um, but. <laughs> But the lady who checked us out was very nice and helped get us oriented so that we could get back to the strip without going on the freeway. But John insisted at one point that we go right instead of left, which I knew would get us where we needed to go. And I accidentally ended up back on the damn freeway. It was yeah, horrible. It was, fun. It was well, really hard. Uh, asked me. Yeah, you know, Brandy's there. Yeah, the the next year. With me, but there there was no no place because the seats were full of a next cooler, year I'm probably gonna get food a box hotel. and a dish box. What brandy? The next year I'm probably gonna get a hotel room because I missed a few talks that I wanted to see in the morning because oh. I just couldn't make it in time. Oh, um right, yours okay. was one of them because oh. I was stopping to get Starbucks that took forever. Are you talking and about then, Sunday? Did you, did you see Adrian's talk? Were you there earlier? Yes. That? I, I, I came in the middle of yours, but they also moved yours earlier. Yeah. Or, yeah. That's yeah. something that I'm going to be uh, saying to Barry. Talking about the Sunday yeah, papers. That's, that's you guys. a valid complaint. Yeah. Sunday oh. papers. Because it, it was they, a half were hour. They were late. actually recorded, though, right? Because I couldn't no. go back. No. Yeah. Well, I think uh, uh, Ray told me they were recorded. I so said that they were he said that last year, year, but they never released them. So mm. I don't know. Like we the were already planning to them to release them because I really wanted to see them, and I thought this year I was going to be able to. I used to when I stayed in the hotel. <laughs> I have Susan, them. Susan recorded them. Susan and if recorded. we're going to complain about the hotel, I was planning to stay in the hotel, but I I have obviously, as you all know, if you've seen me, I have some physical issues, and I can't climb onto these tall high beds. I can't even. Oh yeah. Them. And I well, asked they make, for they make I asked beds. for a reclining chair, and they don't have them. They don't they make the small beds? All right. Well, low beds because they just went maybe, to a hotel. But they have a limited number, and they won't oh. promise them. That's right. why I canceled the room. The only reason I kept the room was because of what Brandy said. We have to get up at five o'clock in the morning to get there in time. Yeah. Yeah. That's so did point. they change the time on the Sunday papers? Yeah. The, online, oh. it was one time. And on the paper that was in our package, it was another time. Yeah, I don't know if they changed it or it was just a printing error, but there was yeah. a discrepancy. And a half hour I, discrepancy. I found yeah, out. Every, everyone should have been there at nine anyway. So uh, was I was there. I, well, I, st I did not want to miss Rob's talk, but I was coming down the hall a little bit late and ran into Richard Wiseman and I needed to talk to Richard Wiseman about how we've resolved the Jerry Andrus collection. Mm. And it was the first time I had had a chance to. Oh, what did he say? Anything interesting? Oh, we have blessing from, from Richard and from Massimo Polodoro, both of whom had previously been advising me. And so he was like, yeah, that is an, excellent resolution and and good. uh yeah well that's good given so, given it to joshua jay's what i felt i felt better because we've worked long and hard on this yeah we have haven't we <laughs> and yeah and susan has two <laughs> two years so, yeah um so well, good. did um well, we did longer yeah well did um what did you guys think of the the Ken Frazier? Um, I was sitting up in front because I wanted to record the Sunday papers, and I don't normally sit in the front. And I was sitting there, and Ruth was next to me, Ruth Frazier. Yeah. So they get up and they did the bowels, uh, bowels, 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 and I'd completely forgotten about that. 
and I wanted to record it because what I'll do is I'll put it on Wikipedia. And then here comes the slideshow and I filmed everything and I'm glad I did. And I filmed that and I'm crying through the I was crying my eyes out. I was like, crying I too. And, and I didn't even pictures know with me and there was a picture of me and um Ken Frazier that I that was taken of us at one of the Monterey County skeptic things. And it was a beautiful photo. I had it all nice and cropped. Oh, was that when he was here? <coughs> and, and I and I I don't know why that got in, but I think when he died, I think I might have submitted a whole bunch of photos. I can't even remember. And and uh, that came up on the screen, and I was like, "Oh my gosh!" And yeah, I, I heard was, you gasp audibly. Did I'm you? Sitting two seats over. Yeah. Yep. Did you? Carl said he heard me cry. I was like, oh. "But uh, Ruth was strong." I guess she, she was she, amazing, unbelievable. She was great. Ruth is she had great. her. I think she's already. Um dealt with it well you know it was like she said he should have died 20 years ago mm -hmm. so you know every year and every month that he lives after that so she was just so strong she was just I mean, like i, I yep, was in him. i was in albuquerque for um the memorial service Funeral. um the memorial. and um she was incredibly strong then as well uh she she's great she's also lost her daughter as yeah. as uh yeah as died, adrian knows young. As Adrian mm -hmm. well knows, and it was so nice to meet Ruth. Did oh my she, goodness! I kind of she, teared up just talking to you her. You had you had you had met her before. Not but in you, person. You had um, you had communicated with uh, yeah with them. Yeah, mm -hmm. she. They, they I gave told me her you were here, and she said, "Oh, that's yeah. great." So she did like connect you, yeah, the person yeah. in front with the Wikipedia page. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah. yeah no, they're, we they're, we talked. They're on great the people. I can't remember when I actually, I think I talked with her on the first day, on Thursday night or whenever. Okay. No, it was, uh, she didn't yeah. show up till. I don't think she showed, she showed up. up till Friday. Well, she okay. came in and, and it was For, lunch The first hour. day she was there. I, I, I It was perfect because it was lunch hour and she was going to go get her name tag and they were closed. So she came into the room where I, I used to just eat mm. at my desk or eat at the table for the lunch right. time and go get a piece of pizza and come back or something. And she came in and we sat, uh, Greg Rowe from Santa Cruz Skeptics, mm -hmm. I think it was I, might have been one more person there. And we just sat there and talked to her and it was amazing. I wanted to cry, you know, it mm -hmm. was just like, oh my gosh, you know, she, she's she, great. She I told her when I was awesome. writing the Wikipedia page for their daughter, I cried a lot because <laughs> uh -huh. I felt like I got to know their family, right? Yeah. It was just like, it was yeah. very very personal so her son was there christopher i'd never met him yeah. um did did you get to talk to him adrian yeah i did yeah yeah and so I, he knows about him. you wow yeah that was yeah. interesting so anybody who doesn't know who's watching this right now we're talking about kenneth frazier who's the um was the longtime editor of skeptical inquiry magazine for what 40 years 45 45 well, that was amazing right yeah so and not not kenneth Kendrick. Oh, Kendrick. Kendrick. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, and I know that. Um, yeah. And Stephen Hupp, I just feel like they made the best choice. He's so amazing. He's, he's so just, gracious. He's funny. And oh he, God. he participated. He just felt like he's a perfect replacement for. Yeah. He's, for he's great. Yeah. Ken, it just and felt he like Richard Wiseman on Richard Wiseman. That was I so that was good. That was and so I cool. That. I filmed so the end of that. I didn't film the whole thing, but Carl has pictures of. I have pictures Ralph of him, yeah, with the color changing. Yeah, me too. I, I yeah, was I did, sitting I didn't right next to Carl. The, shirt. the first roll, I didn't notice anything. I didn't either, yeah. and I was in the front row. You're colorblind, so you wouldn't. Well, have. no, those were extreme <laughs> colors. I, I would have, I could have seen. Yeah, it. I, I, I noticed the the change in the uh, in the bottle, Gatorade bottle. Yeah, yeah, um, but I, I did not notice. I didn't see him change his shirt. I had, that shirt I was notice, so bright after the I did dull notice one. The, I so, did notice that the color was different, but did I didn't he, remember when it happened. Did he turn around or something and do nope. that and pull something off? No. Do you know, know I think he just, when when Wiseman wasn't looking, he just pulls. Yeah. You know, what happened is I had a conversation. So people who are listening to this later or who weren't there. So Richard cares Weissman about them? is a. Didn't he drop something and pick it up? No, no. I, I'll, bet, I'll bet that's what he did. Go ahead, yeah. Susan. Yeah. Richard Weissman is an op, uh, expert at optical illusions, mm -hmm. and he has a website 
and book and YouTube channel for called Ecology. Ecology. Yeah. And so one of his most famous videos is called The Color Changing Card Trick. And, and the trick happens in front of you and you think it's a card trick, but actually it involves colors changing. And so um, Stephen Hupp, who's not, he said he was super nervous. He thought of doing this at the last time, like that morning for his talk. He arranged for objects to change color as he was doing, as the panel was happening. And the Richard Weissman sitting right next to him. So I thought it was probably wrong to challenge Richard Weissman to say, did you see anything happen? Because Weissman can't really see the front of the guy's shirt and some of the other, and the back of the thing. The whole, the whole curtain behind right all to, of them change color. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so there were certain things. So he said, did I fool you to Richard Weissman, who didn't seem too thrilled about it, but he should have said to the <laughs> audience, did I fool you? Because the audience is looking at him. So I'm at an angle. I'm shooting from from a like an I guess a 45 degree angle. So I really couldn't see some of the stuff. I could see the Gatorade bottle, but that's about all I could see. But he ends up pulling off the trip at trick, and he's so nervous, and it was excellent. And I and I filmed the end of it, like I said, because I thought, what's this about? And I filmed it, and um, I went and talked to him later. And his shirt, he took the shirt and ripped it, and right. Yeah, here he is. Yeah. So you see him? This is the end. No, that's the beginning. No, this is the beginning. Okay, see, here he is on the very... Wait, go back again. Okay, that's blue, him right there on the left. Blue Gatorade, gray that's shirt. That's Richard Weissman standing yeah. and the, up. And the backdrop is what color? Blue or purple? Purple. 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 With so got, things. Then here's another <laughs> picture. And then now look. Now he's got oh, a two of them. Gatorade well, that, and that's, a red when, shirt. that's when he showed it. Yeah. He didn't oh. ever have two at the same time. So and he's, oh, he's got the red, red shirt and the green background. Right. Yeah. The background wouldn't have noticed because I thought it changed all the time, didn't they, it? Yeah, it they did. frequently changed that. Mm -hmm. so yeah, that but then Weissman much, wasn't much, looking at it. Much he's looking the other way. And he also had a different color band. Color balance band. For their camera. He had a band on his hand that was different. I, it was right. the the what he replaced it with was really sparkly. The first <laughs> yeah. one was really dull, and then the second right, one was right, right. sparkly. Yeah, it was really clever. Yeah, he it, a, it did. It was great. He had a great Halloween costume. Also, he came in as skeptical. Really of good. Art magazine of really twenty thirty six or something. The, the best costumes were Carl's and mine. <laughs> I thought Carl's was great. <laughs> that was Carl's. really clever. And you didn't really even clever. plan it. Yeah, very clever. There was a lot of really good stuff. I didn't like um, Wabinger's Mitchell's costume, the citation needed thing. That was weird. Yeah. I didn't know what the heck okay. he was wearing. I was like, what? If you have to explain it, it was XKCD. Yeah. yeah and it's not exactly 1960s. <laughs> no. No, I was a little. But it was kind of skeptical. He, he, he has said, a tendency, I, I, though, to ignore <coughs> the the theme. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah I don't, said, I don't said, remember Wikipedia from the, or XKCD from the 1960s. No. But he said, um, he thought I would appreciate it, so because like, it's Wikipedia. Wikipedia. I, I don't get it. How is it Wikipedia? I've seen. I've seen. Citation needed. Citation needed. He was in a white, just a big white. It was XKCD. That was the XKCD stick figure, and he was stick referring figure. to a is, specific what comment. What is XKCD? Oh, it's a comic. Rob. What is that? You Turn don't in your know nerd card. What is that? Yeah, Rob. Rob, I I envy you, because you get to learn about XKCD. Yeah. Yeah, oh, look at that time. XKCD. Is that, so, this is, is a, a weird one for you to not know about to me. Like so, Rob, it's, it's it's a it's web brilliant. Comic. Yeah, it's brilliant. And it's hilarious. What, look up what citation you, needed XKCD, or just look up XKCD. XKCD, yeah. and and something to know about Rob: hover your mouse over the comic because things will pop up in, from various places. It's not just what you see. There's oh, I didn't know that. Oh yeah, got to know the secrets of XKCD. Oh, it's like the XKCD like standards, XKCD them. passwords, XKCD password generator. No what? cartoon. Cartoon. X. Cartoon. X Just typing XKCD. A C. Yeah, there you go. D. Wait, Brandy's got the book. Oh, she's got everything. All the books. <laughs> all the all the what ifs. Yeah. <laughs> KCD under the stars and thing explainer. Yeah, no one else is shocked. Rob doesn't know this. This would be like Carl <laughs> saying he doesn't know back. No, to the I don't know what it is. And I'm going to say good night because it's getting late. Good night. You need right, to go and look at look up XKDC website. So Ben has it in the chat. Rob, Ben <laughs> has it in the chat. Oh, I don't have the chat open. Okay. Good night. Yep.
Good night. Good night. Good night. I got to go. Good night. What have a great, is, have a great week. I'll have her over. I understand. Bye, Deborah. X- XKCD.com. Deborah. And I'm also, Heather looked like a million bucks. Oh, she Heather? looks so good. I love her outfit. Heather, yeah. Heather Hedinson. Oh, Heather. Yeah, she yeah. looked great. Yeah, she looked. I, oh, wait till you see the pictures I have of her. I haven't put them up. I've got some awesome. I, I'm still working on the pictures. I haven't gotten Halloween yet. I haven't. I mean, why, why don't party. Heather and Kathy come and play um, trivia with us? Well, Heather yeah. has back issues. She has a lot of health yeah. issues. And I think yeah, sitting yeah, is a full on. Kathy, Kathy's not going to do it. She and Kathy's a, um, Kathy is a pharmacist in Michigan. And she works the night shift. But only every um, other week. So she yeah. might be able to play every other week. Yeah. Okay. But she Maybe. can't play this week. I sure loved her coat she was wearing around. It was like a multicolored coat. She found coat. that in the hospital. I know. Uh, is that crazy? It was a really nice coat. You, I heard I heard several people tell me how much they appreciated the video that Adrian and Rob and I did. Did you, oh. did you hear anything from people? No. no, nobody. I got into the elevator with one guy and I just went two floors and I was, I was really out of it. I was tired and that was my zone. He, and I thought he was just a regular person at the conference. And I got out of the elevator, walked out and I got like three steps out and he yells out at me. Thank you so much for doing that video. I really a lot. He says, this place is a maze. It's crazy. And I turned around and I looked at him his, and it turned out to be somebody I met later. His name is Anthony. And he had just, it was early morning. He had just come from CVS and he had a bag of cereal. You can see through this. Just like what jack. you recommended. Yeah. He had cereal and all sorts of stuff, milk and stuff in the bag. And I said, oh my gosh, you listened. He says, oh, it was, that was excellent. And then I had other people were saying stuff about, um, I remember Rob said he was super chap. His lips were so chap. Yeah. Yeah, he said you got to take chapstick and yeah. and lotion, yeah, air conditioning, yeah, because it's just awful. It's hard on your body. And then I heard several people say, "Well, Susan warned us to make sure we bring a jacket, <laughs> brought a jacket, you know." And then uh, Dunning on the last day at breakfast, he said, "And I'm still doing my lips because my yeah. lips are chapped still." And Dunning on the last day, we were out to breakfast and we're paying, and he's like, "What's this about cash? I don't carry cash because yeah. we all had cash, right? Except for Robin." And it was funny because I said, well, that was in one of our tips, you know, to make yeah. sure you bring cash. In fact, it even said on the Facebook announcement that we were going to yeah. prep. Because he goes, and I said that it was a two hour video. He goes, I'm not going to watch a two hour video. And I said, well, then you're not going to know the tips, are you? Because <laughs> there was a lot of really good stuff. Because you know what? When we did that video, we showed maps and we're like, yeah. get out of the elevator, turn right. There's where you are. You know, people, people People said they got lots of uh, tips out of it. Oh, here it is. Yeah, that's an excellent picture. Look at him. That's his wife, and she's a fortune teller who's going to win in the future. Look at him, that beautiful, the way he did the picture, the uh, the Skeptical Inquirer magazine article. Uh, The the fine print on the magazine is very clever, too. Can't read all of it here, but pigs shown to fly. uh, Finally, Bigfoot's found. Stuff like that. Really clever. Yeah. He's a funny guy. Yeah, Yeah, he's good. But he he was also so gracious to me. Right he um, he, we were I guess it was at the Thursday night opening reception, and he came over and introduced himself to me, and we were talking, and he he asked me to and a few other people to write some bits about various speakers, and he had gone to Kenny Biddle's talk, and I was raving about the afternoon talk with Richard Wiseman and he said oh you went to that and I went yeah and I said it was great and he said oh well I'm gonna get you to write about that too and I said only (laughs) if you increase my my pay grade (laughs) (laughs) which is you know zero dollars and I said well I think we can we can easily double it yeah that's (laughs) what I said you could afford to double it and he laughed he bought me a drink (laughs) I don't know was really nice he didn't have to do that in fact i was ter- i was terrified because he said go go up there it was a big long line he says you go up there and pick out what you want because i hadn't eaten anything and i needed to get something to eat and he said you and then you go and get your stuff to eat so i went and looked and saw the prices and was horrified and i went back to him and said you don't need to buy me a drink he says no i'm going to buy you a drink it's too expensive and he says you just you go away 
you go and eat so i'm the editor of skeptical inquiry now i should be able to buy really nice i'm like oh my god i don't even know this guy (laughs) he's buying me he's a good guy yeah yeah so um remember that when you get your survey you should all be getting a survey for you know the conference that Uh say nice things Hmm? say nice things well, what I want you guys to make sure anybody who watched the movie, the uh, Dunning's movie, and went to the George Rob sing along. Oh my God! Say remember it, yeah. that CSI paid for that room, and that's not yeah, cheap. That was very nice. They did that so that those two events could happen. It's really good, and that wasn't something they had to do, and they've never done in the past. Correct. So yeah. um, just be be thankful and tell them how much you appreciate that they well, did. Well, the that. other thing that I really appreciated. Because at the end of last year, uh, or when we did the survey, one of the things that happened last year was they just had really short lunch hours in between. And okay. remember the Saturday, how we ended up I trying it was to the eat? Same as, it was the same as this, wasn't it? No, no I don't think it was. It no, was longer, longer this year. He made it there longer. There was actually time to get food this year. Yes, there was time Still to get it food. Took forever. It was so much better. I was so appreciative of that. Just being able to have a mm-hmm. chance to chat with people. And I know, but the problem is, is then you have less speakers. I don't well, think so. Even they just go a little later. No, actually, they just shortened the talks. Yeah. Oh. No, the talks were all half an hour last year. Yeah. Maybe last year, but they, the, yeah. the doing the half hour talks really forces the uh, speakers to to think about what they're going to say. But they've had half an hour talks all all along. <laughs> it was good. Well, so. not all along. Last year was the first time. Was it last year the first oh, time? I think they were half an hour before that. I was going to say twenty eighteen. I thought. I think yeah, it was whatever. Half yeah, an hour. My, my, re- my recollection was the first time I came twenty seventeen. They were uh, almost an hour, and then they cut um, it back. But I'm not I don't positive. Know. Well, the point is, is that that there was a long breaks, but still the 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 flamingo mm. makes it really hard, and I'm so glad we're leaving there to that. Yeah. We, the other place. Let's, let's hope it's better. Yeah. yeah, it should be better to be able to do it. The other thing that I really hope that they'll do, and and I I'm just going to highly encourage you guys to write this on your on your surveys so that we can influence it a little bit. <laughs> is I really want Thursday to have more workshops and I, cause I think they can make money. I mean, they're all sold out. Yeah. So, um, well, the very first one that I was well, at, how do you have more workshops? You have two rooms and you can choose. And that's the very that first before. year was like that. Yeah. 2018, they had, they had four workshops and you choose two. Right. Right. They also have a, like what Adrian and I were talking about is could we do one during the break during that lunch? I, I would have given up the time to do it but they said that the hotel wanted to reset the room but i don't think you'd have to do that much resetting i mean it, it's not that big a deal if there's it doesn't have to be perfect and pristine but i think they could squeeze in more workshops and i think that they would make more because it seems like you would be able to sell them because they're obviously people are trying to get in at the last they- minute they sold out. So that's yeah, good. they sold well, out quickly. If I remember right. 2018, of course, it's a long time ago. So you know what memory's like. But from what I remember, the four still sold out when they had four of them. Yeah. I remember yeah, they were some still of them sold out. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that right. they could sell them out. See everybody. Good night. Good night. So I think they could sell them out. They have to be careful about their topics, obviously. Like <laughs> the topics they chose this year, I thought were excellent. Or they could do those same people twice yeah so then so they could teach a class them. twice so that you have yeah you so you don't miss it so you yep. could you know i mean that's possible I don't yeah know yeah do t- i think that richard wiseman that one um would have probably sold out twice and i bet kenny biddle would have sold out twice yeah yeah and i think i think that's a good money maker and, that's a really good idea and getting people there early also helps because when you have people they're early they're more bonded with each other yeah. because you're sitting in those rooms and you're interacting with other people and i think that that's that's a plus so um people have a better conference experience mm-hmm. and then they're just there early instead of you know people keep trying to get in and cheat i almost call it cheating you know like they're like oh yeah well i gotta be at work on monday and it's like you monday you, you you're crap you know if you yeah. leave sunday night 
Yeah, you're at work on Monday, but you're not doing anything because you just feel like crap because you're it, you've been giving up. If so it much. wasn't, huh? if it wasn't so if it wasn't so close to the end of the month, I would have taken Monday off. It was rough coming back. Yeah, that's what yeah. I mean. Uh, so it just it, it's, it's people kind of get over the idea that somehow or the other you're just going to have to find a way of missing work because you know. So if you can, if you can throw more work into another area of the week earlier or or put off project or something because trying to just get in and get out is so hard and i think a lot of people feel like oh man i miss so much look at everybody still here and i'm leaving you know so um i think by having thursday would probably bring people in because there was a lot of people show up on friday like because they don't know any better because i think that's when the conference starts mm. So some people, so I should say, some people are doing it for economic reasons. Yeah. Some people are doing it because they have to because of work. And some people just think that the conference is like a, you know, eight hour thing. They don't understand that there's conferences happening. Almost. Well, and Rob and I certainly talked about how 20 hours. they don't really advertise those Sunday papers. I mean, it wasn't <coughs> even online until... I think Monday or Tuesday was it? Yeah, Rob? two days before. I about how many people you think were there? I was going to count, but I was. I counted count. in the pictures that I saw, and it looks like about a hundred. I thought it looked like it from the angle I was at. I thought at least two hundred. They're just really spread out. They're spread out, but I can't actually physically counted the ones in the pictures, but I couldn't see everything. So maybe, maybe it was have, a bit um, more. <coughs> yeah, because there's a lot of people mingle in the back too. Right, I couldn't see them, so and that I'm not was a shame them. that it was only two hundred or one hundred because that those were superb. I didn't like the panel where you guys stood on the stage. That was awkward. It was, I, I was really surprised. I thought they were going to bring up chairs like they did last year for you. Yeah, Rob. they did chairs last year. Yeah. yeah. Well, and then they ran yeah. off with the mics and wrote the audience with the mics, and <laughs> nobody could hear anybody. I'm like, come on, guys, give us a mic and just leave it up here. <laughs> yeah. So and I thought papers nobody's going to ask me any questions. It's great. They're going to ask everybody else. And I was upset because there. they kept asking the last person who was on stage. And it's yeah. probably because everybody in their mind is like, yeah. they're, they're fried. And yeah. so the only thing they can remember is the last <laughs> talk. Person. But then the question that I got, I thought was excellent. Yeah, that was a good question. What was, was the question? Right? It was, um, have you got any plans to actually go to the Oh house? yeah, and you, and you and, sure had an answer. <laughs> like basically explain to them that they're uh, wrong yeah and he yeah. said go but he also said go into the bookstore go into the souvenir shop and leave stuff there in the books like he said <laughs> i don't i don't bookmarks. know about that but yeah <laughs> i thought that was quite funny <laughs> um yeah, you know, I had a good uh, the the question. I I didn't. I was getting to the end. I might have been the last question. I didn't think they were asking <laughs> question. But somebody basically challenged it. Well, how do you know basically that it, that that's not really what happened? You know, so mm -hmm. it was a little bit challenging. So that was okay. Did you guys get any comments? Much like I I think Adrian got a lot of comments from people saying, "I've been to the Winchester Mystery mm -hmm. House many times. I had no idea yeah. that was." I heard true. people saying that. Did you? Get I think that? I I think my favorite thing. Was, he did well, a talk on things. the Winchester Mystery House and Sally Winchester. Sally Winchester particularly, right? With regards to the house. With Sarah Winchester. Sa yeah, Sarah Winchester. So the two things I think my highlights were after that ended and I was walking down, I guess I was leaving. I don't know what I was doing. But Stephen Hupp came up to me and said, shook my hand and said, congratulations, well done. Nice. It George, was well George Harab also congratulated me twice for it. So I was like, and Ross Blotcher sent me a note saying, great talk. We've been wanting to do the Winchester Mystery House for a long time. And I had no idea that they were that far off base. <laughs> So that would be a wonderful episode. They might even interview you on. They might, yeah. That would be good, yeah. That was, well, was I know more than Dunning now. Yeah, this standing <laughs> thing was awkward. It was weird. So there, there's all the Sunday speakers, and during SciCon, I had dinner with every single one of those people. That's so great. <laughs> uh, and, you know, the guy on the far right with the beard, the really tall guy, the, uh, the goatee? Rodney, I'm yeah. having coffee with him on December 15th. Oh, so talk yeah. about connections there? isn't that awesome how you make these little connections it's just yeah. awesome well to just... what's december 15th 
well, he's coming down from Edmonton. He's doing a talk at Telespark. And he said, I'm coming down. I don't know when I'll be available, like earlier in the day, day before, day after. I don't know what he's doing. He doesn't quite know what his timeline is, but he said, I'm coming down. Do you want to have coffee? And I went, absolutely. You just let me know where and when, and I'll be there. So <laughs> Jane, can, do you want to, do you want to share the little coincidence thing you told me? That was so interesting. What's that? About, about Tennessee. Oh, about Erica. Yeah, kind of neat. Um, so yeah, Erica, what's her last name? How do you pronounce it? Um, okay, yeah. Um, so we went to lunch and we were uh, talking, and she um, she lives in Knoxville, and I said, "No kidding, um, I'm from Knoxville." Um, and, uh, it turns out that, um, she lives, well, well, so, so I, I grew up there and then I now own a house there because my dad recently died and now I own his house, which I need to go there and clean it out. And, um, and so it turns out that we live, uh, or that my house is like, sort of like in the same neighborhood, like, right. Hmm. Almost kind of across the street, sort of in a way um, from where she lives. So um, yeah. And you That's know, great. size of the town. And so, yeah. The odds must be crazy. Kind of a, yeah, kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> from where you grew up and from where your dad lives. Yeah. Well, same house, right? Yeah. Same house. That was really bizarre. I thought, what? I didn't yeah. talk to her at all. I mean, there were so many. It isn't it funny how we there was so many people we didn't interact with. Yeah. Know? So we were talking about like all the like little neighborhood things and things you know around there. Yeah. So yeah. So we plan to yeah when I go back and clean the house out and uh yeah we're gonna get together and everything. Yeah. Then she's we don't have a Tennessee group back there. Mm -hmm. That'd be. <laughs> to have somebody like that out there yeah i was really surprised to hear that she lives in knoxville because i don't know of anyone uh in in that area that's... and then also for you to connect when you're at the conference it was just a lot of people off, the, off of the cuff kind of thing yeah. you know that she's the Jane just happened to be talking about where you live and, or whatever you know what i mean it yeah, was i dragged was... her to lunch with us because yeah, um, ran into her outside the bathrooms and I wanted to tell her, you know, that how much I loved her book and her talk and everything. And um, she just seemed like she didn't really know anyone and or have a place to go. And so I was like, what well, group of us are going to lunch if you want to come? That's, That's nice. The best part yeah. is including, there were several people that we included in our in our little I hate clicks, as you mm -hmm. guys know, yeah. <laughs> uh, but we probably do feel like a click because we all know each other so well. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, you know, you're trying to, I mean, we use so many in phrases and jokes and stuff like that because that's <laughs> just natural amongst friends. But it's like you try to tone it down a little bit when you have somebody who's not in there because you want them to feel included. But mm -hmm. it was hard to. You know, people, we'd get it wherever and there'd be everybody talking at once and having a great time. And then you'd see somebody kind of sitting off to the side. I'm like, and sit with us, you know, and they come over and they sit and, you know, they were always very appreciative that they mm -hmm. got to feel like they were in the group. And I, of course, I want them there, but we had, we had a lot of people I would see and you don't even get a chance to talk to. And I thought, there goes that person that, I keep seeing, but I don't, I haven't had a chance to talk to them at all. And it was, it's well, once they find their way, they're pretty good. Like, look at my roommate, Kelly. Oh, talk oh, about her. You, yeah, I mean, talk about her like in a nice way, not like, let's talk about her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Wait, Kelly, that. did we know? I'm recording. No, this is Kelly. This is a new Kelly, Kelly uh, Marin. Marin. Marin, yeah. So she was the one that, asked Susan, reached out to Susan regarding speaking to her class at her post-secondary school Utah in Utah. And she is, she's the one that asked the question, if you remember when the, of the panel, was that on yeah, Saturday? Mind. I have it. I videoed it. Yeah. 
about what track you know you've done this the study about the pandemic but what track what track were the professors on were they at the beginning of their career or at the end of their career because me at the beginning of the career I have to be really careful about what I teach and I can't you know kind of push the boundaries very much and uh Kelly or Katie all these K's Katie said what a great question we hadn't thought of it but I'm going to look into that now because she didn't know the answer as to where they were all, all the professors were that took part in the study yeah because you can't push it too far if you're trying to get tenure yeah, exactly so anyway kelly contacted susan to speak in at her class about psychics or to her class about psychics I, i'm assuming susan that you just said are you going to psych on what you're not well, going to say she said she wanted she said she's doing a pseudoscience she's teaching a class on critical yeah. thinking yeah. and then it came out that she doesn't know anybody in our community yeah and i thought well and then she wrote back after my talk i mean you know to her classroom she says do you have any other ideas and you know who i could talk to and i thought well why are you asking me you know because i'm thinking to myself there's the we've been doing this for a while now in our community there's a lot of people who teach this but i'm not in that world i'm not a teacher or anything like that mm. so i don't know i said i said to her in the email why are you reinventing the wheel there's people out there who's already got the syllabus and they have the mm-hmm. experience and they have all the everything's done and we could hook you up with any like melanie any and... you could possibly imagine <clears throat> Yeah. And and she was here in the class year, still trying to do it, but it was her first year teaching. Yeah. And this class, I I guess she taught other places, but she, I said, well, why don't you go to PsychCon and then I can introduce you can meet people who are. And she's like, like PsychCon, like she and said, she had no idea, no idea. I sent yeah. her, uh, I I hooked her up with Craig Foster, because mm. they're he's so nice and generous, mm-hmm. and he does teach and he has taught a class on critical thinking and so she she emailed him and then when she so what happened is i said to her um would you want to go and she looked at the website and she says i'd love to go but this is like three weeks before psycon mm-hmm. and i said uh she says my my school won't pay for it I don't know. If short notice, late notice, or if it's yeah. because she might get new. a little bit because she asked me for the receipts today, so she might get a little bit. Mm-hmm. And I told her, "Would you go if we could help you pay for it?" And she says, "I'm only two hours away because she takes a bus. It's, she's in San Martin or Saint Martin or someplace. I thought she was in Salt Lake City, which is five hours away." And she says, "I will go if." And I said, "Then I asked around who has a roommate." need a roommate and Adrian said have you ever did you find a roommate for this person yeah. so that that cut you know the cost down for her hotel room I said okay can I, if I can get the conference fee waived will you go and you know you're sharing a room with somebody and she says yes I will go and it was like oh really at the last minute maybe yeah. five days before yeah. so I paid for their ticket 300 and almost 400 dollars and then I put up on Facebook, hey, can some people help? And I didn't want to say her name and I didn't want to tag her because I didn't want to embarrass her or anything. And you know, we got a little over $200 mm-hmm. and then um, somebody else donated the rest of the money who told me ahead of time that they would pay for it if if I didn't come up with the full things. So I'm not out of cost. My nonprofit isn't out of money, but mm-hmm. we threw it together in the last minutes. Yeah. And, and she was the person so... That shows up. And and she showed up and she showed up. I mean, she talk said, about energy. The first yeah. night she's like, I mean, she's asking me all these questions and it was great, right? I mean, that's that's what you want. And she was so excited and so enthusiastic. And then she uh, asked that question. So, uh, you know, in the audience. And then I had breakfast with Ray and hey. Katie the next day. And... I said, hey, you know that girl that stood up 
and asked that question and they went, yes. And I said, well, that's my roommate. And this is her situation. She's first year teaching, da, 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 da. And it just so happened, <laughs> I love her. She locked herself out of the room. She forgot her key. And so she thought, I've got to go find Adrian. And she found me. She didn't text me or anything because she didn't have her phone. I think she locked herself out. Mm. And she found me in the restaurant and she said, oh, I need the key. And I introduced her to Ray and Katie. And then Katie's like, oh cool and she and and then she texted her right away and there was that dinner panel that they were having on saturday night With the, to talk the about the direction teach, yeah of critical thinking and pseudoscience and at post-secondary level they included her she was thrilled she said it was awesome <laughs> so- yeah she, she wrote to me later and she says i have made so many contacts and i've made so much she's like this was beyond and then meeting bill nye yeah I mean, you know, she was just like over the moon. Yeah. It it felt amazing to be able to put this it's, together. And, and to was- help her out like that. And then for her to also not only take advantage of it, but to run with it. I mean, yeah, she I wasn't would like, never... oh, I'll do it next year yeah. when yeah. I have some more time. She has I like would a never have stood up. I would never have stood up and asked a question at my first psych on ever. Oh, come on. I would not have. Oh, you wouldn't, but yeah. Some people, she was, <laughs> she, she was one of those Who's doer types. Where was she from? Where Utah was she Tech. from? Utah. Utah. Yeah. So, so then that was the other amazing thing is I put together this group with Brandy and uh, Santa Cruz skeptic, uh, Daniel Reed in West Virginia and Shane in Utah. These are four people. Oh, and Carolyn. And, you know, they're all in the same kind of category of people. They don't have hardly any attendees. And months ago, I put them in a group on Facebook and they've been talking with each other. Mm -hmm. So when they got there, they all knew each other kind of, you know, I was just like, this is them. And they're like, oh, you're that person. Because, you know, they could look at each other and and they were at my table almost the whole time. Shane and um, Greg and Daniel, and they seemed to have amazing time. And they felt so inspired and people were going, you're in West Virginia. I need to talk to you. I'm in, you know, and, and Utah had a really great showing. There was a lot of people from Utah that were like making contacts. Michael Bigelow, who's, who used to be one of my GSOW editors from China. He's now living in, okay. Bye Lee. Bye. And um, he goes like, I'm going to go. And then, um, and he's been, he started a skeptics group just a couple months ago in, in Utah, but in the same city that um, Kelly's in. So all these Utah people were just like making contacts with each other. It was really great. It was just like, oh, I don't know. Oh, uh, do you see what Lee says in there? I'm yeah. sold. We'll try yeah. and make it next year. <laughs> of course he's going to go. Of course he's going to go. There's no way he's not going to go. It's well, they don't take awesome. llamas at the horseshoe. No. <laughs> I wish he could bring one of his dogs, though. There, were, uh, did you see that? What's his face? Um, the London brought his dogs. They were so that was so cute. Oh my! He goodness. said he had to pay a lot extra because of the hotel mm-hmm. for him, but okay. you know, beats keeping him in a kennel, and you know, oh, they're yeah. just really so sweet. It was nice. It was. I don't know. There was a lot of really great things. And then, like I said, I'm looking at the pictures now for the first time, really taking a look at them. I oh. haven't really looked at them. And, oh, my gosh. You guys, you're going to just freak out. And, and and don't panic when you see there's no exit signs anywhere in that conference room because I'm taking all those stupid exit signs off the walls. Because it's like this beautiful beige and they have these beautiful crystal chandeliers and they get these bright red Fire you know, the only time, in my opinion, it would make sense to do that is in Las Vegas when I visited in '99. Uh, the the Hilton had Star Trek: The Experience, which was a simulator and a a, a perfect replica of the bridge of NCC 1701D. Except because of rules, there were exit signs, you yeah. know, and that just like ruined the effect for me. And so, you know, took pictures, but there's an exit sign there. So I would take those mm-hmm. off. But I would take them off. Well, I'm taking that anyway, because I want the focus to be on the people and the experience. Yep. And you don't need to see fire no. things. And that's just I always fun. take out exit signs. Always. Why don't you use AI to do that instead? It's, it's easy. easy. That's what she does. Uh, Susan, you, you do that. No, you she's doing it Photoshop style, I no, think. No, no, I don't Photoshop. I don't have oh, no. Photoshop. 
Okay. I'm just but using Photoshop my mouse. I'm taking my mouse and I'm hitting click and it's gone. Oh, yeah. That, yeah, that's what it is now. Yeah. Yeah. It, Photoshop. I was going to say Photoshop is AI now. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not yeah. using oh. Photoshop. I'm just using just a little mouse. But this is amazing. I mean, and I'm taking people walking around in the background out and just, you won't even notice the difference. You, you won't be able to see the difference. You'll just say, oh, that doesn't look like there's a lot of people wandering around. That's interesting. Wow. Why is so there a I, guy like this who's supposed to be there? <laughs> so I, I was just one. chatting with Adrian and I'm going to write for my the fourth time in a row. Are you chatting with Adrian while we're talking? Uh, well, yes. because she was talking about her roommate and I, I didn't know about that story. Uh, <gasps> as Carl can witness, because he saw me do this a lot, uh, I was trying to get people signed up for the my fourth in a row. Uh, Meet the Psycon First Timers article. And I've done this in the past. And what I've learned from this icon is, is the phrase, uh, a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush, is absolutely valuable. And I should have done that because every other year I took people's emails down and emailed them. This time I just gave them my business card, told them about it and said, contact me when you get back. Ooh. It's now three days. Not one person has emailed me. Oh, no. Well, yeah. they're probably like me, just still. Eight people, not one Eight. person has emailed me, although they all, they all expressed interest. So I don't know if I'm going to have enough to do this article. So Ro Robin and his daughter wrote me something right away because they were. Oh, it was so them. nice meeting them. Yes. Oh, they were awesome. Yeah. But other than that, right now I have nobody else. I'm not. But not Kelly can perfect. find you people. That's not hard at all. Gosh, Kelly will absolutely. I, yeah, I've already course. introduced you to. I can find you. Wasn't it great? Lots first? of people for you. I mean, Greg Rowe. So you're looking for Greg Rowe. Greg Rowe. Who's Greg Rowe? Who is Greg Rowe? Happy to. Who is Greg Rowe? We rode in a cab from the airport with him. Yeah. Oh, that Greg. Okay. Yeah, that was <laughs> Never got his last name. He sat oh, down okay. next to me. He was next to me. He He'd made the be foil, awesome. foil hats. Another one? Will from Skeptoid. Oh, yeah. It was his first. He's, never met he, Never met him. Will oh, McCandless, I think, is his last name. Yeah, Will McCandless is correct. So reach out to him through Messenger. And if you need me to, I can also yeah, introduce you Yeah, we can find you 10 people in a heartbeat so, for you. Well, right well, now, I don't that's want 10 one, people. Two. I just want like five or six. But I, don't I think you've got them then. Right Greg Good Rowe, range. Kelly, because Kel Kelly will be all over it, I'm sure. Yeah, Kelly sounds perfect for his story. Yeah, and and um, Robin and Eleanor, um, and yeah, I so, think that's that's five. Yeah, I may I may ask Stephen Woodford because that was amazing <gasps> to him. Oh yeah, is this his first Psycon? Yeah. Who? Really, Stephen Woodford. Who's that? Uh, yeah, cause, cause... Rationality rules. Yeah, because Susan doesn't know these people. Oh, she he's mentioned that guy to me like six times, and each time I say, Who? I was really excited to meet him. I'm well, going to do a category on, uh, on, 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 on atheists and humanist activists. And Susan Rob, like, why would you tank you? <laughs> no, I'm only kidding. I why would do you do that? that? Somebody else <laughs> do that. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> else do that. <laughs> who are these people that team. are famous that I have no idea yeah. who they are? Yeah, I, I couldn't you know, believe you were there. there. I'm walking by him in the hall. He's just talking to someone else, and a lot of people conversations going on. But he's got a very distinctive British accent. He's British, and yeah. it's like it just jumped up. Oh my God! It wasn't just a British accent. That's it's rationality rules. <laughs> yeah, like, and my I, I know him because my husband is a huge fan of his and watches his stuff. It's very calm, and my husband mm -hmm, likes mm -hmm. calm things, and he's very logical. Mm -hmm. He's gotten himself in trouble a little bit over the you know years, but that, that, uh, well, one time with the ACA, and that's what we had the conversation about. Yes. Ah, yeah, we were talking all about Dawkins and interesting stuff like that that yeah. was our conversation so he and right i've invited now, him to talk for recovering from religion yeah yeah i think he, he would be great and yeah so my husband loves him and i because my husband watches him i quite often watch his videos as well but i don't i'm i mean i've enjoyed his work for sure and he uh but my yeah, it's my husband. So my husband's like, oh my God, you got to talk. To and I, yeah, I yeah, to he had a whole series on logical fallacies. Oh, yeah. he does. Yeah. He actually yeah. has a card game of lo logical yep. fallacies yep. that I bought, Greg. And I've yep. actually bought him a rationality rules t shirt before. So my husband's a big fan. And so he was quite. Uh, and I, knew, I didn't realize that, that his wife was there with him. Well, we, we got introduced, but I didn't realize it was the honeymoon. It was their honeymoon. They just got married. Yeah. And then they were going to San Francisco. I ran into Stephen Woodford, I, Woodford, I think, four times over the weekend. <laughs> and we chatted each time. It was amazing. So, I mean, so it's a, I mean, this is what I think the first conference that I ever went to is how approachable these people who you see in the distance, how approachable everybody is. It's, it's really great. So can I do the opposite of Kelly? I don't know if I told 
if everybody heard the story about the night Nick Ben, ben. I Sunday, see. the Sunday Good uh, night. experience we had. Good night. Which Sunday experience? Which there Sunday? Are many, there are many Sunday experiences I can think of. Well, the woman who wrote to me and said, I heard of you on the Ono oh no, Ross and Carrie podcast. And now she's at PsyCon and she wants to join GSW. Oh. That one, her name oh, is Sammy. Okay. And she no. says, so she, she wrote me an email and she says, I'm at PsyCon. And I said, well, just come and talk to me. I mean, if you're at PsyCon, just come and talk. Yeah. I was hard to find one place at one time, you know? So, and I yeah. did go to almost all the lectures. I want you to know. I almost That's lecture. amazing. Oh, I, I know it was shocked. And so she says, um, so she found me after the Sunday papers and I'm getting ready to walk out. Oh, and I have another discussion that I can't have on video. Uh, Why don't you stop the awesome. recording then? Well, hold on. So um, she says, um, oh yeah, probably should be in the recording. So all those people who are watching this Jeez now. Me. She,